Um, this is a very <clears throat> unique situation because I have uh, friends with me who I love and I'm very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, and I also am in a situation where I'm uh, testing an RPG that is not out yet. So let me put out a disclaimer first and foremost that um, everything here is still in beta. That this is all still currently being developed, which mm -hmm. means all of this could go away tomorrow. It's probably not. <laughs> but, um, but all of this is still, in theory, we can treat this very much mm -hmm. like a playtest, um, just as much as anything else. And the best part is that you, out there, the audience, gets to also um, reminisce and enjoy this playtest with us mm -hmm. and, uh, and be able to check out the... Uh, the Kickstarter? Yeah, that thing. Um, <laughs> the amazing <laughs> historical Kickstarter. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, we're doing pretty good right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm solid uh, promotion. I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm I'm really and thank you to everyone who is back so far. All thirteen hundred of you. Uh, oh, it's probably even moment. more now. Yeah. It's been going like crazy. I know, and we're just so excited. We have a lot of cool things in store. As you as what you will see after the stream, because we couldn't quite get it in the shot. I do have the Valhalla dog might screen here, which I'll show. You later. It's really very cool. pretty. Gorgeous. And um, um, I do have the uh, cortical stack. Show the stack. Whoa. Show the stack. Which Show is part the stack. Of, which is part of the campaign. Don't drop it. Um, you know, this <laughs> someone's DHF is in here. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. It's a copy Real of Xander death. that I oh, keep no. with me all the time. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait. So then, who's in Xander's oh, sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> so if you aren't familiar with the world of Altered Carbon, <clears throat> it is a uh, neo noir um, cyberpunk future in which the uh, DHF, which is Digital Human Freight, is able to be put into a piece of technology called a cortical stack. And the reason that this is so unique is, is because this is basically technology and material that was harvested from the Martians who were uh, archaeological finds once they actually started colonizing and terraforming Mars. It's the deep lore. It's the deep lore. <laughs> no, no, no. This this is the part that's true. So the lore oh, right. is... <laughs> <laughs> but, the di but so basically they're they're, you know, Billions of years old, and we have no idea why they died out, but they, but they did. But they left behind technology that allowed for cortical stacks to be made, and now as a result, everyone um, at a very young age has a cortical stack put into them, which allows their entire consciousness to be put into this little piece of technology. So, should you suffer organic damage mm -hmm. and lose your sleeve to the world, um, uh, we can pop you out and spin you back up again. That's kind of the situation. So, and depending on how much money you have, what yep. you look like could be wildly varied. <laughs> wildly varied, uh, yeah. From a from a government sleeve to a designer clone. So, da 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 da. <laughs> uh, with that said, um, let me introduce my amazing cast who's joining me today. Um, first, we have Vivka. Hi, Vivka. Uh, thank you for joining us and taking on first doing the photo shoot with us. So, which is that great. was awesome. I will tell you that that character that you brought to that photo shoot inspired this whole kind of campaign that we started to make around it. Awesome. What? <laughs> look what you did. Yeah. yeah, look what you did. And the campaign was awful. How do you feel about that? Um, but legit, we, uh, we, we, we basically, what I'm running today is my version of what we're doing called Career Suicide. And it's basically one of the, it's one of a three-part adventure that we're putting together for when the book comes out. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Career Suicide was 100% inspired by like what? What's Vivka's character? Let's. What's that story look like? Wow. So, so yeah. Wow. Vivka inspired career suicide <laughs> story <laughs> of my life. This is. This is. I didn't realize that there How would be so much to game? unpack in this game. <laughs> Honestly, for my character, I am blurring a lot of lines, <laughs> and I'm. I'm feeling a type of way. This is just a therapy session. This is the intervention. <laughs> oh yeah. We've got tea. Yeah. I, I don't know what this is, but I wouldn't call it therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dystopian uh, transhuman sci-fi doesn't sound like therapy. So for some people, so, uh, <laughs> listen, uh, don't yuck my yum. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> and you are playing today. Oh, uh, can I say it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, my character is Rec L. That's right, Rec L. Rec L with like. Uh, wreck and then yeah hyphen L yeah you probably know me from uh, all of my, uh, my my streams and everything where I provide you with the entertainment of a near real death that's right you have seen so many deaths so many near deaths so many ooh uh, bumps and bites and everything hey you remember my shark week shark week was pretty bad right <laughs> yeah you have so many of those and then you download them and then you 
experience. You live them. Live and you them. experience them through my eyes. They are, uh, you are a, a very well and rising simul space celebrity in this world. So, uh, Yoshi, it's, it's our first time playing, but it I is. feel like I know you. Oh, so. yeah, we have talked a lot. A lot, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is this is cool. I'm, I'm happy that I can be able to get you here at my table and uh, more importantly, me. run this thing. <laughs> which is uh, yeah, transhuman dystopian sci-fi. So, um, who are you playing today, bud? I am playing Surya Chandra, which okay. in Indonesian means sun and moon. Mm. And uh, that's all you get from me. Great. I'm not going to give you a whole spiel like she did. Nice. Oh, <laughs> mysterious. Okay. I, am, I am down Listen. for mysterious <laughs> Sudra. Listen, you know who I am anyway. It's all right. Everything I told you, everybody already knows because I know you're a fan. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Trish, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you, Ivan. It's good to see you. Good, good to, to have you back you here. Too, yeah. um, what what are you what are you rolling at the table today? Uh, so today I am Catherine Baker mm -hmm. and I am uh, one of the top agents at the TCA, the Cerberus Agency, where I represent amazingly talented clientele such as Raquel. Oh. Yeah. Who is one of my star clients. Oh, and your favorite, moment. right? Uh, yes. Tip. Of oh. course. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hands down. Yeah. <laughs> and the Cerberus Agency, if I remember correctly, specializes in trying to, um, one of their big benefactors is some of the more competitive sleeve manufacturers out there. Yeah. And so uh, the, the Cerberus Agency specializes in talent like Raquel, mm -hmm. who, um, you know. Who might who, need a new sleeve every now and then. <laughs> right. That's right. There you go. You know, we supply the talent with what they need to succeed. <laughs> That's, That's right. And you give right me under, there right it under is. the yeah. agency name. That's very good at this. There yes. it is. <laughs> wow. Yo, and it slides on real good. It feels <laughs> real good. Thank you very much for these upgrades. They feel A plus. Thank you very much for that commission. <laughs> <laughs> Xander. It I'm was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> you sit at your desk, the case that you've been puzzling, teeming in your mind brewed cup of coffee but you can see it you can smell it you can experience you are detective sharp but in reality i'm sharp i'm a programmer i've made a couple of holographic novels uh, choose your own adventure noir novels uh, experiential simulcasts that's what we'll go yeah. with uh yeah. I'm ch i was sort of a child prodigy so i kind of got thrust into the limelight pretty quickly and then Someone killed my parents and my birth sleeve, uh, and I went into hiding and created these novels. And now I ride along with uh, police officers and sort of get into trouble to find inspiration for my novels. There you go. Great. Well, this is our motley crew of uh, people who all live in Bay City, which is set in 2394, I believe. We're I may not have the numbers exactly correct, but we are we are basically playing in a space around the time of Lorenz Bancroft's giant scandal at the moment. No actual um, uh, word has gone out about what has happened at this stage. There is just rumor that um, Lorenz Bancroft has taken a envoy out from his uh, from his deep deep sleep of hundreds of hundreds of years and there is a, an envoy in the street supposedly now so everyone's both excited and a little terrified that there is a this world famous mercenary um, who could be roaming um, around Bay City at the moment and hmm. um, yo Catherine can we get him on a, one of my future episodes <laughs> We can work on it. Dude, it'd be hella sick to be strangled out by an envoy. <laughs> that would give me the views and I consent. I'll see what I can do. He <laughs> might be rough <laughs> by TCA. That's always important. <laughs> Thank you. Even in the future. Even, even in the future. We'll have you sign Thank all these waivers the and we'll be good to go. <laughs> oh, oh, she signed, uh, she signed uh, them at the, at the top. I was going to say, the waivers are imprinted. <laughs> <laughs> they actually are like hanging on the wall right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> In an RFID, maybe like right. Oh in, you know. yeah, no. It's I mean that's the thing too. Is so we'll get into that. Yeah. But you're you're, <laughs> you're you're you. We know that when organic damage comes up on BCPD alert and it's coming from Raquel's sleep, uh, it's not. It's not. We don't have to do immediate <laughs> we'll just, response. We'll just Nobody rushes. Turn that dinger down. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's true too. Uh, there's there's what TCA is very good at this. They sign all the appropriate permits in which to do sanctioned organic damage. And this is really common with things like the fighting pits and things like that, mm -hmm. where you can get permits in order to make sure that this stuff is allowed. And, and you know, 
TCA's uh, higher ups, the meths who run that. And by the way, I should say, people who don't know altered carbon, when we refer to meth, we're referring to someone who is Methuselah, which means that they have been alive for so long that they have um, basically ascended from uh, a position of power so high <clears throat> that they uh, are the societal equivalent of an immortal god. So, you no know, big deal. Yeah. No yeah. big deal. <laughs> the, the, the divide between uh, the ground and the <laughs> yeah. sky are quite intense in this. But we don't have a whole lot of time, so let's hop into the story. Mm -hmm. Final disclaimer, I will tell you, is, is that since we all had a chance to talk about the system a little bit, um, this is a promotional stream, which means I do not mind if you have questions and you want to stop and clarify something. And I will do my best to try to put the rules ahead a little bit, too, and just kind of make them a little more transparent <clears throat> so that mm -hmm. everyone at home can understand understand and and play along because ain't no rule book out right now the only rule book that exists is right in front of me so and right there and right there <laughs> <laughs> all 300 pages <laughs> <laughs> memorized <laughs> um yeah so we're all human unless you're a meth and then <laughs> you're human plus plus mm. so plus 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 i'll be there soon that's the goal oh. Oh. yep that is the goal backstory um all right <laughs> catherine hmm you wake up in a start as you hear an emergency alert notification glow off inside of your twilight condo at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. And you awake. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the small red light mm -hmm. is blinking over, showing you that you have an urgent message on your screen. And you run over to pull your curtains, which overlooks the streets of Bay City that are hundreds of feet below you. The looming mega complex of the meth's sky cities and everything are looming above like tiny moons above you uh, as you pull this as you pull the curtains back your screen polarizes immediately as an image of one of your clients raquel or as the simul space indie pop scene calls her raquel uh, appears in front of you as a bcpd high alert displays a warrant for her arrest for a police code that you don't recognize <laughs> It's expensive to get on this BCPD alert list, but apparently it was worth <laughs> it. So, Catherine, who do you want to call first? Your crisis control team, or do you want to try to get a hold of Raquel immediately? To note, the photo that pops up is me going. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So I, I don't recognize the code at all, um, no, but you said code. it's expensive to get on this. So does that mean, uh, are you are you insinuating that like maybe she paid to get on this or this oh, is well, just, just something just, I don't know? I mean, the problem is, is that this alert list yeah. has uh, police codes on it, but it doesn't translate it for you. So you know Got some it. police codes just because you know them. Um, but, you know, you could make either a knowledge roll or if you could make some kind of digital systems roll to see if maybe you can pull it up from memory at this stage. Um, let me just call my crisis control team. Okay. You yeah. Call your crisis control team, which happens to be... So, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, where are you right now? Uh, I am in my hovel. Uh, <laughs> sort of a man cave -y type of thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, Sid has sp spent a long time programming, so they're up... Uh, you said it's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. right Sid now. has yeah, not so you're awake. gone to sleep. Okay. Uh, they've been up working on it. They've got a little bit of writer's oh, block. Oh, by the way, Sid, is it they, them? They, them. Okay, great. Yep. Duly noted. Yeah. All right. So um, so you're up at 3 a.m. Uh -huh. And you're in your months. Are you writing? Are you programming right now? Well, I'm I'm hitting writer's block. Okay. So I'm sort of in that in-between stage of just kind of staring. <laughs> All right. So since you don't have an ONI interface as part of it, you yeah. do see like an alert on your like monitor setup, or at least on your on your tri-glass kind of plexi monitor. You see a bloop as Catherine Baker's um, ID pops up. And do, yeah, do you yeah, I clear up? my throat <clears throat> and uh, open it. Okay, bloop. Detective Sharp. <laughs> Sid, we've got a problem. D I told you to call me Detective Sharp. <laughs> Detective Sharp, we've got a problem. It's fucking 3 a.m. and I got woken up by this alert. Something happened with Raquel. I just need to make sure it's not a big deal before I go back to bed. I is she okay? I, I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. There's a police code I don't recognize. You might. Can you send it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sending it over now. All right. So she swipes over and basically drops it in. You see Sid as it just as it kind of comes out right in front of you. Yeah. And you look into it. Make a um, yeah. digital digital analysis. And I analysis. have a specialty in this because I have business and society tier one for newswire and media research. Awesome. Okay. So basically, okay. Um, I'll have you take a bonus dice on this then. Sweet. All right. Okay. So what was it again? It was so it's going to be data analysis. Data analysis. Which is going to be under your acuity. Uh -huh. First one under mm -hmm. acuity. What Got dice it. is it? A D8 for me. D8. So this is, this is something you probably would have run into 
pretty commonly being already on BCPD alert mm -hmm. as well. So I'm going to set the TR for this as a, let's see, you're rolling a D8, and we want you to be able to potentially roll over it, but not quite. So let's call it a six. Okay. All right. So my target number is six or below. Or below. And, and you have a bonus dice, mm -hmm. which means you basically get advantage for that skill dice. So I'll roll two D8s and take the lower of the two. That's right. Oh, good thing I had that, because I rolled an eight and a one. Oh, my. Ooh. All right. Uh, <laughs> Rolling noted. extremes for Ooh. the first yeah. time. Yeah. You, if, you, if you had a luck dice, if that was a luck right. dice or anything, instead it could have been a catastrophe. Right, Or right. it could have been a struck of luck. <laughs> yeah. hey. We'll see. Um, all right. But it's so just medium. You, you recognize <laughs> this because it was one of those code lists mm -hmm. that you rarely see, and you're like, it's one of those that you would really hope to run into one day because mm -hmm. it's like kind of a big deal. Okay. It's a quadruple real death. Quadruple real death. Yes. I, I as I'm reading it out on the on the screen, I just say that out loud. I'm I'm sorry, say that again. A quadruple real death. Four people really died. Like not sleeve death. This is incredible. This never happens. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, was Raquel one of them? I don't. I, this is my question to you. Look at this report. Is she somehow involved? Oh, I, I'm assuming she's somehow involved. Maybe so you, they just want to bring her in for questioning. So you pulled it in and you look it up, and it's 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 actually pretty clear in it that it's this is a uh, this is an alert asking to bring Raquel in because she is prime suspect for this alert code right now, and currently there's a BCPD alert right now to bring her in. They're after her. They're they're looking for her. Th oh my god! Uh, she wouldn't like post out her location right now, right? Uh, uh I, you know what? I thank you for the information. I'm gonna call her. I'll get back to you. Bye. Uh, Detective Sharp out. <laughs> okay. So before you even get your note, in, <laughs> you kind of watch as Catherine's out, and are you just ringing up Raquel yep. uh -huh. immediately? Okay. Raquel, where are you at the moment? Where are you? Where are you laid out, so to speak? Uh, I forgot the name of the city that I'm in. So you're in a district right now. <laughs> yes. Um, it's not even, I'll let you decide specifically where you want to mm -hmm. be, but you're in a district that's tentatively kind of known as Licktown at Lick. the moment, which is on the ground. <laughs> it is a grounder location, and it's not really known for being an area that provides uh, the most elite of services, mm -hmm. but if you need if you need something, Licktown, Less elite. Less yeah. elite. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, just the name alone, it can give you an idea of yeah. just kind of the kind of uh, clientele at services. Vampires. Now... <laughs> Hey, some oh, people only some the emotional licks, kind. You know, with, um, with the right with the right hormone supplements. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so my question to you, uh, darling DM, yeah. is: Do I need to say where I am in Licktown because she would just be calling me? Well, that's the thing. Is um, that's a that's a valid point. We could. I don't know if if. I mean, can I just turn on like the audio? You could turn on the audio. You know, since you have an Oni in your in your um, mm -hmm. in your sleeve at the moment, you can accept just like on a phone. Do you want to accept video? Accept audio? Go into it. And more importantly, what I'm trying to get to you right now is that Catherine Baker is calling you on your Oni right now, and you're getting the alert. So what do you want to do? Um, I am going to pick up and hang up on on the third ring. Uh huh. Which I assume you'll probably try to call back. Pick up and hang up on the third ring? Yeah, the third ring. Okay, so it's ringing once, <laughs> ringing twice, ringing three, and you're gonna hang up. Yep. Okay, she did not pick up. Uh, can I send a message through the Oni device? You can send Just a like message. Just like a text message? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, that's, I mean, it's 300 years later. The, the devices are pretty great. <laughs> yeah, they can yeah, do yeah, a lot yeah. of things. <laughs> okay, so. great. I, I don't know if I have good um, service here. <laughs> I would love to just send a text that says, Raquel, honey, this is important. I need you to pick up. All right, bloop, it comes out. Okay, so it starts uh, coming in again, and uh, the the visual comes up. Uh, remind me, it's like she sees like me. It's like a camera is like here, right? Or imagine, does imagine it's an optical interface that literally is going over your your cornea. Yeah. So imagine taking a um, a notification screen like mm -hmm. your phone and popping it in like a contact lens. Yeah. So that you can see whatever it's interfacing with. So, okay. Yeah. Um, you'll probably hear like some uh, some shuffle. Um, some uh, mumbling, like uh, lots of lots of lots of shuffling, uh, rambling noises, uh, wet noises, maybe rain, cars honking, and everything. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, uh, Kathy Bakey Cakes? What's up? Yeah, where are you right now? Uh, I'm just out in the town. I'm just getting some uh, some sick ramen. Okay, you haven't posted your location recently, have you? Well, I mean, and as soon as you say that, like. 
Well, I, I, okay, uh, I mean, not like exactly, but like, uh, you know, just like my usual. Okay, well, uh, like, if you have posted where you are, please get far away from it right now. In fact, I want you to come to TCA immediately. The cops are looking for you. You don't have any idea why that might be, do you? Uh, promotion? No, no, definitely not for promotion. This is this is uh, bad PR for sure. But all all PR is good PR. You know what I'm I saying? Mean, like you I and do. I both agree on that yeah. front. <laughs> you for taught sure, me that. You honey, taught me that for sure. Uh, this might be bad promotion though. That puts you away from working for a while. And I, you know, you and I both don't want that. No. No. So we've got legal at TCA here that can help you out. This is a real big deal, and I need you to come here immediately. I know it's 3 a.m. You know yeah, I like um, my beauty rest, but I'm getting up for this. That's how yeah, important uh, it is. So I'm not. Uh, I'm not exactly totally near. TCA, uh, so it'll take me like a hot <laughs> minute to get there. But uh, yeah, I can uh, I can uh, drop, you know. Do you need me to send someone to come get you? No, 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 uh, I'll handle it. No, you don't, uh, I'm on my way. You don't, okay. need, you don't need to send anyone to me. It's fine, I got it. Be discreet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so you wanna bring, you wanna bring Raquel to TCA at the moment right yeah. now? Is that what's going on? Okay, mm -hmm. so. Um, then in this circumstance, are you getting an air car using credit chips? How do you want to get over there at the moment? Um, essentially from my location, uh, which is a ramen shop, a totally fine ramen shop. Got it. But uh, <laughs> from there, I'm going to uh, essentially run a couple blocks and then get an air car because she told me to be discreet. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of like weaving and okay. everything. Right. Um, and yeah, Sur yeah. I'm, I'm running from no one. <laughs> okay, you're running from no one. Great, duly Love noted. It. But yeah, then I uh, then, then I go ahead. Yeah, I hail an air car. Okay, and then um, you do have some credit chips, so take one of your um, wealth level one credit chips. Is that and, these? Um, no, it's no. actually on your second sheet. So oh. there's a uh, there's some stuff on the top, and mm -hmm. you just want to burn one of those wealth credit chips just to get it out. At the top, so. it has level one, and then th and then however many you have in the, the boxes. Credits. Yeah, it's at the very top. Mm, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So my level one doesn't have anything in it. Doesn't have anything. Well, do you have any uh, credit chips that are there? Well, the good news is you're wealth level two, right? Yes. So you can take a wealth level one at this stage, and um, it's not. It's like not a problem. Yeah. And it's only if you're going to be doing it again that you're going to start growing depletion. So this one, you just happen to have some stuff on hand. But if you're yeah. not burning credits, okay, then you're doing a mm -hmm. uh, biometric key. Yeah, so, and I definitely don't want that. Yeah, so so you're probably going to have to pay a credit too to be discreet. If it's all the credit chips you have right now. Unless you want to go exchange money. Um, basically, you only got hundreds on yeah, you right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, and uh, my hands are covered in ramen sauce. So like that that oh, uh, finger thing really ain't going to work for me. Yeah. So yeah, so, uh, so I burn like a level two chip. Yeah, I mean, in this case. I mean, I mean that's okay. My boss will totally... <laughs> Reimburse me. All right, burn it. So okay, so you know, it's a big, that. big tip for that air car. So you know. Well, I mean, I also tell him that he's got a zig when he zags. Oh, it's, auto and it's automatic. Yeah. So it, it's well, driverless. Oh, I so. still tell him. <laughs> 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 like I'm in the back with Ram and being like, "Yo, you want a bite?" Like I know you're not there. All right, so like, turn left. So it's important. This is important because the only entrance to um, TCA is through an air car service entrance. There actually is no ground entrance into TCA at all. Um, so the building does begin from the ground, um, but everything above it is basically, so there's no way a random person could ever walk into TCA. That's right. Um, and uh, at this stage, are you just going to be joining Raquel, or did you want to bring your crisis control team I'm going to bring crisis you? control as well, yeah. I'm already All on my on way. So <laughs> this is too juicy. <laughs> I'm not letting this get away. Okay. So, yeah, I, uh, I might have my own, like, kind of civic of a, air car <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean like it's not it's just a wealth level one yeah yeah yeah. so and your wealth level one yeah so you can get me there you can get you there um but this is the only wealth level one you can you can spend for a while That's so right. you know Who um, needs is money? your future futuristic <laughs> nissan versa yeah 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 <laughs> Right. You think you own an air car, but you don't own an air car. <laughs> everyone, everyone basically oh, uh, it's hires air car. Like a, it's like a public service that you pay for. Mm -hmm. Cool, Got right? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, so but this one's mine. When is that happening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Sid and, uh, or Sharp, Detective Sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. And Catherine and Raquel, you both take separate air cars as you wind mm -hmm. through the starry 
beautiful night as you go above the smog cover of Bay City and basically hit into the upper sphere as you go into TCA's major building, which is connected to a couple of other Twilight buildings as well. And um, they kind of they take advantage of the technology that allows buildings to get this high, which mm -hmm. is basically gravity stabilizers and just <laughs> very, very good building materials in order to get at the hundred plus stories that each one of these exist at a minimum. Mm -hmm. um, and as you go above the smog cover, you kind of get hit by a, a um, clear sky, but still enough light pollution that only a few select amount of stars are available. And as you kind of weave and dodge, the air car traffic is much, much lighter over here as you kind of weave in and you go into through the the main air car service entrance yes so actually on the way yeah. i'm going to be making a call okay because uh, i'm calling in surya because i need <laughs> protection yeah. this sounds dangerous yeah I, uh so yeah i'm making that call right now okay are you going to do it through the air car system yeah or oh no i'm using uh because i have my own uh so you want to call them before you go in or you want to do it with your deck with my deck okay. in the car in your tire okay mm -hmm. all right so so yeah you uh you see a, a name you haven't seen in a little while, and only under very specific circumstances. Um, I'm in the gym right now, working out. <laughs> and I look over at my bank account. Uh. <laughs> Sid, what? Uh, 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 Detective Sharp here. I mean, <clears throat> Sid. Detective. Uh huh. Okay, so I need you. Uh, I'm sorry, this is an emergency. Uh, I know there's normally protocol and contracts and whatever, whatever, but uh, can you zero in on my location and I'll transmit it over. Over through the deck? Mm -hmm. Okay, do me a favor, do a, a digital engineering super quick. This one's yeah. easy, it's, a, it's an eight Okay. Right now. So uh, that is... It's in engineering, it should be the second one in acuity. Got it. And then I also have the engineering skill all right. Uh, in tier three. All right. Then your deck technically with the training value bumps it up another three. Mm -hmm. So you're looking like an 11, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a three and a two, so I got okay. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So you're going to transmit it over. You encrypt it, mm -hmm. basically. That was what was important. And so that's so. a lot of degrees of success, too. So, yes. So uh, you wanna, do you want to do some flourishes with yeah. this? What okay. I'd like to do is now that I know, kind of I have a certainty on their level of security, uh -huh. I'm going to keep that in mind and use this encryption for all of the messages that I'm sending from now okay, on. Okay, great. So basically, you as you're in this airspace, mm -hmm. you've kind of picked up on what um, TCA's general firewall protocol is mm -hmm. and being able to encrypt it you have a little bit of a better idea i will give you um, a bonus training value for encryption down the road Sweet. should you want to do anything within the tca jurisdiction copy that all right and just for people out there might be home never who'd be interested <laughs> in, uh, in what it is for degrees of success and degrees of failure is is that if you do better than your die roll you're, you're significantly under what your target number is you can succeed with some flourishes and we call these degrees of success and in the game there is a huge list of triggered effects based on what skills you want to do a lot of them are just recommended you can say you know um, things like uh, I want to you know zero on the location or I want to like look at it and it's really up to me but there is guides in the book to be able to say these are some flourishes you can do based on these skills mm -hmm. so which is great that seems uh, perfectly <laughs> fine uh, are yeah. you in an air car? Did you just send me your location in an air car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just follow along. Come right. on. Right. It, it's an uh, emergency. Might be better for you to send me where you're going. Uh, that way I can go there and not to where you are now. It's it's sensitive. <sighs> All right. I'll follow behind. <laughs> uh, detective puts on his coat and gets out. all his stuff <laughs> and then hops on his air bike. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're all calling all, it's all, it's all, I mean, just like you, you're all taking taxis. It's all TCA right, yeah. at the moment. So <laughs> you got to burn, burn a, a wealth one chip as well, too, if you've got Burning it. Burning so. a level one chip. Yeah. <laughs> unless you want to. You're reimbursing me for this, Sid. Yeah. Again, unless you want to <laughs> use your wealth level to basically say this is your cash on it. Like it's this, the credits are like your savings account. It's right. what you have in excess of, but your wealth is like, this is my budget for the week kind gotcha. of a situation. Right. Okay. Um, great. So four different air cars all make it into <laughs> the giant TCA building. Um, Catherine, you get there there because I'm assuming you got your condo close to the agency yeah. once you started climbing up the ranks a little bit. So uh, walks across a sky bridge or something. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. I mean it's a, it's a it's a load unload situation where mm -hmm. the air cars come in, it pops open, 
and she basically takes a takes a transit a transit tube straight up mm -hmm. into the main building. But how do you want how do you want to proceed? There is a night guard there who um, basically is is manning security, and he's he's a bit of a of a, a high high class synth that's kind of sitting at the main gate right now, and he's got a lot of upgrades at this stage. But he he kind of acknowledges you as he comes in, goes, Miss Baker. Late Ooh. evening tonight? Yeah, working late tonight. Uh, I'm going to have a meeting. I'm going to need full discretion. Mm. You know, for full discretion, I'll have to uh, ensure that the... Uh, well, yes, of course. So. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the, uh, there is... You do know that, that anyone who basically comes in and wants to do confidentiality, that technically you would have to block out, like, zone in that area. So... Uh, do you want to book out a conference room this for your area at this stage? Yeah. The agency? Right. Okay. Uh, miss, would you like me to book a conference room for you? That would be great. All right. <clears throat> Taps on him and goes, you can head yourself into Dominius. Thank you. Uh, should I be letting any guests know that where you are? Yeah. Anyone who comes in, uh, just tell them if they're here for Catherine, Dominius is where to find her. Understood. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Baker. Thank you. All right. So um, as you all make your way into the car, you kind of unload and you see the same security guard who greets each one of you. Um, uh, has the sign-in sheet in front, but kind of as you come close to it, he pulls the sign-in sheet away and puts it down and goes, please proceed to Dominius. Follow the yellow lights, please. Yeah, right away. Yellow lights. To know when I get there, uh, literally the door pops open and I have my, I still have that thing of ramen that I'm sloshing around and I go, hey, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Bear, how you doing? Hello, Raquel. <laughs> Jump up and do like the back, like snap, snap. Yeah, you just feel the, the carbon spine <laughs> oh, that yeah. he's got into oh, it. Oh, yeah. I know I can hit that hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I'm very excited for your new season, Raquel. Oh, I know you are. That's because you were the A-plus background dude on one of those. You look sick. Oh, I'm just doing my job. You, Thank you for the opportunity, by the you way. You always do a great. So I walk, I look back, give him like a... And then I, boom, uh, uh, pat on the butt as I walk in. Ye 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 yellow lights, yellow lights. Oh, you know where I'm going. All right, so you all come in. The <laughs> tracking lights kind of give you an opportunity to go into it. Um, you, uh, I'll fill you in kind of as much as I know along the way. Uh, uh, Catherine's client got in some trouble. It's quadruple. I'm going to guess it's the green-haired punk in the back. Oh, she's... Oh, hey. Like, I'm literally walking up, and I look up, and I just have a mouthful of noodles oh, hanging God. out. That's disgusting. Mm. I. Where were you mm -hmm. two hours okay, ago? Okay, thank oh, well. you, everyone, for coming. You bring them in. The room, the conference room, is a mm -hmm. polarized, oh, just completely blacked out screen. And, yes, you have you have the area now. Great. Is there anything you want to do before talking with them no okay great go for it <laughs> thank you everyone so much for coming i know it's the middle of the evening uh have we met no um we need to discuss payment before anything else oh yeah it's it's covered Catherine. I, uh, it's my protection he's with you yeah so if he fucks up i kill you kill is strong but um but great. yes i'm just the answer to that is yes okay thank you yo kathy baby i had to spend some money on uh, uh an air car can i get like reimbursed for that you might uh, need to be reimbursed for a lot more we'll get to okay, that okay cool i'll totally um, take all of it i kick my legs up like Raquel, <laughs> have you been practicing any stunts or anything that might have caused any collateral damage within the last four to six hours N what no you know that all of my stunt i do Oh, like I look down at these two people I don't know. I do all of my own stunts. All of my own stunts are done by me. I don't practice on anyone else. No, no, no. Right. But, y you know, something you might have done might have uh, had an explosion or something that uh, somehow other people got what involved. Is it no, we, no, we don't have is we don't have explosions set for at least three more episodes. Okay. So, obviously, I know that we weren't filming tonight. The yeah. reason I'm asking you this is because something came up. Detective Sharp, can you please let everyone know what's going on? Quadruple uh, sleeve uh, death. <laughs> quadruple Detective. real death. Quadruple real death, not this sleeve death. This guy killed four people and you're inviting him here? No, sweetheart. Raquel. Wow, this is wild. The cops think you did it, baby. It's on all the news wires. I'll pull it up. You pull it up? All right. So, um... Make, do me a favor, do a digital networking check. Yeah. To kind of see what you can grab at the Great. moment. And uh, I'll use the same thing to grant access. But Okay. 
Oh, um, not a bonus dice oh, for this one. Well, so I rolled threes and three, so okay. it's three. All right. Um, so you you pull up and critical it's, mediocrity. Yeah. <laughs> since it is since it is late at night and the news wires do get into it, you can see that there is definitely like it's starting to seed in it that hasn't broken yet, and um, there actually isn't anything up on the news wires right right now because this is still so fresh. So as I bring that up, I'm also bringing up what what Catherine had sent so over to me. you brought that up. Both both of okay. Them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I can head this off, but we gotta find out the truth. Right now, right now the alerts all just say that a quadruple real death did go down in Lick Town in one of the grounding levels, and that's what the alerts are right now. And it's showing basically the the sanctioned off areas, and you can see that there are blurred BCPD officers so that faces aren't into it, but it's basically security cam footage. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Sorry, continue. Do we, sorry, do we see, uh, have you seen how these people died? I can't get in any further. We might be able to go and visit well, the place. Well, we can, with, we with can actually, work on oh, that. To be fair, yeah. um, but because your digital systems check was a three, it's right. good into enough. This newswire, this one article, which does not say that Raquel did it, uh-huh. but does say the quadruple homicide that took place in Licktown, does say that the uh, mode of death was a <laughs> was a appears to have been a direct energy weapon that slagged their stacks from the neck up. And so the idea being that they each each identity cool. of the four people are currently not in place because it's just a sleeve and they're trying to do body modifications or gene testing on it right now. But the, the people haven't been identified, but four sleeves have been severed by from an energy weapon. By a direct energy weapon. No, cool. So I pull my weapon on her and make whoa, sure that she has whoa, no weapons. Whoa. Not in here. You put I that down I need to make right sure she now. has no weapons so right now. So you actually I don't hear know a small alert start going off. Mm-hmm. What is that? This is my house, and you put that the fuck away. So do you play if by the she rules. has any weapons right now. I get it. Put it the fuck away. Hey, hey, is this? You actually is, see, is this an episode right now? So Are you actually we see as, filming? As, a, as, a, as a turret, a small episode? turret comes right. down into the main hallway on the side uh. of the opaqueness, and you see it's pointed towards you. Oh Surya. shit! Is this a gun you episode? I didn't realize that. I th- oh, are we doing like no. a like a? Pre- I wish, I wish this were a punk episode. That this would be amazing. Real. You hear the security um, guard actually come on over the intercom as well to us, Miss Baker, Miss Miss Baker. Um, uh, we have an alert that an energy weapon has been released inside of the building. Are you all right? Gerber would not lie to me. Are we all right? We're all right. As long as she doesn't have any weapons on her. We're fine for the I moment. literally Thank throw you. the ramen at you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's slopped over. Um, Excellent uh, choice of weapon, dear. Uh, um, Tiger, all right. I was hungry. We're okay for the moment. Thank you. Thank you for being on guard. Okay. Thank you for being there for me. All right. Just letting you know that there is, uh, there is a chance that maybe... The alert has gone through through BCPD at the moment. <sighs> so. Piece of shit. Okay, thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, all right. Well, let me know if you need anything. And he thank clears you. out. Listen. No right. more of that. No more of that. He's yours. Uh, He's your understood. responsibility. No more of that. We got to get to the bottom of this, though. D- right. Okay. Reckle, where were you? What well, What were you okay. doing? What? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Kathy Bakey, you know that I have not done any kind of, like, energy weapons training. You know you know, I'm rubbish at I, it. That was going to be next season. I'm, I'm not good at that right now. I couldn't have done this. Like, I, this... I, and I believe you, but I need to ask just in case because if there's I, any small possibility that you are responsible for this, we need to it. get out ahead of it. And if you tell me 100% the truth, can, then I can help you cover up 100% the truth, okay? Um, so I'm going to need utter honesty from you right now. And I would like to do a read person as this happens. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. I'm um, also going to do a read person. Let's have you both oh, lead into it. Great. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to put this at a five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grab your read person dice and let's mm-hmm. see where we land. Can I roll a composure? <laughs> so what you can do, if you want to make this <laughs> if you want to make this an opposing check to see how much you lay into it, you can absolutely take your composure and it will be their degrees of success against your degrees of success. Sure. Let's so do it. Let's try means, that. Yeah. yeah. So take your composure dice. Okay. Um and roll it. Okay. No bonus or anything? Just Nope, we're going okay. straight. <laughs> straight. 3 degrees of failure. 3 degrees of failure. How did you, you look, Raquel? One degree of failure. One degree of failure. Oh, oh I thought you were talking to me. I was no, like, I how did you know? <laughs> no. um, 
Okay, so, sorry. Like, so, willpower is a 30, composure is a d6, and I rolled a 4, so that's a 1 degree of failure? One so, degree success. success. Yeah, oh, so, five. because you're, because my set the target number is 5. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. that number. No, it's oh, all good. well then. So, and then what are you, what, is, what is it? So, you got 1 degree of success? Yes, I got 1 degree of success. <laughs> you know what? You're reading, and everything that she's saying comes off both as sincere okay. and <laughs> as even a little, like, even a little okay. worried and placating as okay. well, too. So, um, but I figure you and I have known each other for so long that I give you a little, like, <laughs> subtle. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow do that with one degree of success. Right. <laughs> wow, so sincere. Yeah. <laughs> this is my sincere so, voice. Where were you tonight? <clears throat> I was getting ramen. Sure. Were you getting ramen in Licktown? Yes. Okay. Please rethink your evening's activities. Is there any way you could have been even remotely close? Maybe a security camera picked you up near the scene of something like this? Or did someone see you that you could corroborate with an alibi? You, you know it's super easy to track me. You, you know I got that thing. The thing? The it's your body mod. Yeah, and then yeah. my eye kind of like twitches a little and almost as if it like shoots out of my sleeve, a uh, sticker comes out and I just thwack it right on his forehead. And the sticker actually energy projects um, uh, like a hologram of me being like, hey, don't forget <laughs> this next episode of Raquel is gonna be streaming next Thursday. You're gonna love, hey, don't forget the next episode of Raquel's just next. Th Hey, d and it's just. <laughs> and that's coming up. <laughs> As I Walking sit there and down. I'm like. Yes. You know, I got that thing. And I, uh, I, it's, uh, so you remember that, like, when I got signed on to this new sleeve and all y'all put in, uh, this delightful little, you know, quirk where I keep tagging everything with these advertisements kind of so compulsively yeah. and. I can't stop doing it. So, I mean, therefore, I've been tagging stuff constantly. So, it would be really easy to just follow my tags back and see where I've been. Um, okay, so maybe never mind that. Uh, <laughs> Is there a way we can pick up the location of these tags from here without going outside? I mean, it's a deep dive. But every single, hot, you know, like a, mm -hmm. a repeating image like that does have a small trace ID on it. It's just going to be a thing. <laughs> here we go. And you're probably not going to be able to do it from here. Got and it. And if we don't, we can go track it down, use our feet. I mean, looks like you guys could use the exercise. She's not going anywhere near the to scene note, of the crime. I am in, I am in incredible shape. <laughs> Duly noted. So. That's true. Yeah. That second sleeve is real nice. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I got to get into the situations, but... Uh, could I, like, maybe, like, before we go anywhere, talk to you as an uh, agent confidentiality? And I, I believe the officers of the law should confer on our plan moving... I'm sorry, <laughs> what are your credentials? Detective. Uh, Detective Sharp. Do you have... He's not a detective. There we are. Detective Sharp is on my crisis control team. You can trust him. This other one, I don't know. I'm the only one on the crisis If you want to go down there in a city that you guys barely walk around in, that's what you need me for. Great. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's meet privately. So I'm going to take, uh, if there's no way to kind of section partition off. Partition the room. Right. If there's, if there's a way to partition the room in a soundproof way, I'd love to do let's that. Let's go, yeah. Sid. It's, yes. It's, we'll walk yeah, off. That's that's the best way to partition yeah. the room. It's so you two basically step out. I need to talk to you too. <laughs> yeah. So you you both take off and, and you have a little bit of extra privacy in which both uh, Raquel and and Catherine, you you're have the room to yourself. Okay. Right so as they walk out, I'm like, yo, thank you so much for giving me this. I, I really, like, appreciate that. You're great and all. And, like, as soon as the door closes, I turn and be like, all right, Kathy, listen. This is... This is really... Uh, okay, firstly, I didn't have anything to do with that. Great. Like, the guns, the, the everything. You know me. You know there's no way that I could have possibly done that. <sighs> but... Yeah. I was in Licktown. Great. And I was involved in something else that could be a little bad PR. Oh, I mean, as bad as a quadruple real death? Silver lining, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you so what's going on? <sighs> okay, so uh, think of it this way. 
I, I love my job and I love everything that you guys have done for me. This is great. We love you too. Yeah. But, you know, and I've talked with you in, in private that it's kind of hard sometimes essentially hurting myself over and over again and giving myself near deaths. And I mean, that last season finale when you guys uh, burned me, that that was... Doing it for the thrill. I yeah. know, it's, it's real great. Um, shark week. Uh, but, you know, I, I told you like sometimes I need a little me time and it's really hard for me to exist. Are you talking about drugs? So I, there's a, a place in Lake Town that's kind of like um, like a, a emotional brothel. Um, mm. It's Is it like one of them cuddle places? I heard about those. Yeah, kind of like that. Um, basically just, I mean, it, it's nothing too unsavory. Like I just go there and, you know, I have someone who hugs me and sure. holds me and tells sure. me that it's okay to not hurt for them and that it's I'm okay and I matter and you deserve that but you know that that type of stuff isn't really isn't really uh <laughs> smiled upon for uh celebrities and I may have uh yeah, Catherine it's a it's a security risk as well too I mean that you've also known that while she deserves it and that's it is definitely a thing to say that there's also a You've heard, and it's very common for dippers to come in and take that vulnerability and turn it into uh, a much larger thing than what it is. Because when someone goes and, you know, shells themselves out to another individual and they have a public profile, it's pretty easy to capture all of that on an Oni and then slap it up and suddenly it's career suicide. Got it. I mean... I Y again, y you know I, I love this job and I really appreciate everything you've done, but I broke and she was just so nice and sweet and she was just holding me as I was just crying and crying and saying that I, uh, why did I have to hurt like this? And I, w I know that I said a ton of things that if it did get out, people wouldn't want to watch my show and, and, okay. I, and I, I don't, but I didn't kill anyone. I just cried. All right. Well, we got to be more careful about that and we can talk uh, about that. Yeah moving we, forward. We can get like a, a, a personal person That sanction. we can do and yeah. the agency can supply that. So I just need you to come to me with I, that kind it, of stuff, okay? I know. I try. It was just embarrassing. and I get it. I get it. And we, we will deal with that. Right now, the main point that we need to deal with is trying to figure out how to get you yeah. out of the hot seat. Yeah. I, I Quadruple <laughs> real death. Okay, so. I, there's that's no grounds way. for erasure, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Like full stack erasure. This isn't just a, oh, we're gonna put you on a you know on a on a shelf somewhere and put you on ice for a couple hundred years. This is we slag your stack, we derase your DHF and any copies that, of you that might be out there. So yeah, I was stressed, I was weak, and I just cried. I didn't kill no one. I didn't shoot anyone. Like I said, we we're not doing guns until next season. I don't sure. even. I haven't even gotten that training yet. I I can't. Right. At this point, both Sid and um, Suya, so yeah, you do kind of hear a commotion from down the tube in which you do hear uh, Jerry, who we talked mm -hmm. about earlier, our, our high sense of security comm goes, uh, I'm sorry, officers, what can, I, what can I do for you today? And you hear, oh. BCPD, we uh, have reason to believe that there's a fugitive inside of here. Can you take us up, please? We got to scram. Well, time to go. Let's go get him. So run back you, to them. Yeah. So you bur you burst the door, door open. open. Yeah. Uh, BCPD's here, so somebody leaked something. So we, we gotta, gotta go, go now. To you got a car around the back? <coughs> Some, someone leaked something. Someone pulled a gun and set yeah. off the alarm. They're coming Fair. here now. Uh, okay. Can I uh, message to Jerry without them hearing it? Like, would I know if there's a, any kind of messaging structure? That I mean, you could. We could always try. We have no idea. I'm gonna put some luck on this one if you okay. want to do it. So yeah, I'd like to send a message to Jerry that says they can't come in anywhere without a search warrant, and they know that. All Fuck right. them. So put um put a uh, put a digital networking check in there to see if you can <laughs> very quickly pull out a, some kind of interface device and go straight to, to Jerry's system <laughs> and get that I message. I will try. In. All right, we got this. We're looking. We're looking at a call it a six. 
Okay, well, I got a three. So. All, right. Hey. All right. So this is fast. Mm -hmm. In fact, you you kind of almost have this on uh, on, a, on a one tap, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, you don't even break eye contact with me. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is an intense situation. Yeah. yeah, and you do hear uh, kind of a bit of a commotion, and then you see a response of, like, you know, the uh, coming message back, and, it, and he replies back with, Miss, they have a warrant. Fuck. <sighs> All right, let's go. Um, <coughs> okay, I so... Yeah, I assume we can take everyone out in uh, a company car. Yeah. Okay. So actually, as we leave the conference room, yeah. uh, we're kind of like ushered along. I'm going to stay behind and lock the conference room from the outside. Oh, shit. Brilliant. Okay. From the outside. Mm -hmm. So, and you've been kind of playing with this a little bit. This is, a, hey, guess what? It, this is a little bit of um, larceny. Can we do larceny? <laughs> I do larceny. larceny. We can do larceny. I've got two points in larceny. That's Which why is, they're the crisis control Security team. systems. Okay, security I, uh, systems. Can I please just get a gif of Xander going larceny? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to call this, though, because this is TCA, hmm. and even though you have bonuses for it, I'm going to call this like a four. Okay. You know? So if mm -hmm. you have the two in it, that's going to take it to a six. Yep. So roll your... Roll your um, you roll your larceny. Oh no, you're this yeah. is you're you're using larceny on this. Right. So this would be a engineering. No, this isn't this is still technically you're you're interfacing with it. So let's call it engineering. Data yeah. engineering. Okay, it's all D8s. Yeah. Uh and no bonus. Can I put a luck on this? Like oh, I'm yeah. pushing the equipment. If you want to push the equipment, then yeah. let's take a D do another one. Just do a D you said D you have a D eight. So let's do a D eight and let's okay. see how it goes. All right. So for this, uh, I'm pressing my luck, which means I'm pushing the, the mechanic a little bit further than it would than you normally would. Yeah. So there's a situation here and we're gonna just because of the first time we're using luck, yeah. I'm gonna use beginner's luck. Oh great. All right. Okay. Yes. So and beginner's <laughs> luck is usually a it's it works just like a bonus dice, it's just like advantage. But it can go to a catastrophe. Or it could crit. Or it could crit. Now, is this something the player can choose to use at any time? DM. Oh, the DM. The DM chooses. usually d d denotes but it I could if ask Lux. Great. Yeah, for it. Yeah, and, if, and this is a great opportunity because if, if Xander feels like his character is pushing the equipment and there's a mm -hmm. luck interface into it because he just got into it, it just makes the story much better. So. Okay, what was it again? <laughs> it was it four up to six. Yeah. So I've got a f success. You got a success. Yeah, oh. a five. So I have one right. degree of success. So you, you kind of choke for a moment as you feel your equipment kind of like blip, like what? it was going to, like it was going to stall on you for a moment, but you get out and, and you lock that conference room <laughs> and you weigh in. And, and this then I is, book it. <laughs> and then you run out through the back as you kind of hear footfall start to get into it. And then as you're bending around the corner, you hear the knock on the conference room like, Miss Baker, Miss Baker. And I'm just like, go, BCPD. Go, go. All right, so let's all make stealth checks. Oh, ah! oh boy. Let's get out of here to kind of be a part of this. So, you know. Oh, man. Stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me too. You've got I'm a little bit of cover, weird. so we're going to oh. call it, we're going to call this an eight. This is, this okay. is not oh, okay. trivial, okay. but this is not Why don't difficult you roll either. first? Yeah, yeah. Detective Sharp. Thank so you. instead of the whatever's on here, we roll an eight? Or? No, you're going to okay. take your, your oh, skill Oh, you call dice. it an eight, not a D8. Yeah. The difficulty on it's an eight. Seven. <sighs> okay. Two degrees of success. Two, Two degrees of success. We got an eight. You got an eight? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we stealthy. One. So uh, <laughs> you you kind of almost it wasn't. You, uh, <laughs> right? Um, why don't you? My boots are heavy. Why don't you? Uh, for the people who who got eights, why don't you narrate for me how you just just barely make it out of here without alerting anyone? Oh, I got a six. You got a six. I so, think it's just yeah. Yeah. just Surya. Just Surya. Do do me do me a favor and when I when you. I put my. Uh, my rifle, uh, my railgun back from the last time, it was kind of sticking out for a second, and then it got caught on something, and it fell, but I was quick enough to catch it with my foot. Like, oh. <laughs> We're good. We're good. You lift your leg up mm -hmm. and grab it and yep. pack it back in as you make your way out to the back of to the company a little car. little sweat drip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, by the way, the only company car that's in TCA right now at this time is one of the black cars, one of the stretches. So... <laughs> Great. You know. nice. Very discreet. Um, I say let's take it to get to the ground okay. and then see if we can swap for a more discreet vehicle once okay. we're All right. there. So you, you know, you take Got it. a plethora of mm -hmm. cars around the ground? You do what I can. Do what you can. Uh, like so it. while we're in the car, I would like to send a high alert, urgent message to TCA's legal okay. department. Um, asking them to, telling them that we were, I was there with a client Cops showed up with a warrant. Please take care of it. Okay. 
Great. So you're sending a high alert to the legal team, right? Yes. All right. So you want to just send it to the team, or do you want to send it to someone in your network on the team? And uh, Oh, sure. Yeah. Because in this circumstance, one of the benefits of this game is there is influence points, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which are things that you can do to call in favors to, you know, request specific things that are all within your network. Well, and I can make requests at my company without spending influence exactly. points. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is, this usually would be a grounds in which you would have to spend an influence point to get that specific need. But since mm -hmm. you've reached a certain tier of, you know, agent and you've taken the appropriate tiers to kind of get up to that stage, mm -hmm. um, this is, this, this one's for free, which by the way, very smart of you to go straight to the agency where you can get all of your requests for free. Not a bad way to do it. Thank you. Thank so, you. Um, all right. So you send that high alert, yep. you know, and you, and you send it off to, to your contact and, and, um, you know, you, you, uh, they know you. Yeah. Take care of it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Listen, Reckle, do you have any... Okay, first of all, it's Reckel, not Reckle. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Reckel. Reckle sounds there like we. a kid cereal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're not like Reckle O's. Yeah. yeah. Did you have any that were like stored up, like that you were going to release but haven't released yet? Of one of your videos, one of, of your of experiences. Episodes? Yeah. Uh, do, we, do we have any of those? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a couple in the can. Um, I can adjust the date of one in the programming so that we can create an alibi, at least temporarily. If you were shooting and we have a visual record of it on the time and date that the warrant is out, we at least have some alibi until they crack it. When anything we have in the can is pre-recorded, it would be hard to sell it as if it was live. And, and I, I'm going to lean in and be like, and is it really better to lie? We just need time. Well, I so mean, you didn't you didn't do this. There's no way you did this. So no, you must there, have been framed for this. Of course, how she could did you not have been? Well, my oh, detective okay, so instincts agree. I, I can't I can't really. I, I didn't see the report. I didn't really see like what was going on. Did it say that I did it? The, uh, that's the what it says on BCPD. Your arrest. So they're at least calling you in for questioning, which is grounds enough. I, I believe it said you were the primary suspect. So that would be Ooh. a yes. Yes. Yeah. That would be a yes. They it's think not on the news yet. Um, I mean, Are you sure they're maybe just not trying to get like an autograph or I've seen people do crazy things that that would be crazy and yeah. I would appreciate their ambition and drive if that were the case however yeah. uh, Detective Sharp yeah you're really into all this film noir fancy stuff yeah. um, can yeah. you art so yes your art yes mm. um, if you need representation let us know I've been into um, <laughs> He's actually, the reason you know each other is maybe because uh, he was you, priorly represented. And you always so. forget that, and it stings. Sorry. <laughs> You're very good at what you do. Mm. Uh, so I ask that because right now, really, the only defense we have is that Raquel doesn't know how to use any energy weapons yet because we're not filming with any until next season. That's not going to hold up. Yeah. Is it? No, not at all. Okay. So what are some things we could find that might hold up? And let's try to think of our damage control options. So well, obviously we can go through and find all of your merchandising tags that you left and where you left them. But there's no way for us to get a timestamp on when she left them, is there? They're not that sophisticated. Got it. But if we could find out who died before the police do, we would at least have an advantage. Also, like, we could go to the... The place. Place. Yeah, uh, and, and shake down that there person. there were people that I was talking to there where if things maybe were kept quiet, could be witnesses, and, you know, like, prove that I was there. Eating ramen. The alibi, the alibi yeah. is unsavory, but the, the suspected crime is much worse. Was it sweet right. ramen? <clears throat> How is it unsavory? Lick them and find out. Oh, right. I mean, I wouldn't turn that away, but no, no. <laughs> so by this time, you, in this conversation, you've definitely made it back down to the ground at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, as you kind of open up the main car, you you kind of notice that it's the, it's the smell of the ground, you know? It's very different than, than the twilight where you were existing. And you kind of step out into the streets. It's getting a little bit past, you know, the dead of night, and it's starting to air into morning a little bit so that beginning glow um, on the horizon is starting to just kind of creep over Bay City's just horizon and um, you're starting to see that still the only people who are out right now are either the people who are so high that they have forgotten time they um, are people who are still out sleeping on the streets or they're the really early like 
getting out commuting kind of bit. But at this point, you're starting to see that more people are starting to come out as part of the morning commute. So, did you have any enemies? Any? Social rivals? Anybody that would go this far is no, to... No, no one hates Raquel. Come on. I mean, okay, there's there's like a couple people, you know, like naysayers who like don't understand the art of it. They don't they don't Raquel, get the real who near would death frame experience. You for quadruple final death. That yeah. I don't know. Like a couple mean blogs versus <laughs> No, <laughs> haters is, haters yeah. online are a different thing. And besides, this real art is polarizing. You're doing your job. I'm gonna give Kill a note real quick because there's one bit of information I did neglect to give you before. One second, I think I'm remembering something. <laughs> um, <laughs> downloading. <laughs> Raquel not found. 404. 404. <laughs> Part of me is just hoping that you're just going to crumble this up and just chuck it at you. Yeah, yeah. maybe make a little like football. Ooh. Oh, that will not go <laughs> Yeah, you exactly. And be like, <laughs> we need another. I love it. Oh, this is this is an expansive note. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you needed all of the information. Uh, so <laughs> the note is like, and like listen, get not fucked. everybody at BCPD is good people. Trust me, I know. So it could be that somebody from BCPD is doing this to pull her out into the open. For what though? Is there Why any, would they that's what care I don't know. I don't about know me? Like, I mean, really, only one person gets hurt, and it me, and that's what's. Profitable. And we make sure that's all legal and done at the bar. I have I have signed lots, lots. Well, some people will do crazy things for money, so never know. All right. But what's the price? What do they get? My team should have been all over this. If there was any talk of trying to take Raquel down, my team should have known. Should, but. <laughs> oh my I'll gosh. Look at this. <laughs> it's like gambits here. You, <laughs> you made a froggy one, but you threw what it like that? a plane. What was that? Two levels of failure? It's a froggy plane. Yeah. 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 It's a two, two degrees of failure. You didn't make a jump. Failure. throw. So, oh, you my know. God. You got a novel, didn't you? <laughs> no, I... I adore you, but your handwriting is awful. <laughs> oh, I this can confirm. Yeah. yeah, I can confirm. That means you're really intelligent. Isn't that what they say? Horrible handwriting is a sign of intelligence. I mean, I did He's not real smart. Pen, <laughs> I, did, I did not do a lot of penmanship when I was, uh, when I was in, in uh, elementary school. Hmm. Do, you, do you need me to go over there to decipher? Do I need to just say it? Yeah, I see that look on there. No, so. I, I... Or did, did it just Your ancient in? hieroglyphics, <laughs> I have almost... I, I he have writes about, an unknown. I have about 64% of this <laughs> deciphered, but I feel like it's the, the important words that I'm not getting. Then it's a puzzle for everyone. <laughs> Here, wait, wait. I know how to do it. Uh, well, okay. So there was this one thing. It's what he says in my voice. Oh, there was. No, no. You got to try to do it like okay. oh, Well, there oh. was this fan who just kind of DM'd me privately and told me that there was an alert out, but he didn't really say for what. They just said, hey, you know, BCPD is looking for you, y'all. Yeah, because, you know, like, my fans, they got my back. They're like my street right. team. Literally, they're on the team, and they are, like, they're my crew, and and they're on the street, and is, they're looking for me. Is there so. any way to track who this fan well, was? Yeah, because this is a highly classified document. It's it's yeah. only going out on these highly secure channels. Maybe it's a fan that's a part of BCPD. We don't know. Oh, I don't judge. People got their fingers in many sinister suits. Right, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, but yeah, if there's a way that we can track where this came It is from. a lead. So you have, in <clears throat> the way I view this, and just to kind of expand on the noir element of how this is done a little bit, <clears throat> um, you are in a position where you have multiple leads <clears throat> in which you can investigate. There is the alibi of which Raquel is talking about to go and confer. There is the scene of the crime in which you could try to get more information. So we do know where... You do know where the scene of the crime is. That's yeah, just based off of the town, media alert that's it's probably going to be crawling with detectives. Who knows? <clears throat> I mean, there will be BCPD there, mm. so there will have to be a situation in which either Raquel would have to be disguised or maybe right. done into. You do have that sweet. I, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping right? it. I'm keeping it. So there's also the there's also just the opportunity. Of the, uh, this is another lead as well. Sure. So you have three leads that I am saying that are available to you. Mm -hmm. If you have other ones that your sweet, sweet mystery solving minds can come up with, I'm happy to go in there as well too. But each one of these is their own branch right. of potential things that could happen inside of the game. And I have clues for all of them, just letting you know. Each one of these is a viable, valid path. It's just about how do you want to yeah. solve the mystery. Yo, I'm just going to go ahead and say that maybe 
it's a good idea that I never go to the scene of the crime. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> yes. Uh, hold I, on. So we. Got, I was gonna say that so you could go there and it wouldn't seem we definitely weird need to because look at it. you like to go to scenes of crimes anyway for your books, right? So they would that's expect true. you to show I up can get there. Innocent. Yeah. And you could mm-hmm. theoretically. And we could go to that place that only you and I know about. And that could work if we wanted to split up or if we want to stick together. We'd have to find some kind of disguise for you, but I agree it's risky. Well, I, I can do it. It's fine. Suri is coming with me. Do you have a way to protect yourself? I mean, we could just... We need to get a different car. And we could keep the car within distance, but don't go into the actual... Where are we going? What is this place that you keep talking about? Or where are you going? L- listen. It's in Licktown. The scene of the yeah. crime is in Licktown. We're getting ramen. Okay. So what's the deal here? We're going to need to we're find a car. We're getting comfort That's food. That's something that maybe you can hack into a car? I could. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use the... Because we're in the stretch right now, right? You're, you've been out of this... You've been... So you checked oh, it out. On the, on the... But yeah, the, I mean, and that's the thing too. That's the best part is that the stretch black car that's been out there oh, starting to draw some attention because right. there is a stretch black car that's basically existing on the bottom of the ground right. and everyone's wondering who's inside of it right so now. So I'm going to jump in there and utilize those because the computers in there are going to be better than what I can find out like on the street or right. that I that's have That's not your me. deck. Exactly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to hire a, a car service through um, the agency. Okay. Uh, so you're going to make it look like the agency is hiring an air car. Two. Two okay. air cars mm-hmm. in order to get into it, so it doesn't look like you're buying it or anyone else right. is getting it. Okay, then let's do um, let's do a little bit of networking because that sounds like an appropriate networking. Is there any way we mm-hmm. could assist or work together on this? Well, the other part of this too is, is that if you don't mind it being tracked through Catherine Baker's ID. No, I don't mind at all. I don't mind. Okay, <laughs> then for you, it's just as simple as coming in, putting in, you know, basically doing your biometric payment and just thumbing an and air just car. Just requesting two cars. You're just requesting two cars at this location so yeah. you know and so it, you would do that you base that doesn't even require a check you're basically just going to go and hire two air cars it's going to ask for payment you're going to thumb it bloop, mm-hmm. and then the cars are on their way expense it baby yeah uh so yeah two corporate air cars would be great and i think we should split up i think you two will be safest at the scene of the crime they're going to expect to see you there gather all the information you can we will go get ramen yes comfort food comfort food and you should send this car back it oh is- Oh, for sure. It's self-driving. Probably going to get go vandalized. Back. So you're going to return it? Uh, no. Uh, instead, I think maybe, uh, seeing as how they probably know that that car left the place, maybe you should just have a little joyride. Just have it drive around a bit. Sure. We yeah. can do that. It's self-driving. So send Smart. it on the long way home. So you send it on the long way home. Mm-hmm. You're going to have it put at random route. locations yeah. and kind yep. of have it have a circular path. You call that the zig when you zig. It does a heart in the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, like, it literally, yeah, it literally writes out like wreck L. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Just another endorphin hit right there. Yeah. So Whatever makes you happy. Um, <laughs> oh, right. God. That was, was a lot to unpack. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the air car the black stretch takes off and you kind of watch as it as it lifts itself up and everyone's kind of like now that it's going up into um into the atrium you can kind of see everyone's kind of looking down at it and looking back down again as you know the streets are starting to come out as it lifts up yeah. i just doom sticker right on the back and so as it drives off there's Ooh. the like hey don't forget mm. this next hey don't why forget did th- you do that um, Cause you wrote it into me. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Hold on a second. Oh. I might be able to do mm. something about that. Please. If you don't mind. No. Nope. I really don't think it's, you can. It's gene coded. No, oh. that's th- Yeah, it's not a it's not a it's not a stack I know, thing. But it's I would have gotten in <laughs> to see what's going on in there. <laughs> I mean, so it's a well, you know you, what? Let's you, try you, to look at the silver lining. It's now a great diversion. Yes. Yeah, you'd have to unpack her in simul space for something like that. So, um, so the car is up, Suck. and then you do have a few minutes before the air cars are going out. So, you, do you want to stay on the street? Or? Do, do you look like this? In oh yeah. Okay, what? you might want to put a hat on. The hair. Whatever do attracts you need? Attention. Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. And I uh, okay. reach and I kind of like push this this fleshy part of my yeah. hand and my hair <laughs> goes brown. That works as well. Yeah, good it move. We, we should all be very discreet. And 
start pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? When you have a when you have a designer clone yeah. and you're in the business that that Raquel's in, you yeah, get I some give like a little, mods. I give a little so. elbow to uh, Kathy Bakey, and I'm like, mm, those sweet sweet upgrades. You know what I'm saying? It's looking good. Yeah, it's, looking a, good. it's a it's a keratin hormone patch. That's what it is. So, you know. Um, all right. So you watch it comes down, and some people are kind of like. <laughs> that might have been me. Yeah. Like they just, <laughs> yeah. They just, like we said that out loud. Yeah. Well, the people that are out there now would have no idea of knowing about this alert or any of that, or that well, she's a I suspect. Well, I mean, that's 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 to the, mm -hmm. the point of where the public is out there, and so mm -hmm. even though the media alert has talked about a quadruple real death, there's always a chance you're going to run into a fan. But until um, but until the information is out that it is Raquel, um, right. right now you're you're going to be taking away you're still not as under as much heat as you could be you Got know it. Got but it. i mean at this stage mm -hmm. it's starting to be morning the you know the uh the it morning might news junket news. you i mean it's start the time is Got ticking it. so mm -hmm. you know. okay uh Have great. Our cars arrived your cars did arrive sweet let's go okay hop in and you off into your different directions so um so, yeah. Sorry, GM. No, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Splitting the party, this can only go right. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm always prepared mm -hmm. for all circumstances. So, uh, Said every GM ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh so yeah, and Sid. Yes. Let's have you talk about the scene of the crime a little bit. So it's not I mean, where you are, it does take a little bit of time to get over there and you do kind of start um did you put any alerts on if anything would pop up with Raquel on it at the moment? I mean, I think I would have to because of my work. Right. That's just I'm crisis control anyway. Well, it's also you always want to get a beat on whatever the, the police are, are throwing down as well, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you kind of, uh, you do start to see that the quadruple real death is starting to pop, pop up. up a lot and they all have differing amounts of information but they're all using the same kind of footage which does appear to be a security cam uh -huh. that is overlooking that part of Licktown. Uh -huh. So they are um, they're basically BCPD security cameras that are in various places that are all just connected via an intranet uh -huh. and um, you know this so and they're all for monitoring purposes they aren't going into public places mm. so they are just basically out looking at streets as we're in the car and I'm looking at these reports I'm going to put that up uh, sort of like holographically for the both of us to yeah. watch the footage Okay. and so it, just so you know I can do this whole protectorate former bullshit thing but they'll notice in like 15 minutes so we have to go in and get out so yeah. we need to know what we want to look at Okay. So as you look over it, why don't you um, why don't you make a detection? Oh for yeah. Both of you <laughs> as you look in the footage. Great investigation. That is. Investigation is also fine. I would take that as well. And I'm gonna set this as a five. Great. Yeah. Okay. Do the thing. Do, Do the, the thing. thing. <laughs> Do the thing. I got a five. I there got a go. five too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you both have to like loom into it, and you're kind of you kind of find yourself accidentally dipping into the to the projection a little bit. You're going into it, and you kind of are spinning it because even though it's a flat image, enhance. <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. Enhance. enhance. But you Zoom. you do it, you can do kind of do a little bit of this kind of movement just to kind of get a different angle on it. But it is a flat image because it has to be low res encoded, right? You know, just to keep that much of it going. And it is it is as you look at it, it's more and more clear that coming out or going into one of the alleyways of which is there as you're running like basically you kind of find the footage and you kind of try and trace over it and this mm -hmm. is probably what the police did as well too is there's very distinctly a green haired person who looks like Raquel who is walking into that space and then the newest timestamp of which they put into the clip is um is where you see the police line. So basically, you see Raquel walk in, and you see Raquel or someone who looks like Raquel walk out. Okay. And this is this is at least the little bit that you've seen, and the most current time step of which it was released now just has the police line drawn out, and you can't see the bodies at all. Got it. Okay. You know? While I see this happening, uh, I've been a client long enough that yeah. I have a high resolution image of Raquel. Yeah. Especially the new sleeve that was after right. the, the death from right. the last one. Right. Right. I'm going to take the facial structure from that and uh -huh. compare it to the security footage so you take to the, see if the nose the matches, right. to see if, you know, because mm -hmm. I know that if we, yeah, that yeah, first. That's yeah. first. Crisis okay. control team. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it. 
So you want to take a high resolution of Raquel and then compare that and match the, the images and see if it gets in. Yes. Yeah. Really quick. I don't. I think I told you out of game. I don't think we explained that. So uh, I just wanted to say it on camera so everyone knew what we were talking about. Yes. Yeah. But uh. Uh, so th this is kind of like in the middle of my second season of my show and the whole first season uh, I was in my original sleeve so I looked a little bit different and then in uh, my season finale hey hey uh, top hits amazing but we uh we like throughout the season my uh, sleeve kept getting damaged by my uh by my show and doing like all of these dangerous things right. and at the end we ended up killing me right. safely but killing me legally yeah. yeah so then i got rolled up into my new sleeve and as you would any kind of product uh there were a lot of really obvious like upgrades like mm -hmm. you know skin your nose bigger bust taller skinnier like i eyelids doing eyelid <laughs> things like I don't know yeah. lizard eyelids yeah exactly yeah. whatever so. I need so it was a little bit obvious that this is a well the new season sleeve. the season premiere showcase this new sleeve yeah right is what it because is just it's like any kind of promotion yeah. so you also know. to prove that like the last sleeve was yeah. actually destroyed because yeah. that's more product right no so the idea is, is that it was a huge promotional bit when yeah. you did it and when we're talking like putting you on a lazy Susan full rotation mm -hmm. oh yeah like, it's, oh yeah it's just kind of a situation so that there's no lack of high resolution imagery of your new sleeve out there that yes. you can just pull from the internet yeah. you know but i just want to make sure that you folks at home knew what was going on <laughs> right. with my sleeves <laughs> thank yeah. you okay. yeah and it's it's a behind the scenes it is a tca funded sleeve that we intentionally oh, yes. did this, very this, specifically yeah. for production yeah, no. this sleeve is entirely on contract and it has <laughs> upgrades in it some of which i control like the hair and some of which i don't like the sticker Stickers. pimping <laughs> but uh right. but yeah this is this is not <laughs> yeah no, uh, this is not my sleeve yeah. this is a contract sleeve yeah it's a contract clone. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so pull it up. I'm comparing the two. Right. And you're going into it. And uh, I mean, it's it's low res. Yeah. Just because it's so far away into right. it. Right. Um, but, you know, minus every, the most fractal of details. Yeah. The hair type, the face structure uh -huh. is looking pretty accurate. Do we see a weapon? Yeah, um, she's holding. That this. is a good point. So you got one degree. You think you just got straight five. Got straight five. Straight five on it. Hard to tell. I mean, she's got okay. something in her hands. In her head. Difficult right or to left tell. Hand. That's a good point. Um, let's see. Right hand. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes, you are right hand. I, I was going to say, like, <laughs> I feel like part of my new sleeve would be that I'm ambidextrous. Yeah, that's true too. Why not? So secondarily, I'm going to pull up the records of the destruction of, like, the full destruction of the other sleeve. Did it actually happen? Oh, I mean, there oh, was. Oh, that sleeve was wrecked. Yeah, that that sleeve was wrecked. It was um, very publicly like that was the whole show. Like, mm -hmm. was. That's like, in it yeah. since it was a prior sleeve. Mm -hmm. It was in there um, that there is a. Uh, there is there is no dispute on whether or not it was it was banged up enough that there's very little chance of it coming back kind of Got a situation. It. And most of the time, you know that any organic damage that is done severely, it would be pretty tough to fix to it back fix. up. Okay. So, okay. so uh, I'm going to take like a screenshot of the security footage with the superimposed image and send all of that over to Catherine. Okay. Great. So, um, well, let's let's kind of get back to Catherine and uh, and Raquel then. So you're heading over to Licktown in your air car. Mm -hmm. You kind of stop down and place yourself out as you kind of walk in. And again, it's I mean in Licktown, um, you're not really getting the early morning commute as much as you're getting the people who are going home. Yeah. Commute and kind of and, into it. And we're intentionally avoiding the scene of the crime in Licktown. We're trying right. to stay as far away from that as possible. Right. Um. So when I get when I get Detective Sharp's uh, message mm -hmm. and all that information, uh, I'm gonna review that. It, Raquel, does this area look familiar at all? And I'm just gonna turn it so you can see it. Does it does it look like a place you might have walked into to buy some ramen or get a soda or anything? Talk to a buddy. So, okay, so I know I messed up with this whole, you know, sure. escorts of the emotion thing, but I, like, I try to be smart about it. I am in and out. Like, I really only got the ramen because of the call. Like, I, hmm. I've i never been here. Like, right. I okay, but this I go doesn't look like a place you've been. This is the crime scene? Yeah, the, and yeah. it shows the person with green hair walking in, like, uh, on the security no camera footage. No, and hell no. Okay. 
And, and there's no time that you blacked out for any reason or anything like that. Uh, this might have happened. You know you have it imprinted that drugs don't do anything aside from that adrenaline and that endorphin rush that you give me when it, boom, sticker. <laughs> oh. that's, a, that's, actually a, that's actually a very uh, a liability charge is yeah. to make it so that okay. she can't get addicted yeah. to Great. designer drugs. Yeah, the so. only thing I'm addicted to is the sticker pimping endorphin rush. <laughs> sure, sure, yes. Um, okay. Aren't we all, though? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so uh, you sent over the high res. Uh, but well, in, I mean, what they have yeah. it. Um, so because we are halfway through my second season, I figured that I would know my sleeve better than anyone else. Right. I would know any kind of damage or anything that right. I have gone through for the last couple episodes. Yeah. Is there anything that I can see that I know it's that still, I don't have it's on? It's still so low resolution enough that really the tell that's giving mm -hmm. it away right now is your hair, your dress, and your face structure. Mm -hmm. Because everything else is kind of so low resolution that it, it's not like in the, in the movies where you can take a low resolution and enhance it and make it a higher resolution. Why not? But she you is know. wearing the exact no. same thing she's wearing now. She's wearing a similar style. Similar it's actually style. not the same thing that you're wearing right now. Oh. oh, that's interesting. Questions. So you were in this outfit all night last night, I assume? You didn't like, I mean, get was, changed on no, your way was, over to TCA? Yeah, last night, it was a couple hours ago. Right. Like, like, I was at the place, and then you said that that was like a couple hours, and then right. I went to Ramit, and then... Like I went straight to you. Do you need like for funsy casual live streaming? Like, hey, just checking in. I'm, you know, whatever in this outfit. No, I mean I have my All update right. feed, but okay. I don't really update when I'm in the middle of a a session. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, and the security camera footage does it have a time on it? Yeah, it has a timestamp. It has on a timestamp on it. And the only reason you're getting that is because it's pulling straight from BCPD, so it is mm -hmm. rolling and it is taking place. So the timestamp is important because the the timestamp does take place half an hour before your phone call. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you happen to have the message that the fan sent you that BCPD was looking for you? Let's see oh, what time yeah, that yeah, was sent. Absolutely. Because if that was sent in before this, then we know that person. Is definitely oh, just some yeah. I definitely bits. have that message. So you pulled it up mm -hmm. and you looked at it to go into, it and it's been it's been taken. It's been uh, deleted right wait, off I, the system. I, wait, I have it. I, 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 it just says message I, deleted. I, I had it. I it's uh, it's go it's gone. Okay. Well, we and don't that have that user information. Is anymore. Mile Light says user not available. So uh, they're gone. All right, let's just hope it was a fan trying to do right by you that saw something after the fact. I mean, yeah, I, I, I got you know. fans all over. And honestly, if they <laughs> were like dipping into like the police system and everything, they probably wouldn't want to be found out. I just right, right, right. So sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. You're, uh, you've made it to the, the scene of the crime. As you're getting into it, you can start to see the morning commute is starting to start to pay attention to the police line and a small like one layer crowd is beginning to kind of form along the police line. Do we see how many BCPD people? You see a couple of officers doing crowd control mm -hmm. as they're kind of like step back, you know. Do we see any detectives in there actively? Make a make a detection check. I will do just that. In the back You're of making like a detection check on the detectives? The detectives? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a detective <laughs> detection check? Not too difficult, though, so looking at a seven. So you're saying that the detective cool. detention two. check is not oh, too difficult. All right. So this is this is significant <laughs> enough. Successful. We haven't we haven't done a lot of this in yeah. a bit, but since you since you got so high or so, <laughs> so high so low <laughs> above your um, target number, there's there's some triggered effects that you can do with your detection. Nice. And if you want to play into it, we can also talk about some narrative flourishes that you might want to play into. Yeah, it, I so. would like to see if I notice any of my old contacts at yeah. BCPD okay. or nice. anyone that may not like me. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so uh, because of this flourish, you can very clearly see some of your old co-workers that are around. Um, a lot of them were were not necessarily around when you decided to quit. So they would just know you um, because of your face. But there's also just a lot of... So what... So I guess this is a better question for me, for you. Would you rather have a bunch of people you didn't know? Or would you rather have some people that you didn't know so that you can utilize the network? I'd like a people that know the name, but know not, your name. Yes. not the face. because it's also when I was BCPD it was a different sleeve. It was a different sleeve. It was That's a different right. Sleeve. We talked about it. So yes. people who would know the name but not the sleeve. Right. Okay. But, so they still respect and will yeah. you know. So I would say I would go so far as pretty much anyone you saw there would be people who you might have interfaced with, except for the detective who's completely new. You don't recognize him. Cool. So and it's just one detective on the scene right now. It looks like a coroner is there as well too. 
So great. But all of the 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 like um the 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 friends in blue who are out there doing crowd control. I mean, you you feel like you can probably. In fact, as you get forward, if you just want to kind of you know name drop and get into it. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably like, flash my old BCPD thing. He's like, hey, I'm just gonna take a look in there and make my double. All right. Ah. Uh, oh. So yeah, I haven't seen you in a bit. Yeah, it's been a while. I know. Oh, did they? Didn't you transfer out or something? I did, but they're bringing me over here for this crazy okay. quadruple. Yeah. Well, um, uh, Marquise, uh on set right now. So if you want to check in with him, he's he's on the case right now. It's yeah. a shit morning, man. It looks. I mean, keep a mask because it's fucking gross in there. I will do that. Thank you. Appreciate it. And this is my guy, Sid. I don't okay. know if you remember him. Yeah. 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 Uh, cool. Hey, Sid. Hey. Come on, let's go. Detective. Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I want to s- – the d- detective is, like, off to the – Yeah, he's sitting talking to the coroner. Like, um, uh, So if this is the alleyway with yeah. the quadruple real death, you can see the bodies are laid out mm-hmm. on the floor, and they've started doing – you can see there's a tech there yeah. who's got his instruments over it, and then the coroner is on the opposite side of where you are from the bodies in the alleyway and they're talking yeah. to the coroner so you'd have to like walk around the bodies to kind of get where they are right um and the the walls are there and these are just old turn of the century um brick buildings from you know <laughs> the the 20 aughts so <laughs> How cool. do i see any like energy weapon marks on the wall on like, the walls. that goes through yeah. these people or so just since we can keep playing into this incredible detection role yeah. that you laid into it so we'll spend one for that narrative flourish of just just walking right in oh, with cool. no problem okay. we'll spend another one to kind of see there is clearly um scorch marks from energy weapons in which part of the brickwork that is there or part of the the, the buildings have clearly been cut um, but it's it's clean. Like, it's one of those situations where there's barely anything. It's not like someone went wide mm-hmm. with it. Um, you can clearly see that this is one of those someone took the weapon and went <laughs> and kind of hit it. And so really the scorch marks you're seeing are angled down. And the, the part where you're getting into it is the scorch marks are, are basically directly onto the floor. And the only times in which it's hitting the walls are kind of just in the base of the building. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. yeah Can yeah, I paint yeah. that picture yes. appropriately? Yes. Yeah, and these someone's not getting their security deposit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And these uh, bodies yeah. are... Are they male? Are they female? Can we see that? That's or fair. Are they all um, so closed off the, still? The, they've been... Covered? Covered. Right. As the coroner is there. And you can see there's no blood. Um, right. Because with an energy weapon, it just... Cauterized. Immediately. Um, so all the bodies are just kind of laid there. The scorch marks are down. And you, you can all just see, like, the coroner is kind of having an argument um, with the detective at the moment. Cool. So. As soon as I walk in, yeah. I just internal memo, boop, boop, start recording. So oh, it's standard practice for me so that I can review for my novels. I yeah, like it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I also pull out around. some gloves and give you some gloves, too. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that way we don't <coughs> mess with the. Uh, let's get around the bodies and talk to the detective. Okay. <coughs> um, so as you come around, you kind of see uh, the coroner, the, the final thing you catch in here, and goes, look, I don't get up at this early hours in the morning just because you feel like I am going to provide you any more information than I do. I told you, they've been slagged, there's no stack remains anywhere, and look, I'm just going to go process them, okay? This, the rest, it's up to you. And Marikwai is like, okay, yeah, he's like, fine, fine, just, just, fine, 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 just, just, you know, stay around, okay? Because I got four bodies here and the last thing I need is for you to walk off without my report all right just just help me out I mean I don't get quadruple real deaths every day and there's nothing in this so you kind of watch as he goes out you kind of here go in his first response is did anyone find that fucking L who are you Marquai you don't remember me oh new sleeve yeah uh yeah I'm detective Surya Surya yeah. okay yeah anyway so I'm here to just kind of double check everything. Uh, I got word from up top to bring me over to BCPD. It's been a while that I've been in this area, but listen, I'm going to help you, were you out. Were you assigned to this case? I was, yeah. Just, just this morning, like they woke me up. Really? AM. Yeah, it woke crazy. me up too. Ridiculous, Letting right? me know I was supposed to come in here and check this out, but you're saying it's yours now? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to help you out on this. I'm, I'm working right. on the on a different angle on this, actually. Let's do a let's do a let's do a little bit of a, <laughs> see if we can see. Do you want to do expression on this, or do you want to do something that's more like composure or discipline? 
It's a come. It's a. It's an opposed roll, no matter what. Right. Uh, two, 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 or is it? <laughs> it's all under willpower. Most of them are under willpower, willpower unless it's it. expression, which is under empathy. Okay. Uh, let's do composure. Okay. So we're gonna target this. He doesn't know you. He is not your partner. Nope. He's not your friend. You know. So he doesn't know this. So we're both. We're both looking at like um. We're looking at like a three here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's do this. Oh, oh my god. Mm. That's a five. Ooh. All right, so I got one degree of success with a two. Oh. <gasps> oh. Um, so he kind of looks and goes, Surya, you said, right? Yeah, I was How the, the detective. How did you get into my goddamn scene? All right? Do I need to go talk to my boys over there? Why did they let you in? Because uh, I actually got this right from the protectorate. I'm a protectorate, and this case has gone up, and I need you to keep this quiet. Oh, shit. Right. You're saying, wait a minute. You're saying the, the UNP is here? Correct. Well, I'm here, but yes. Fuck. So, right. I need I get, you to I tell me a, what you know. I get a quadruple real death, and the UN is coming down here. You're not a part of that whole stuff that's going down at the Bancroft estate or anything, right? It's not no, tied to any of this, is it? No. Well, possible, so let's figure out if it is or not. Well, you just bumped the dice up, dropping the UNP. Do you have any influence points? I do. I have two influence points. You have points. two? If you burn one, I won't roll. I'll burn one. Oh right? Oh. Let's burn it. Okay, so burn an influence point. I'm so nervous. And he's, <laughs> looking, <laughs> he's looking and goes, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't need this right now. All right, so here's what's up. Uh, one perp, we think. We have security camera footage showing that they came out probably with an energy weapon. I mean, it's clear that's what happened here because all of the stacks... I mean, this is a clean job, is what happened. It's They came down, they slagged each one of the stacks, and they walked off. It's hard to tell that there was even a fight. In fact, I don't even think there was a fight. We don't see any other scattered fire around here. And to knock out four in a So you're saying hit, executions? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I can't tell. Who are the tell. bodies? Well, we're trying to get a DNA ID on, run the, on them right now, and I... So then I get a DNA, and I, and I can't find it right now. No um, ID on these bodies. Well, no. We just got to get it processed in the lab, so it's up in, it's up in BCPD right now, you know? So when I get back, you know, I'll let you know what's going on in there. Is there a good place to get a hold of you? I'll get a hold of you. Don't worry about that. Now, listen, I need to know if you have the weapon. Uh, no. No, we don't have the... Wait, no, we do have the weapon. You um, do? Yeah, it was dropped about a block away. And you have it with you now? Uh, well, one of my guys has it over in the side. What so, is it? Um, it's a Sunjet. Sunjet? Yeah, it's, um, it's military. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it also has a log on it, a DHF log on it, and we're trying to get that encoded right now as well, too. Your boys are already going after the suspect, right? Yeah, we have someone trying to track down, I guess the sleeve's name is, or the DHF's name is, is Raquel. I guess she's right. in simul space. Yeah, and now it doesn't make sense that she would have a military-grade weapon, right? I mean, it's weird, but, you know, yeah. it's this is fucking lick town. Like, you can go up there and if anyone's got enough chips, you yeah. can go buy off-spec weapons. And to be fair, we uh, there is no registered ID on this thing at all. Of course. So there's a log on it for use, but that's it. And you said it's dropped a block which way? It was about a block down, and it was dumped in a trash can. And, um, like I said, one of my boys has it now. All right, Sid, you had any questions? Yeah, did you check the local network for any needle casting? Did no, we've we've we put a standard watch on any needle cast off world just to make sure that no one's running at this stage. And if we'd see this DHF, this Raquel, if she's logged, we're gonna get her off world. If she yeah. knows a sanction or Harlan's world, we we'll we'll make sure someone on the other side is taking care of it. But I mean, at this point. You know, I'm I'm surprised it hasn't gone out yet. In fact, I've got press who are just screaming down my back right now. So could no. I take a, a look at the weapon? I'm a data analyst. Yeah, that's what I do. Is this, yeah, yeah, let's go do that, um, and then we'll be out of your hair. Okay. Um, and hey, just for the record, do you mind if I get your uh, your uh, your? I just forgot the word for it, but it's basically like your soldier ID. So like your number. Yeah, yeah. I'll send that over to you as soon as we're done. Here. Uh, yeah. Cool. No. Um. But just real, I mean, I just want to grab it just so I can check with my boss. Yeah, sure. You're going to rattle off your old ID? Yeah, I'm going to go try to find my old ID <laughs> and see if I could. <laughs> you would have it memorized. Yeah. Oh. It's like having so, your serial uh, number, <clears throat> you know? Or yep. your serial and number. And then I just kind of 
give it to him, but a, a couple numbers off. Just the last two numbers off. Okay. It just has like four extra numbers on the end. <laughs> Not extra. <laughs> extra, <laughs> numbers. extra numbers. So you take two your... numbers. Yeah, short. I'm gonna walk over to your guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So we'll go walk over to him and real quick and Fuck, hurry up, quick, quick. Okay. Okay. What's your badge number? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as we're walking, I'm going to transmit the recording that I just had to Kathy. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So you transmit it over. Um, let's, you got what you need? Let's get back. Let's take a look at that weapon. So let's actually look at the weapon real oh, quick, okay. and then we'll hop <laughs> yeah. over to you too. So you go over, and you see the cop that he kind of pointed over, and, you know, it goes... Uh, you uh, you 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 want to look at the weapon? You yeah, the we're taking a look at the weapon. Detective right. said it's a good. Yep. See, look, he's giving you a thumbs up. Great. <laughs> so he kind of like grabs it, <laughs> and uh, he like he basically opens up a giant evidence bag, and he kind of puts gloves on and looks at him and goes, "Yeah, it's a uh, military grade Sunjet. Um, it looks like someone dialed the beam back, so it just had a real narrow field. Um, you know, there is a biometric ID here. I mean, all these things come with uh, with IDs so that they go off the black market, but someone's fucking basically filed off the serial numbers on encryption so it's going to take my guys a little bit of time to decode it so we can find out what the log is but you know I should have it about an hour or two yeah can I, I cool, take a great. look at this real quick uh, just take standard photos. procedure you want to try to you want to try to crack it yeah 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 and so I'm actually going to take out my I have a data storage oh, okay. unit yeah uh, and I'm going to connect it to the weapon all right to yeah. try to download everything encrypted Encrypt it. All right, mm -hmm. so you just want to unload the log. I'm getting the stuff. Okay. But not going to solve it for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but you're getting the stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is this is fun. Um, why don't you, uh, <laughs> why don't you do moves. some do engineering? Okay. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, and this is ooh, when we you talked about. Do, it. do you just want to do you want to analyze it. it here or do you just want to copy paste? Copy paste. Okay, it's not too hard. It's like a seven. Okay. Yeah. Get it. Oh, great. Okay. And then you're I just have. Just taking the info. <clears throat> right. I'm like looking over my shoulder, making sure he, that guy still hasn't figured it out yet. I have a plus three <laughs> when I'm using my equipment. Oh, so it's, uh, it's in a engineering. ten. Yeah, so, it's a whole ten. And I got it. All right, four cool. degrees of success. Do me oh one gosh. solid. Is it a luck thing? Let's do a luck thing <laughs> because I totally see this as being a luck thing, and we're going to rely on equipment. Okay. And just for the fun of it, um, we're going to be taking you past beginner's luck. Okay. And we're going to go into the territory of dumb luck. Okay. Right. So I've rolled a six already. You rolled a six. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give you, let's call this the worst best case scenario. Okay. Take a D4. D4. You're going to add that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. To that number. No. Oh, well, it's a 10. It's a 10. <laughs> but you got a four on it, right? I did. And is, did you get the max result on the other dice? No, because no. it's a D8. No. Then, it, then it's not a catastrophe. Great. Oh. <laughs> Done. Okay. All right. <laughs> Is that done? So you copied and pasted it. Yeah. And you kind of. And I just, yeah, I pull my my device and I'm like, I can't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, and you hear alert go off, go too. You go. Burp, burp, burp. And then it stops though. So. Better luck next time, guys. We're gonna help. We're gonna get out of here. So right. uh, good luck, and uh, I'll let you guys know if we hear anything. Let's so go, as go. you start walking out, you start to hear like the detective in the back going, Hey. Go go, go 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 go! <laughs> where's that? Where's that protectorate? Like if both of you like like. You're like chugging down the street, and I'm just like. <gasps> <"Wait."> <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Um. Uh. Raquel yes, and. Oh my uh, god. Ooh, my pits. How, can we, <laughs> how can we compete with the best slash worst buddy cop movie? <laughs> We're a defective agency. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> name? Go on the road. Oh, name. Man, it's defective so good. agency. It's perfect. Uh, okay, so Raquel and Catherine, yeah. so you are you heading to the ramen shop at this stage? Yes. Yeah. It looks like we're getting intel that this was a military grade weapon, but I mean none of this makes any sense for it to be you anyway, so I feel like that doesn't add any more like it, it's even less you now. We know it's it, not you. It's still actively yeah. not me. 100%. So, <laughs> it's still uh, actively not me. So I feel as we're walking down the street, like <laughs> going to this area, every once in a while, we do walk by an area that's like, hey, don't forget this Thursday. But hey, don't forget this Thursday. Yeah. My new, like, they're coming up. They're, they're popping yeah. up. And this is, this is area where you've been already. Yeah. And, you know, we're talking like, you know, couple every couple hundred feet or so. But and there's a lot of other noise too. It's not your only yeah. sticker. That's yeah, sure. hanging out on these on these telephone poles. So. Don't worry, you look great. That, I mean, it was a good one. Yeah, yeah. it was a great shoot. Thursday's gonna be a great day. So, so you, uh, yeah, take me to this uh, rather unsavory place. 
Okay, so we walk by the uh, ramen place that has three stickers <laughs> on the top, so it's three me going like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that one I made sure to hit. Yeah, okay. So you go into the... So um, we... Uh, what's, like, the, what's the name of this um, basically just emotional <laughs> support group? For Honestly, hey? because this place is so kind of looked down upon in a way, I yeah. wouldn't think that there's any sign on it whatsoever. Unmarked. Yeah. Unmarked door. So yeah. you go up to a grade in which you see um, it's basically like a, a really kind of, it's high grade steel, but it's a lot of grounders. It's just, everything's kind of barred into it. And there is a, a, a camera that's kind of laid out over it and you um, you would you would ring. Uh, I hit to bring the green hair back up. Yeah, hit to bring the green hair back up. Mm -hmm. And you kind of, you press the button and you go into it and you have a, a moment where you kind of hear over the old school speaker mm -hmm. that's kind of coming out into it yeah. goes, Oh, Raquel, hi. Uh, hey, hey uh, Ricky, Ricky, we know. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, are you all right? You were just here a little while ago. Yeah, I uh, know. I uh, I think I left something uh, in the room, and oh, okay. uh, you know, I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk yeah, to no my girl again. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you kind of hear as the buzzer as you uh. watch as the whole thing just you hear a mechanical click and <laughs> opens back, and then you kind of turn the door. Yeah. Just uh, so <laughs> I turn it, and I'm like, it's cute, right? Retro. Mm -hmm. Oh, I you hate everything about this. <laughs> you kind of. <laughs> You uh, walk up the stairs, and it has a distinct um, smell of incense, rose petals. Um, the uh, the painting has soft pastel looks, mm -hmm. and you can feel that there is an emotional ambience that's kind of pushing into this into the space right now, and it and it breathes an <laughs> aura, an aura of like calm, soothing, mm -hmm. majestic. Um, space but it's also a stairway that is this wide <laughs> yeah. um, as you kind of walk up into the stairs and go into um, the lounge area in which you see a, a very um, laid back woman who's sitting at a counter and she's kind of sitting there petting a cat at the moment as she's laid out on a bean chair and kind of looks at you and goes Raquel who's your friend? To note I feel like they would understand the need for oh. a little bit of privacy oh. was such a thing so i feel like they would know like not to like, ask yeah, yeah well okay. if anything like ricky ricky okay ricky um here she kind of puts the cat down and goes um ricky's not in right now i'm sorry she oh no 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 i'm ricky raquel oh, ricky, ricky. That's yeah, right. yeah get that oh you're getting yeah okay <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. All right. okay there we go there we go <laughs> ricky hi <laughs> hey uh, um yo is is uh my girl still here Oh no, Samantha? Yeah. She just left about an hour or so ago. Um, would you, you said you left something here? Oh, well, um, it was more like, uh, you know, I left like emotionally oh. a lot here. Oh, I get it. Um, it's all right. This is a safe space, okay? Yeah. Um, so I know that, uh, you know, I always pay that extra donation for for the cameras to turn off and for the bit of um Oh, you know that security this, is, this is a no camera place and we do provide dampening fields for anyone who feels like they need the extra security in which to do so. That's a premium that we offer to you because you're one of our favorites. Appreciate that. And, and hey, forward thinking. Uh -huh. um, but uh, let's say, you know, like no, hypothetically um, that I had to prove that I was here. Um, if, if we could get like maybe a copy, just a little bit that only shows me of maybe like the front door, like when I came in like Ricky, a couple you know that we, hours we ago. We do everything we can to protect one, our place in here. And I, I'm sorry, I'll have to talk to my boss before I can release any kind of information, but we don't, that's a big no-no. If you have anything like that, it would be of great value to us and we'd be willing to compensate accordingly. And, okay. and also, I'm just saying that it is better. Are you in trouble, Ricky? Is there something we need to talk about? Or, I'm sorry, it's not yeah. my place. I'm, do you want uh, to call Samantha? Honestly, like maybe if, like you could maybe like call her back just like really okay. quick. Just talk for like just a second, okay. you know. Stay, um, stay here, stay okay. here. Okay. okay, don't worry, I can feel everything coming off of you right now, okay? Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of heat, a lot of red, and it's a lot. So just sit down, and I'll go call Samantha. Don't worry, we're here for you. I okay. want to. I want to read person. 
Okay, read it. You can make sure this is all A-OK. -okay. Read it. <laughs> all right, so let's see. I feel like this is my emotionally compromised place. <laughs> I would just believe anything this woman told me. Right, five. Looking for a TR of five. <laughs> It, that's a big fail. That's a big fail? <laughs> the biggest fail that is I can it, big. Is it max, max, <laughs> yep. max amount? Yep. fail I can <laughs> okay. um, I mean, this is yes. not your zone. Everything sounds like bullshit to yeah. you. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. That's you fair. Know, it's, I don't even feel like that's a fluffy failure. Fluffy pastels. Like, it yeah. smells like roses. Yeah, and we're I mean, in Lick Town. You've, you've, been, you've been in places mm -hmm. that accommodate stuff like this. This is, this is For you, this is just like a more expensive tarot reading. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is bullshit. And this is uh, <laughs> this 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 sucks. Um, so right now, anything that that nothing's getting past you at the moment. In fact, at this point, like you're feeling nervous that um, you're even here at this stage. Yeah. What, so this lady's walking off to make a call or whatever. She's, she's walking off to go into another room to go get a hold of Samantha at the moment. So. Can I like follow? Like. No, I'm sorry. We have client confidentiality. We can't let you back here unless you have an appointment. It's well, how do I know you're not going to go ahead and call somebody else right now? I mean, I guess you don't. But Did I mention that you would be heavily compensated if you had anything that would be of value to us? I did hear that, yes, but, you know, a little proof doesn't hurt. Okay, I slide in between them, and yeah. I'm like, listen, maybe... Again, mm. hypothetically, if I was in trouble, I understand that the, um, you know, s secret nature of this business is, you know, like just so bomb and is so on top. And I love the way you do your business Ricky, and all. I, I don't, I mean. But it would be better if just we got this information than having to bring the police over to this. The situation. police? Is there an issue? N not with you. Oh, okay. But more. Proving look, look, just where don't, I was. Just don't tell me anything. Exactly. Yeah, 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 don't yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. I'm right. gonna call Samantha. Yeah. And I'll come back, but just, just, just sit down. Okay. okay. Okay, Miss. I'll do what I can. I don't know what you're trying to say to me. If you want this information, I will do my best to try to take care of it. Okay. Yeah, I would just like everything here to be kept above board. Above board. All right. She kind of walks out. And like, I, I lean over like, this isn't really that kind of place. Okay, well, all I'm saying is get ready to run. So your Oni goes off. <laughs> um, it is Tiberius. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tiberius, Ezekiel. Yeah. Dominaeus. Dominaeus Cerberus. Cerberus. It sure is. Uh, Ted to the people <laughs> who dare to even say that. Are, are he and I on a Ted basis? No one's on a Ted no basis. No one's on a Ted basis. You are not, not Ted ready. No, no one you are Ted not talk. Ted ready. No, no one is Ted ready. I don't want this Ted talk. <laughs> so, and you hear it, and it's going off in your Oni right oh, now. Oh, fudge monkey. Do you pick up? Uh, yeah. What the fuck, Catherine? Trying to figure it out right now. I said the exact same thing when I got the alert. I've got crisis control on it. I've got legal on it. Trying you, to take care of a client. You brought them to the fucking agency? And you took a goddamn car down? Is there any safer place to bring a client in this kind of situation? Yeah, we a fucking safe house or something. I mean, I get it, all right? You reacted. And I don't understand that. But holy shit, you've got one fuck up already on your book here. If you don't clean this up, I swear to God, uh, Catherine, look at me. I swear to God, I will take you down to the ground and smash your face into the dirt for this. Now, this client of yours, I get it, but why in the fuck was she even in Licktown in the first place? Working on that now. I can overhear this little and be like, I'm just saying that this isn't really like a, the place a, for this a, kind Raquel, of emotional Raquel, output. Is she with you? I'm is that fucking bitch with you right now? I am working on it, Tiberius. Please, just trust me. We've had higher profile clients than this get yeah. into way yeah. worse shit than this. Yeah. And TCA, as a team, has all the positions in place and equipment to handle it. All right. So that's what I'm fucking doing. I'm handling it. And also, I am a growing star, and my numbers okay. are still Rick going out. And I, I'm still... Yeah, Look, right. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Choose yeah. your battles. First, tell Choose her to shut up. Second of all, third of all, third of all yes, we have had bigger fuck-ups. They were your fuck-ups, all right? So, I get it, <sighs> but here's the deal. I'm going to put a media blackout on this right now. Thank and this, you. this is my gift to you, all right? But that's it. If I 
hear any more about this or any more of this gets out, you're on your own, Baker. And I'm telling you, you've done some great work. And But this, this is not strike two. This is strike three. Got it. He hangs up. Like, right before I'm like, <laughs> Mr. Tibbs, don't you worry about it. I got that's, this, that's and I definitely, <laughs> I, Mr. Tibbs, I will <laughs> just... I'm so glad he didn't hear Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> I'm so glad he didn't hear that. <laughs> oh it's one of God. those where, like, internally, Vivka's like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. But yet, Raquel's like... <laughs> Why do I always play idiots? I also... <laughs> fun. Oh, I will, so I will, I'll also take, take, my, take my face off for a moment. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> And then I'll put it right back on again. <laughs> also, you called me a bitch. Do I not get? Do I not get? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so. Fair, fair. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm doing that to, to Trish, uh, Raquel. I'm. You know, it's not, yeah. Uh, so you you kind of you kind of are sitting in into here and and the um the uh the receptionist hasn't really come back yet, but that's not not too weird yet at this mm-hmm. stage so but yeah your jitters your jitters are a little bit do you want to do anything not okay not okay listen i have um i have trusted samantha wholeheartedly and their entire premise here is 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 uh what's the word uh like where you don't do stuff online i don't remember yeah, privacy yeah, yeah. it's all about privacy great but that lady knows that you're in trouble that lady that was like petting her cat like a freaking super villain <laughs> what the hell is she in there doing but yeah, she knows that I'm in trouble, but she wants to keep that trouble away from here. That cat is now also, by the way, just purring and kind of making Fuck laps that around cat. you. They <laughs> 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 kind of like kick it away, like get out of here, <laughs> get out of here, cat. It's one of those Kathy. Siamese cats, huh? <laughs> no fur. <laughs> no, that's not cool. Come here, cupcake. Oh, it's yeah. okay. As you kind of pick up cupcake, you you see as the receptionist comes back out and goes, "Okay, um, I did get a hold of Samantha. She was." She was at home, but she's um, she's she's gonna try to come over. It's probably be about like an hour or so. Shit. Okay. Do you um, want any coffee or any water or anything? I, I mean, can I'll I, never turn I? down coffee. Yeah, co- coffee sounds <laughs> kind of nice. Do I have to roll for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll get you coffee. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of walks over and starts starts roll, against roll, and roll for how roll like for how successful how the coffee. Is. Oh my god! Roll for strength of coffee. No. <laughs> it's um, burned. It's burned. Uh, but I mean, okay. at this stage, you're you are you are both kind of laying in this place. There is someone who's coming, and just to pull it back and talk about the noir narrative a little bit into here. Um, this is an opportunity if you wanted to gather some more information since you're in an area which could have some clues inside mm-hmm. of it. You've generated a lead here um, that could be coming into you, and you followed up on the 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 actual um, what's the word I'm looking for? The scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the word I was mm-hmm. looking for. So there there is either an opportunity to try to get more information either from this person or the actual area mm-hmm. that's around it, or we can you can say, hey, we've done everything we can in here and we can we can go find something else well really so. quick like so what is our plan of attack what are we trying because you know i thought i was doing good i paid extra for the dampening fields they wouldn't no, know no and that it was me but there is there's still like we could take the i mean you know tca <laughs> can provide these services in the future you need fluffy couches you need rose water sprayed in the air whatever we can take care Wait, of that for you okay i mean it's, it's different it's Sure. Different. Yeah. Sure. We That's can. Not we, I'll talk to this Samantha girl and put her on our payroll. Uh, we'll figure it out. All right. Um, shit. Nice. Shit. Yeah, shit, but you're shit. in. You're in this place. That's where it is. What What do we need to uh, obtain to like you know like sh- like show that you any, know I'm I'm good I'm straight I'm any like I'm kind not. of proof that you were here. So if they have it, if they have, I know they specialize in not having records, especially for high profile clients like yourself. Any proof that you're here, whether Samantha is willing to testify as a witness. I don't know if she would be. I'm willing to pay her out of the company to do that. Um, but I mean, pay her out of the company mm-hmm. and then put her in the company. Sure, yes, all of it. Happy to do that. Um, I mean, I, I also, this, what's this lady's name with the cat? Pearl. Pearl is not my favorite. I'm also willing to shake down Pearl a little bit if we have to to get some extra. Speaking of Pearl, uh, she comes back in with two rich <laughs> <laughs> goes. 
Okay. <laughs> puts it kind of down in front of you. I pick mine up. See, she does latte art. <laughs> I, the machine does latte art, and I just hit the button. It's a cat face. Surprise. Thank you. <laughs> kind of grabs Cupcake and sits back down and goes and goes. Um... All right, Pearl. I feel like uh, I feel like you and I maybe got off on the wrong foot a little bit. Yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, and I can tell that you're probably not supposed to be here anyway yourself, just in the way you're dressed. So that's okay. That's I fine. lean in, but you know, like she could really use it. <laughs> I really think that, that everyone's what you do is really great. Everyone's people. Okay? Here's the thing. Yeah. We all have our girl Raquel's best interests at heart. That's the one thing you and I can agree on, yes? Yeah, I don't know her personally, but again, it's our job to take care of our friends in need. Yes. Yeah, you love everybody though. That's your thing, right? Oh. Okay. So you care about everyone as That's you yep. know what? Actually, I think there is a way to prove that I was here, right? Um, so, as you know, <laughs> I got that quirk. Um, and Samantha always keeps, like, this little book. Um, like, this little, like, kind of uh, board or something, like, in the room that yeah, we always we go in. we do our collages and we do our, like, emotion collages. So, well, yeah. you know, and when I really hit a emotional spike and feel the need. I know. I'm so sorry they did that to you. They just... <clears throat> no, oh, okay. Mm. Um... <laughs> It's great, and I love it. Um, but when I feel the need to sick or pimp, and I have that emotional spike, and I need that endorphin rush, she always gives me the board, and then I hit that. Um, is that still in the room? I can go look. Yeah, I mean, here, come. Yeah. Here. I'm so sorry. I can only bring Raquel, but if you... I mean, she's she's fine. She's... I, uh... Family. So, uh, Pearl um, kind, of, kind of takes you back and kind of pulls you by the small of your back and kind of like leads you back in front. I, I so put my head down on her shoulder as we're walking. Kind of just kind of gives you the, 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 um, the just easy, easy kind of uh, affection that is so prevalent in a place <coughs> like this. Um, and as you kind of walk down, you go into the room of which you've become hmm. familiar with mm -hmm. over time. And the dampening field room, the expensive room. It's the suite. It <laughs> yeah. is the suite. It is the suite. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of get in there, and I mean, it dips into you quite a bit, but you, you kind of go in there, and there is a little bookshelf that mm. is um, that is coded that you know that they keep all of the, <laughs> the client materials mm -hmm. inside of. And she goes down and goes, oh, I'm so sorry, I forget. We, I mean, we lock these, you know? So As you should. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do have the key. And she kind of pulls it out and kind of goes into it and slowly kind of unwraps it and pulls out the, the, and there's a lot of them on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have emotionally <laughs> peaked many times in this room. Yeah. So um, <laughs> she kind of goes, well, I guess it's yours. I mean, it is yours, right? Whatever you do with it is on your terms. So. Um, so is there anything actually on this thing that shows that it came from here? Um. It's a piece of cardboard. Basically, it's I'm, like a I'm hard... I'm so regretful that I did this to you now. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it really is just like, I mean, they wouldn't ever put any kind yeah. of brand or static or anything like this. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a blank field. I mean, you're, you're coloring. And I'm still in the waiting room, right? You're still in the waiting room. Oh, I thought you came with. No. Oh, okay. No, she wouldn't let, Pearl wouldn't let okay. her into these rooms, so. Fucking Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> goes it's i mean it's yours so it's i mean it, this is your baggage it yeah. is yours if you want it so, so. i i do take it okay. um so is it just a bunch of these popping oh, up yeah it, intermittently well, <laughs> do um, they run out of batteries well see the f in in this room Eventually, no yeah. right in this room there's nothing but it's one of the, it's because of the dampening field uh, i figure the second oh, i walk oh through God. the door they're just gonna start bumping up yeah, yeah. but it's like yeah. i've been going here a while so it is like a month's worth of advertisements so all you hear is this incessant continuous overlapping drone of my annoying ass <laughs> voice <laughs> screaming different times yeah. and dates it's it's like a, it's just a harmonic kind of um yeah. Just passing at this moment. Yeah. So you you have this and you kind of bring it out. It does just, <laughs> just explodes yeah. as soon as you walk in through the room. Um, and you know you kind of have to. And I don't even know what you do with it to do with it. But it's just going off. You know, yeah. as you kind of walk into where <laughs> uh, where where Catherine is inside of the the, the main room. So 
Uh, so I, I bring it out and I'm like, hmm. Beautiful work. Thank you. Uh, that still does not help us prove the time or the place where you were. That is just a piece of cardboard with a bunch of tags on it. But it's from here. <laughs> we know that it's from here. But we can't prove that. And it could be from here six nights ago, two days in the future, not necessarily the night in question. But you have this time-coded memory <laughs> of me giving you this from here, and I have this time-coded memory of her taking it out of the locker that was locked and giving it to me. Right, but unless you can use time-coded... Uh, okay, so question, game yes. question. Yeah. Time-coded memory. DHF. Can this be used for everything? Could she just use her time-coded memory from the t date and time of the crime to show that she was here with Samantha? Technically, if there is a situation with very mm -hmm. good, expensive technology, you it's, could... It's almost like I'm recording things through my eyes all the time on a professional level. Yes. Because we could just do that. You could yeah, spin I, up her DHF, and you'd have to be able to probably... You probably, again, would have to have some equipment to be able to do that. Right. But you could go in and take that DHF and basically play it back from the moment that you wanted to. It's not easy, nor is it fun. And like I said, it takes some hell of a processing power because DHF is like DNA. Right, right, right. It's right, just right. so... I mean, data dense. I mean, really, we could go ahead and show that I got this here, or we could even go back further and just show that I was always here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. Does the dampening field affect that? Ooh. <laughs> well, but it could record. No, it's, her it, the DHF is, is walking recorded. in. Yeah. yeah okay. It's, it's, okay. It's, yeah. I mean, it, technically, it's yeah. hardwired into your cortical got it. stack. Just checking. You know? I'm just checking. Yeah. So if we can do that, then that means we don't need to spend another second in this fluffy, fluffy place. Well, okay. So oh. you had your realization. You've had your aha moment in which you can go spin up the DHS if you want in order to try to, like, take this, take your consciousness, which you know that the only way that this can be faked is with a real great like high, high resolution simul space recording that's been encoded into into DHF. So. I just thought that like, we could also like talk to Pearl and talk to Samantha, they get like uh, uh, corroborating uh, uh, witnesses. Sure. You, hear, you hear a buzzer as the front door is now going off and you see Pearl kind of walk up um, to the camera and bend over and goes, yes, hello. And you hear, yes, hello. Who's there? I'm sorry. If you don't show your face, I can't let you in. We should leave. I'm so, maybe you can. Can Ricky? Can maybe you want to go out. The the back. Yeah, yeah the, the, the the service entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll come by next week and you uh, hear check it. Boom. Okay, as just a, <laughs> as a, a small like explosion basically cracks off as like a as you um, uh, uh, hear like metal and wood splinter as some kind of charged explosion just wrecks right into the middle of the front doorway and Pearl screams and she puts her head down as I, yes I yeet the cat. Yeah, like, one hundred percent. Grab your arm. Go, 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 I know. Go, 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 go. I know exactly where we're going. So but this. what's more, like, I, I'm so like athletic from how I'm like. Yeah, built you that are, literally, girl. I am like lifting you, princess style, over the back, and it is like million dollar woman, like, <laughs> and I am running okay. us. Was that you walking on all fours? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we have you the just technology. Want no, no, no. We're not going animal. So I'm not like, Ooh. I eat yeah. the cat because I become a cat. But your no. adrenaline hits immediately, yeah. and you yeah. chuck Kathy. I over throw her. my coffee, and we're going. Yeah. Right. You hear this explosion <laughs> run off as you grab her and throw her onto the back. As you um, start running up, you know the service entrance is actually the roof entrance. Yeah. So you have to start heading up flights of stairs because there's no oh, service elevator. Oh, that's fine. I am here. literally like from the stair on the landing, jumping up and literally. Grabbing, like I'm going through the middle, like parkour, parkour. Gra yeah. Par I am. I'm hardcore parkour. So um, let's hardcore, do hardcore parkour. Let's yeah. do an endurance. Okay. So looking at like a, especially with your hmm. mods here. Let's look at a, like a six. Okay. We're gonna get some flourishes, and it's gonna be cool. You got this. What's your endurance dice? Uh, that's a d10. Okay. So you're looking for a hmm. six. You got this. Uh, I don't want to. I'm so scared. Oh. 
No. It, it was like a five, and it was like, uh, eight. Eight, okay. okay. On a positive I don't know, note, on a we'll corner. get to find out who is at the door. <laughs> <laughs> so as I mean, you, we might find out who's at the bottom of the stairs, given what I just said. Would you, <laughs> would you like to narrate these failures, or would you like me to take them on? Um... Why don't you tell me how many flights of stairs I'm running up <laughs> so I know how many I'm falling down? <laughs> you're looking at, since this is a grounder building, you're looking at probably just only four to five flights of okay. stairs. So okay, on. well, uh, uh, I managed to go up a couple, but um, as I go up, basically, like, my hand just doesn't quite get... Or no, it does grab the uh, the railing, but this place isn't that great. Mm -hmm. So it's like... It just kind of breaks in my hand, and I stutter, and unfortunately, I just you just like, lose balance, and you can't. topple back. Kathy's on your <laughs> shoulder oh, yeah. still. So as you kind of grab a hold of it, and you use I mean, your your you know clone sleeve, just a little too much strength, it just kind of falls. As you rock mm. it back, you kind of feel backwards. As I'm gonna roll some just straight bludgeoning damage. Oh, for, oh my God! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't um, say that. Yeah. I'm pretty squishy and for the record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 17. <gasps> Holy chamois. Oh, okay, we're fine. You're fine. 17. It's you're so now we have a chance to look at your damage threshold, <laughs> which is what your sleeve can this take. This is a good teaching this is a moment. teaching moment. Yeah. So this, uh, this blood <laughs> no hardcore parkour is going to go straight into Unless, your damage yeah. threshold, which is kind of like what your body can soak yeah. before it starts taking injuries. Right, you know, okay. Once we go past damage threshold, we're into injury territory, and then you can opt for organic damage or sleeve death rather than losing right. your stack in real death. So you all tumble back, and you kind of feel as each stair's edged side, which is not carpet. <laughs> And it's all wood. Oh, just yeah. kind of punches into each one of you, and you feel like bruised mm. ribs as each mm. one of you crack back and you kind of fall backward. And as you kind of make it down two flights of stairs, just barely managing mm. to avoid having to break your neck as you go down, Catherine, you hear the distinct mm. sound of a <laughs> of a silenced pistol as two shots ring out, and you hear <laughs> as like something the cat just screams, and you watch as this fluffy white thing darts towards you and just starts making the ascent up the stairs that you were unable to do. Hi, so oh, so no. I feel like I feel like uh, getting hurt and falling downstairs is nothing new to me and I'm not really shocked by it. No. And I'll just like brush it off, grab you again, round two, only safer, no middle now, just running you, taking the stairs and Great. just going can I, can I send, uh, via my own, can I send to crisis control help stat with my location? Absolutely. So Doing digital networking. I want to see how it goes out and, oh, how, yeah. and how encrypted it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not too hard though. You're sending a call for help. So let's mm -hmm. make this a seven. Can I'll continue add, running while you do that. Yeah. Can yeah. we add a bonus dice since we have the pr protected encryption between us? That would be, that is a fair ask. And yeah. The, and the answer is yes. Okay. So I get to a roll D10. twice. Yeah. Two yeah. D10. And take the lower. Um, take the lower. Okay. Case. Thank you. A lower is a two. Thank the Lord. Okay. So you grab it and you basically send it out. It's <laughs> it's fully encrypted as you kind of send mm -hmm. it out, Sid and, and um, Surya. You basically, you, as you're kind of like moving away from the crying scene, you don't, you basically get a five second recording of Catherine running up the stairs in some rose lidded place. And it says, um, you know, what do you want to say? Help stat, pistol, silencer. Running <laughs> with the location, okay. with like the <laughs> yeah, and you ping and it gives you the coordinates to where you are. It's about you okay. What? What? what oh, are you I'll send. I'll forward it over. Because uh, yeah, yeah, I'll I have it go to both of us. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's you, find them. You call the car. I'll start <clears throat> decrypting this thing. On let's the way. go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so you're going back into the air car again. Yeah, we're going to a different one. We gotta do a different. Oh, one. You have to do a different one because once the you. air car drops you off, it goes up. Gotcha. Wait, how, how far away is their location from us right now? We're it's, all in Licktown. You're yeah. all in Licktown, so I'm saying it's about. It's not. It's only about a couple blocks away. So you could probably hoof it and get there quicker than Can an air you make car. Make it. I need the computer to be able to mm. decrypt this. All right. Yeah. So if you want to sit and crypt, you'd have to get something. Or if you want to run and go for it, no encryption. It's up to you. You're calling this. I, I feel like I need to run there now. Okay. Uh, can you find a safe spot to do this and decrypt without getting caught by the cops back there? Yeah. 
<laughs> Do we see like anywhere that looks like a, a I mean, electronic it's the store? morning. So basically, people are open. starting to come out. Everything's starting to open. I'm gonna find an internet cafe. All right. <laughs> wow. That a thing? A, in a, Lick, a, in Lick a Town, bad, it's a thing. In a Lick bad Town, side of town internet cafe. Yeah, there's yeah. in Lick Town. There's a lot of internet cafes. Great. I'll go to the yeah. seediest one that no one else will go to. Yeah. No. Oh no, the there, seediest one is the most popular. Oh baby. <laughs> oh right. Oh baby. Oh, there's 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 plenty of like um just porn booths mm. and you know places where people are doing real low key mm. I mean right. and even to be fair there's a lot of like black market her content but just tweaked a little bit oh, yeah. in order to be able to get into it before too, too we, real too before real we <laughs> split up I'm gonna uh, open this channel of communication as well perfect uh, and then yeah I'll go and find this place okay, okay. and so, in Licktown are the buildings close enough in alleys are they small that I could be at the top and run across the top or should I the be building, the same thing the buildings are condensed enough and this is Bay right. City, right? right? Mm -hmm. The buildings are close together inside of its stage. So there is a there is a strong possibility that if you made it up to the top of it, you could probably do some rooftop hopping. But, you know, luck <laughs> will determine when that ends. Got it. Can you send me a map of uh, to them the fastest way possible? I'm going to go up to the roof of this internet cafe that you're doing. Yeah, right. So you're both going into. So you start <laughs> running off and you do see a location yeah. called Jacket Off. That was right there, and um, but you see that it's actually got a, a, there's more BCPD <laughs> oh, that shit. are around it, and there seems to just be like just just people and like coming into it, and there's a lot of people who are kind of like looking down and around, not unlike this crime scene that you just dealt with. So you run right by it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. go right into it and find another one that's just a couple of like buildings down. And you hopped into there. Do you want to? You want to give me the name of this one? Yes. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Jack it in. <laughs> it's the knockoff. <laughs> All right. So you run into there, and uh, it's you like in and out, and out, out and in. in. <laughs> 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 um, hey, it's a competitive <laughs> yeah. city. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Hey, business is business. Yeah, you know? it's a good joke. It's a good joke. Twenty so, um, kind of, percent copyright rule. You kind of you kind of start running, but then as soon as you get close, you. <gasps> Take a couple deep breaths. You're fine. <laughs> and then um, just Morning kind of run. walk in and uh, hear the ding, 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 ding as the, the door opens and a bored looking guy who's just kind of scrolling through the feed and goes, You got roof access? Why do you want to get on the roof? Uh, I need to go look at the birds. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, we have roof access, but you need a key to get up there. Can I use it? No! Okay, all right, fine, great. Uh, we'll pay. All right, credit chips. I'm going to put down my, my thumb. No, 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 you want roof access, I want credit chips. Okay. Here, I throw him <coughs> one of my level ones. Level ones? <coughs> all right. Kind of looks under and goes, and hits it like an air can. Just go, and you just uh, goes, yeah, it's open. You okay. enjoy I the, run up. Enjoy the fucking birds, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I will. <laughs> um, you walk through. You I'll hear. You see. Split off, mm -hmm. and okay. I'm gonna find a cubicle that I'm gonna hole up in. Okay. Uh, okay. You, I mean, yeah. Okay. You didn't pay for a booth, but you're taking it anyway. I love it. So <laughs> you're just walking in, and you kind of sit down. There's a there's a VR pad that is floor sticky. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been there. No, no. Oh to this internet cafe. <laughs> <laughs> but you walked in and there's a place where you can kind of, you know, yeah. unload your stuff. Whoa. Oh yeah. my God. Um, don't say it like that. Uh, well, no. We're here no, now. You, yeah. yeah so we're here made now. It. Okay. Uh, so welcome so to Alter Carbon. Jack it in. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. uh, as, as Suya, you just basically take it up and you take, you take the elevator because this one has an elevator. It was an old Great. hotel. And you kind of take it up to the top and you go out and there is actually a, a, a pigeon shack um, <laughs> that's out there up on the top as well as a small uh, rooftop garden so can i kind of tell if it's his birds no way to tell no way to so, tell yeah. i'm gonna open it up let him free <laughs> <laughs> let him we're, free. we're getting you're shot and you're like oh hold on yeah. let me take a break here <laughs> poor cage birds i mean yeah it's not that hard. You slap it open. You kind of watch and you fly it open and just 
<laughs> just like a flock of just pigeons just kind of come out and you kind of watch as they just take off into the Bay City skyline. Probably going to get hit by an air car. Oh, I no. Oh. Um, and so, didn't think about that. <laughs> we're unloading there, yes, right? I'm mm-hmm. in my environment. Yeah. I'm full on taking uh, the, the time to go into my Oni and yeah. my uh, digital environment. All right. Are you, this is full man on the chair stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because right. I'm pulling up these the blueprints of the buildings that okay. I know and, and the route uh, through GPS and, and things like that to get there. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna find out like the status of like the media, because I don't blackout, know if right. there is a media blackout. But so you've been you pulled up, and it seems like there's like a lot of the articles that you talked about are still there. Yeah. But like ironically, nothing else has been posted. Oh, also, I'm gonna <laughs> program my own dampening field around this cubicle. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna ch- attempt to. Attempt to. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's just um. That's an engineering check. And, and I got it. That's like a ten. Okay. So with when I'm doing uh, programming and engineering, I have a plus three. Okay. So, so that would go nice. from ten to, to seven. seven. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then my engineering is a D eight. D eight. So I have a chance. Can I push it to the limit and and do a luck? Push yeah, I'll, I'll give you another. I'll give you another D eight. Sweet. Okay. All right. This is dumb luck. Oh no, I'm sorry. We'll do beginner's luck on okay. this because I'm ready to see if your thing explodes or not. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> so I need a, a seven or lower. <laughs> seven right? or lower. One and a two. Okay. Ooh, one and a two. So wow. close. So I have six degrees of success. Oof. Okay. All right. Wow. Meanwhile, I can't Get walk it. upstairs. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, I'm so you sorry. You trying to walk so up. This is, this is, you still succeeded? Yeah. But this is my bad. When I said it was a 10, like that's super trivial. I that's, was, yeah, yeah, you meant. Uh, yeah. I was meanting something much lower. Right. So it was supposed to be a two, but, but I you got, got a one and a two. It would have been a four, too. Yeah. And yeah. it would have been a four. Right. Mm-hmm. So... Blew or, I'm sorry, it. Uh, five. Yeah, but you blew through it, and you're basically in a state where you're you're getting into it. So you basically pull up like you would like right now. We put a put like a hot spot on. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you use your deck and you basically set up a minor dampening field. Yeah. So there's no one who can find out what you're doing, or at least Get there's no it. stuff going out. And you basically and you patch into both beep. of their onis. Yeah, so. and we're oh. opening a line of communication as well to all of them. Yo, okay. spectacles. Where's my map? Don't call me spectacles. It's <laughs> <laughs> Detective like Oracle, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like personal request. Can you say we're in? We're in. We are in. <laughs> like, you, like you have to say that whenever you're hacking. Like, we're in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, send it. But over. since we're in jacket mm-hmm. in, <laughs> a little grunt before you say that. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Should I go home? Is that the <laughs> so Oni? So you're basically done. Oni up, and you pull up a you pull up a version of which of which ones with all their schematics into it. So now, s- also, yes, I have a, a secretary AI assistant because it's my detective office in oh my own. Oh my gosh! All right, <laughs> but I give that to you. <laughs> okay, all right. So you have you have all right. Fine, I'll do this. So. <laughs> Surya, please make a left. Making a left. Always weird. (laughs) Continue for three more buildings and then climb up a single flight. Easy. Done. All right. So you're going to run forward and you're going to have to climb up a single, like it's literally going to be, you have to climb up a little bit. So I want, or at least either an athletics or an endurance to pace. Copy that. Athletics. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, This is probably living at a five. Let's call it a five. five. Yeah. Not trivial, but not bad either. So. Come on. Yeah. That's a seven. Seven. All right. <laughs> oh, um, I can't climb upstairs. Guess who Ooh. else can't climb upstairs? Sl- <laughs> so we need this, to take a little break. Wow. So you would actually. You're doing great. I imagine this one being like you have to. You. It's not even. A, it's not even. A, oh, actually, it's true. It would be. You'd go and you pump through. So you're gonna punch through to kind of go into a first one, so you can climb up more stairs. Okay, you guys are getting into this building. It has to take you up another flight. But um, instead, uh, the door's okay. locked. Oh. So we'll call it that. Great. Right. So now you're gonna have to jump up a single jump story up. in order to get up to the next to the next stage, so to speak. Or Sweet. punch the lock. Yeah. yeah or kick. Yeah. Or punch the lock. I'm gonna, I'm could gonna be kick worse. It down. Could be oh. 17 right. points of damage. All right. Could be. <laughs> could yeah. Be. Yeah. Could be. This is, you just got a locked door. This is a, <laughs> this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a uh, let's call it a five for your you can either do a brawl or if you want to use your um, power knuckles and yeah. get into it. Then it's still technically your melee. Uh, I think it'll be quicker if I just kick it down without pulling out my okay. brass knuckles. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a luck dice on this, but since it's your first one, I'll do beginner's luck. Okay. So, so double it. Mm-hmm. All right. Use yeah. Seven. Except I'm gonna do a d4 luck on this. Oh. So. D4. 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 Yeah. D4 luck dice. Two. Beginner's this luck. Guy. All right. I want to see if it's oh. gonna. And it's a five. You're looking at a, at a five. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
three and three. Three and three. Okay. So, because I wanted, to, it's either gonna, because this is Lick Town. These doors aren't great. Yeah. But there was a, there Fair. was that um, catastrophic chance to see if it could have been something awful. Gotcha. So you basically. The door punches back. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. Oh. You, as you run, you basically just lift up and put your full weight into this thing, and this thing splinters as it just goes right out. And whoops. And you, so cool. And you hear basically several people who are in this building kind of like cry out, um, uh, just like oh. As Dad, you, don't worry about me. And as you come back in, you kind of make it over to the next part of the building and you climb up the next flight of stairs. And, um, and The whole time, one jump from Aladdin's playing in my head. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. <laughs> as you get into it, at this point, you're you're both uh -huh. still making the plans and he is he's tapped Got into here. you. So you do see Person in the um, Catherine at this stage um, uh, who is coming up with Raquel, who's coming up there. And you kind of watch as you're kind of climbing up each each flight as you you see before they do. Yeah, because I'm going to tap into those security cameras. You're tapping those security cameras. That's a specialty I have. There's no security cameras in oh, this building. Oh, yeah. that's right. It's old. Yeah. 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 So you look for it and you're like, oh, no, nothing's, nothing's in there. But yeah. you do see someone behind Catherine who is coming out around the corner through. Uh, just a uh, okay. text version of behind you. Just yeah. yeah coming just up text on version. So, you All know. right. Um. <laughs> do I, uh, if if I can, depending on how she's holding me? Yeah. Oh, she's not holding you anymore. You're oh, she's on your not. Own. Oh no, I did yeah. say that I grabbed her as I was running up. Oh, okay, yeah. my bad. <clears throat> no, my we've apologies. we've got a uh, by the scruff this time though. No, we <laughs> we've got we've got a jetpack situation going on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 If I can, I would like to reach in. I have thigh holstered a small sidearm. Oh, and I would like to, yep, yeah, I would like to reach in and grab my dare. Hey. Well, I'm very happy that we have a jetpack situation because your thigh is right there. Yep. Easy access for you. All right. Well, um, do you want to you want to shoot your Derringer yeah. at whoever's coming up the stairs at you? I love it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to shoot to kill though. I want to try to shoot a warning shot. Okay, so you don't want to shoot actually <laughs> at them. You just want to shoot a warning shot. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Then um, because my aim is shit. <laughs> yeah, and with the well, Derringer, then shouldn't then you, you try to shoot? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't <laughs> you, you try to shoot to kill? Because every shot will be a warning shot. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just hoping to buy us time till the guys that are good at this stuff get here. So the firearms, uh, you'd make a firearms check for this. Uh -huh. And um, you're going to kind of do it against your own perception. Against my own perception. Oh, yeah. So your okay. perception is three. It's three. So you have to roll a three or under in order to hit on Oh, this. wow. So uh, with, okay. your, with your... Um, with my D12. With your D12. And, oh, since, you <laughs> aren't, and since you aren't specialized in <laughs> this at all... Nope. Um, this is emergencies only, and I feel like we're at a fair emergency. Yeah, the point. Derringers, it, uh, looking at the stats here, it's if you don't have the specialty <laughs> pistol or brawl, it's another negative two. So, so I have to get a one. So you have to get a one. There's wow. a chance. <laughs> so you're yeah. saying there's a chance. <laughs> do you want any luck I mean, on you this? Ain't this trying is to hit nobody. But what, I um, will, but what I will do is totally put a luck dice on this just because <laughs> I, it's honestly, fun. Honestly, I'm hoping you don't shoot me. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> the hell like this? It's another D12. <laughs> Okay. So okay. you can have another D12, and uh, we're going to do beginner's luck on this. So all <laughs> it's advantage, but Flat with either stairs, catastrophe or stroke of luck. All right. Oh Please boy. Yeah. Okay, so I got one two and one twelve. One two <gasps> Just and two. one twelve. Yeah. But the two is the. But the two is not a one. But is there any way we can modify a roll after it's been made with anything? <laughs> no, the okay. only way to do that but is it's if, the, lu if the luck dice uh -huh. yeah. was a one, oh. if then you could have swapped it for some, some stack. Here's the thing, though. If you want to send some stack points, stack points oh, allow yeah. you bonuses as well, too. Like a bonus or a re-roll? Um, let me double check real quick. Okay. Um, but I believe it is, uh, I believe you can always spend stack points in order to get bonuses to rolls, which is basically you just using your your vital resources <laughs> yeah. for character creation and just getting a bonus. Yeah. That would bump <laughs> it from it. a one to a two, making it a success. Yeah. And I'm just going to make sure that I... that or that from I'm a two to a one. Doing that right. correctly, because I do know that that stacks do confer bonuses. So let me just look at my... So wait, if you... Because you were shooting not to kill, then if you fail, does that mean you kill? <laughs> I mean, it could mean I kill. It could mean I it shoot myself. That, yeah. It could mean I shoot Raquel. Yeah, it, it could mean that she kills me. I shoot you. Yeah. And, you know, Somehow. From outside. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Anything can what was happen. <laughs> that was an incredible lucky shot. This is yeah. why I hire muscle. Me, this bird. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so I want... Um, it, this is this is getting back at me for dropping you, isn't it? <laughs> 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 
I fell too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, stack points can hmm. give you a roll a bonus dice. So okay. it would allow you to roll a bonus dice in this circumstance, which just means you get another chance to roll another d12 in, okay. this, in this kind of which situation. Which isn't necessarily that great. No, not yeah. in this I mean, can I just take the two, which is a fail one. by one? Yeah, so it's not a awful failure. Right. That's right. a good move. You know yeah. what? I'll take that. Okay, great. Yeah. So basically, um, <laughs> how I imagine it, unless you would like to resolve your degree of failure, I imagine you pulled the Derringer out and you took mm. a shot and you watched as whoever was coming up the stairs at you just kind of stopped for a second as you watched a bullet just straight into uh, down the steps through the wall in front. But he doesn't or whoever it is, kind of like, <laughs> just kind of stops and just moves. It's like they just took a moment to stop the shot and then just kept going straight Okay, well, I tried. It. So, <laughs> yeah. um, that was a great second. Yeah, that was that was mm -hmm. a moment. So uh, we're, you're still kind of coming up, and you do hear a voice that is um, not quite, it's like a low-resolution voice that kind of comes up as you, as you hear... Um, uh, this kind of face come up and it's just one person you can tell that it's just one person who's coming up and uh, you hear this low resolution voice they are armed oh great maybe I scared him <clears throat> so and you know maybe here. now they'll shoot us how close they am were I to, shooting the, us uh, anyway. yeah, to this fair. building not far at this stage not far <laughs> yeah I would say we could probably get one more check done of go. endurance and then we could probably make do it there it. in time so let's do it you go, know, and you'll go, be over go, at the top go. so what do I need to get here <laughs> let's let's keep it the same way let's keep going with this hmm. did I say a six or a seven last time I'm not sure let's say a six yeah, six it is yeah getting tired he's at three it's a three okay so this one is a lot easier you're basically just clearing small lines as you're getting closer and closer and then you kind of watch as both mm -hmm. Raquel and Catherine just kind of come out through the front door and you are right there. How like, many are there? Oh, at least one that we know of. At least one. Great. Mm -hmm. Come this way. And then uh, I'm going to look down to, is they're going up they're the out, stairs. it's up? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not a door like this or is it a door like coming out? Like No, it's a, it's like a it's like a small um, you know pop up with a stair and then door comes out like gotcha. you would imagine like any rooftop But like entrance. the stairs go down. The stairs go yeah. down. Like in the room. Is it one of those doors that I can kind of like stick up totally something through it to stop them from coming out? Through uh, a bar? Like the door handles. Yeah, mm. like bar. I'm going to roll I'm gonna roll luck for that just to see how comparable that is. Um, You could, if you had something, you could try to bar it a little bit. Okay. Yes. Do I see so. bar? Can I throw <laughs> do, <laughs> bar? do I see something? Convenient. Crowbar? Yeah, no, let's uh, make a search roll. So see what you can find up on the top. Ooh, so get into it. Ten. At this point, you are you are hearing the the second set yep. of stairs, um, second set of feet coming up though. As if I don't see up. anything, oh, I got a nine. I don't know if that was. That's not <laughs> it. So okay. You see nothing. I'm just there. gonna pull a rail gun and can shoot downwards the downward the steps. Into through the door or like door open. Doors are still down. open. Yeah. So right. I'm just gonna. All right. Make a make a um, make your firearms check. Firearms so, check. Yeah, but this is a rail gun, so. <coughs> That's is that energy, energy weapon? Uh, yeah, I had a, I made a note of which page your railgun was in. Let me just find it real quick. While so. he's doing a pew pew, can I look around for someone to bar the door? Yeah, if you want to do this yeah, as well too. Maybe. Technically, you would want to assist, but if, if they just don't see anything in, in the immediate, but go ahead. I mean, oh two. dang, that's Ooh. a two. Nice. All right, yeah, you found something. You're just gonna have to pry it out. So just to add to the drama a little bit. So. <laughs> Um, you've basically found what would be the equivalent of like a ventilation, like a little stack, a little ventilation stack with a little hole into it, just to get some. some yeah, and I can out. use my, my yeah. super strength. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, all right. Well, go ahead and roll your, because I know you at least have the stats. I just want to see if this is an energy weapon or not. I think it's a rifle. Uh, that is frag rifle, shock trooper, long guns. So many guns. I actually don't know what I roll for my real gun. Up at the top, uh, under perception, you should have direct energy oh, weapons direct and yeah, firearms yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah and you would be rolling gun. against your own perception. Against so. my own perception. So, so the five. tenth digit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Five. <laughs> One degree. All right. One degree. All right. <coughs> so you do the base damage on it, which I believe we talked about was was. Do you want to do you want to use this single degree of success in order to um, uh, aim and and do damage, or do you want to do it to like? I only see one person coming up the stairs. You do right? only see one person coming up. Yeah, I'll shoot so, the leg. Okay, so you'll go and shoot for it, and you'll basically okay. you'll kind of watch as it comes up, and you see as your uh, as your railgun 
Because I don't see any BCPD. I probably should ask that before. BCPD. <laughs> No, you don't see you don't see any anything like that. Um, cool. Oh man, why am I having uh, <laughs> a hard time finding this thing? Railgun, shock trooper, AK. There's just so many guns. We're Praetorian railgun. Okay, great. Yeah. So um, the great thing about the altered carbon game is that there's so many different guns. <laughs> so many from. guns. Um, here's the thing. Now we get to go into depletion as well too. So take one of those little chips, um, those little white chips that are in there, and keep that to the side because you've now used that. And every single time we use that railgun from this point forward, you're gonna have to make a depletion check on it. Oh wow! And the roll is going to uh, increase every single depletion roll you want Copy you that. put onto it. All right. Okay. Um, so you put it down. You kind of watch as the small, uh, as we said, among the best military-issued railguns in existence. It propels tungsten bolts of considerable speed. While the power up can vary to make the ammunition fire subsonic, it still has a super, uh, super dense tungsten steel bolt uses ammunition to punch through concrete as if it was paper. <laughs> Whoa! So that leg is gone. Homie's <laughs> yeah. not running no more. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of watch. The leg as, of as his child is gone. <laughs> a deep, um, a deep kind of bass just doom, 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 goes off as you fire. Uh, ostensibly a small burst round and you kind of watch as it just shoot, 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 as you watch as just, um, just or inorganic uh, uh, skin and something is just shredded right beneath it and you kind of watch as he as, as this this thing kind of stumbles and you hear a boop as it just kind of puts its foot back down and it leaps straight up ah! from, its, from the bottom oh, flight of the stairs and comes straight up at you. He's oh, a cool. Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> so now for this, let's do let's let's explore combat a little bit. Let's do it. How it's it's a Terminator. Be. So um, how this is going to be? Are you two oh, participating oh, oh. in combat, or are you opting out for this? Um, I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to think of ways that we could be helpful. Think about it. Are you opting into combat? Hell no! I don't own this sleeve. <laughs> this is under contract. Okay. I am stepping back. So uh, do me a favor. I got to keep this for the season take finale. Your um. Take your speed dice that's equal to your perception That's stat. all D6s, right? They're yeah. all D6s. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how this works, It's this is not traditional initiative like in a lot of games. What we have is we have um, speed dice that we're going to roll after we declare our intents, and then we're both going to both blindly bid actions that we want to do. Co more complicated actions, more speed dice, and we're going to bid these, and that will be our initiative for a single round before we finish mm -hmm. the turn. Got it. I so. went in. And that's... All right. Yeah. All right. Do great. it. You got a Derringer. <laughs> Help yeah. me out here. <laughs> and you're strong. Um, all right. Em. So how many D6s do we have? It's get? up to your perceptions, whatever your perception three. is. Okay, and it's, three. And we want to put <laughs> forward like the lowest number, I guess, right? Presumably. I see. Okay. Yeah. So at this stage, what is your intent? My intent? He, I see him leaping <laughs> at me. Leaping right Leaping up. at me. And my real gun, is it on a sling or is it? I imagine since it's a long gun, sling, you probably right? put it up in, and you have the stock up against your shoulder right. and you probably let out, you know, right. that. But it's on a sling so that I can just let go of it, pull my Is it, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you. I feel like sling? that would make more sense. I wouldn't really care. It's on a sling. It's on a sling, yeah. I'll let it go. Yeah. Pull out my power knuckles and <laughs> try to punch him back down. Yeah. Okay, great. So that's the yes. intent. That's the intent. All right, perfect. Wow. How about you? Uh, I am going to attempt in my meanest voice possible yeah. to tell him to drop that weapon and that he's surrounded. Okay, cool. All right. Me? Then let's <laughs> then, <laughs> then let's begin the intent <laughs> roll. <laughs> what so. weapon? His body? Uh, really quick. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how this fits in, but I want to um, read person on him, so see yeah. if I can uh, like understand see anything, anything else, like understand okay. anything else. Let's find. I mean, and we can. I can do that check. But I don't think we necessarily need to do it. In okay, I didn't order. know like where exactly yeah. it went. Yeah, that's just a you call. know that crowbar you're back. pulling out. <laughs> yeah, let's say hypothetically, <laughs> meta you could, Medi speaking, if somebody really had to go to the bathroom, would this be a good time? This would be a great time. Time. Awesome. You could also come back and start pulling out that pole if you wanted to. Cause I oh, yeah, I, I'm working on the pole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right, um, so make your both of you roll your speed dice. I will not look at what you have. Okay. All right? So um, my intent is to, you know, attack you. Right. With every intent after having made this leap up. All right? Sweet. So let's bid. All right, and you probably want to keep yours in your dice tray. Oh, right. So that the so camera. I'll can put it see in the it. middle. All right. Right in the middle. And then I'll hold mine up like this. Right. Ready? One, two, three. One. So one. One. Three-way tie. One. Three-way tie. 
All right, so this is all going to resolve at the same time. Great, great. Right? Awesome. So I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll my skill check with uh, with all of the rest. So if you're pulling it out, so you're probably you said your first action. Drop. Drop to grab. So that's probably going to be your first action yeah. for one speed dice. And then you're using your mean loud voice. Intimidation. Intimidation. Yeah, go for it. You know, roll intimidation mm -hmm. onto it. You're looking okay. at a two. A two. A two. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Should have just fired, huh? I know, right? <laughs> right. Uh, maybe he's not bad. And we all roll at the same time? Oh, we can roll and then we can decide how we want to do this. But since we're all resolving at the same time. Yeah, yes, I'm not really resolve. rolling, huh, because I'm dropping and pulling yeah. out a weapon. No, but, that, but you spent the speed dice for it in order to do yeah, that. Yeah. So that's fine. So any degrees of success to spend? I got a critical failure. You, well, with... Just an eight. Just an eight. Okay, um, yeah, because die. you need to still have the luck dice in order to get oh, a, okay, great. A, a, a full critical failure. Great, cool. Yeah. <laughs> good. Why don't you roll that luck dice and see if you're rolling oh. an eight as well, too? Or maybe it's a good die. Yeah. Or maybe. It's, no, this, oh, wait, is, wait, wait. this is dumb luck. Oh, we're, we're doing dumb luck on this. Okay, dumb luck. It's a seven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So I feel like, I feel like Catherine uh, tries to... Tries to muster it up, but honestly, she's never been this scared before in her life. Her, she's screaming. Her life has never been in mortal peril yes. like this, and she is <laughs> freaking the f out. The the drop, so, yeah, the drop your gun has <clears throat> just turned into scream. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's completely. You can't even understand what she's saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's that's fair. You were incoherent, sc screaming and uh, off of the rooftops at this stage, just as loud <laughs> as you possibly can. Oh God. As this thing, just bolts right into you, uh, like basically leaping up and taking you um, uh, on the chest, like you kind of watch as he's lifting up and he puts his feet up um, at the same time after doing the leap. His, oh, <laughs> his feet or his foot? Both of his feet. <laughs> They're back? Yeah, so he, he um, you kind of watch as he leaps, but then he does one of those tucks. Drop kick? He, so he tucks to do a little bit of a forward drop kick. Son of a nutcracker. As he puts both of his chest st square into your chest. Oh my god, and just he's the Terminator. So, so just to be sure, the leg grew back. It did not grow back. Oh. I mean, he shredded it. Right. Right. But, but he's, he's still, still kicking there. with it. But he's still kicking with Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Is it a cyborg leg? And I'm then ever so slightly <laughs> turn towards that bad leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's fine. So you kind of watch as you feel, and it's going to oh, probably it's going to take what an asshole. <laughs> um, no, this one's this one's this is this is five. So you're going to take five. Five points of five points damage, of damage to my to your, Yeah, because he basically just, like you said, just drop kicked you right in the chest. But oh, that's a good one. I'm going to remember that for next time. I still mm -hmm. succeeded, but um, uh, you have your 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 skin as well too, which technically makes my damage threat or my target number a little higher. And actually, I was going to say my flat coat can be kind of like it can stiffen. So normally it would have been maybe 10 damage or more, yeah, but we're going to stay with this, but you're going to we're going to just take it the 5 damage at the moment Sick. just cuz you're doing <coughs> some you take both of for bludgeoning, frankly. Copy that. You know. So great. So that was my uh, my first resolve. Everyone resolve their speed dice. We get to bid again as long as we have oh. speed dice. Oh, what is with he? the same <coughs> Oh, yes. I see. Now we same put away. Oh. So put that <laughs> dice away. Son of a nutcracker. Yeah, so <laughs> So put that dice away, whatever you rolled, and we're doing this again. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. With Ready? I will ask dice. now, yeah. once he's kicked my chest, yeah. he's in the <laughs> air. He's in the Is air. Is he... He hasn't fallen. He hasn't pushed he's me back. He's kicked you, and now, I mean, I'm going to be making a roll for this next one to basically recover from the kick. Copy. All right. <laughs> so, all right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Got our dice. Indeed, so, I am. So, three, two, here, one. Here. Reveal. That's a two. Darn. All right. Five. All right. So I will resolve first. I'm going to make my um, skill check to see if I land appropriately. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. So uh, you kind of watch as this thing <laughs> kicks you and pushes it and is doing a backflip. Mother. To <laughs> land up. And the, uh, you know, the, the hut I was talking about, yeah. which it kind of came up, he back kicked and flipped up in order to stand up on the top of this uh, small hut building and is purchased onto the edge with both of their feet and kind of lands, not in a full squat, but in a small squat. Like you, a little spidey squat. There's a little spidey squat. Gargoyle. And you watch as they pull out what seems to be a small disc cool. from their back pocket and chucks it out to the right at the moment. So, and you watch as it kind of rolls and then 
stops and like lands like a base. So okay. All right. We have no idea what it is. Next round. Cool. Next turn. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Because he's still round. Yeah. speed dice. Next round. We still have, do you still have speed dice? Because I, I still do. have speed dice. I, I do. do. Okay. Do, do we still do our no, action? No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I only did things and you didn't do <laughs> right. yeah. this is This is the joys of remembering stuff. So, yeah, so my next. action was to punch with my power knuckles. Okay. So seeing him land mm -hmm. on top, can I jump and uppercut? This guy in the yeah. chin. Sure you can. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do it. Great. So yeah. I see him land, and I just want to do like a sh a sure you can. Sure you can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no spin though, just straight up. I right. was like, I didn't know if we could say it, but I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no brawl it. <laughs> it's your it's your power knuckles or a brawl, right? I believe so. Brawl. <laughs> Let me go back here. And there's you a get bonus die, and I get a minus two, is what you said before. Yeah. Oh no, but you have no specialty. It's, it's, that's only if you didn't have the specialty. But you have the specialty. I do have the specialty. So you just get a bonus dice on this. And cool. negative two to the uh, difficulty is what that is, because you're using both. Of, oh, no, you're just using one. Oh, no, I see. it's not actually the negative two doesn't exist in that circumstance. I see. It's just so I roll the d8 yes. to see if I hit. Yes. And then and it's against your strength. My own strength. That sucks. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, it should be high though. It's high-ish. Mm. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Okay. Move that. That's a, ooh, that's a seven. Oh, okay. Nutcracker. Well, so you. Oh, I have a bonus die. Yes, you oh, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. So yeah. I do another. You mm -hmm. can do another one. Come on, bro. Three. Ooh. Three. Ooh. All right. So. Ooh, give me that glass gin, boo boo. So you. Uh, Punch that guy. So you technically got one degree of success. Mm -hmm. Which you can use to just straight for damage if you want. To. Yeah, it's six damage. Six damage. Okay, Great. so that's that as well too. So we did, we did fifteen with the rail, and then six. <laughs> okay, great. So you kind of uppercut as you push this thing up, and you do feel your power knuckles connect with it as this um, force kind of like clacks up, and you do feel a metal jaw as now as you're kind of connecting mm -hmm. this thing's clearly synth and as you kind of are getting a little closer to it now now that you can kind of look under its hood a little bit you can see it's got white kind of cornea which are clearly cameras not irises at this stage as you can see you're dealing with a you know a full synth and gotcha. like a low grade synth at this stage because it doesn't look realistic at all okay and that's what i mean by <coughs> low grade mm -hmm. right so it kind of hits its head up as you kind of see it fall back as it catches itself and um and it's basically its head's been thrown back right. at this stage. So. And I also obviously land in a backflip because I got to show this guy. <laughs> you ain't the only one, homie. I think for one degree of success, you're lucky to stick the landing. <laughs> so, all right. Um, do we, does anyone still have, you have yours? Yes. I so, do. Yeah. Um, am I within range to run for whatever that disc was that he threw? Yeah, you could, you could spend one speed hmm. dice to just get over there if you'd like, or you could, we'd have to... Yeah, I guess that's fine. You could spend spend your speed. So what I want to do is I want to get over there and I want to see if I can I don't know make like a history check or something to try to, to figure out it. what the hell this thing is. So as you is that run, thing on the floor now or is it on the top mm -hmm. of the? No, it's on the floor. On the floor. On the roof. Okay. So you run over to that thing to kind of just start looking, and as you get closer and closer to it, you kind of watch as this image just kind of comes up, and it looks like something from a B grade retro sci-fi horror film it's just like this just like polygoned head that's kind of lift up it's completely naked but you know but just no genitals it just kind of like stands up into a single package as it kind of looks up and goes and just kind of stands up and stares at you and looks and kind of steps and goes target identified and it watches as it pulls out what it appears to be a um, a, uh, a a small like shotgun like a sawed off shotgun <gasps> that it has in its single oh, hand. Oh Jesus! And uh, it's <clears throat> it just is laid up in front of you at the moment, and you're looking down. And I will allow you to make uh, a detection check just to kind of see if you know what it is. But okay, uh, you said detection. Detection. Okay. You could technically <laughs> try something Maybe. like a bureaucracy or cultures if you wanted to as well too. Um. Ooh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bureaucracy or cultures would be great. Um, what do I have to get? Six. Okay. I got a one. One. <gasps> All right. So oh. before this thing, I don't know what it is before it shoots. Me. As this thing forms, <laughs> you that's can, a lot of success, though. You can tell it's a nanotransmitter. You know, it is used. This is like a fairly new tech that is used to project AI into a space. So rather than um, 
being able to like like it, and it's something like in the old hotels, the old AI hotels. Yeah. All of these AIs are produced through nano swarms, and so this is basically a small base that is a nano swarm. Um, base projector. So this thing is being made up of a nano swarm that's basically come up, but it has, um, you know, it has all of the uh, uh, capabilities of having a real thing. But it's basically an AI that is made in physical right here via this nano swarm. Would I have any idea who would have this kind of technology at their disposal? It was with a bureaucracy that check, role. With that bureaucracy yeah. role. This is new tech, and while it's not, it's not expensive to do the nano swarms ain't cheap right so this is not disposable tech well and i imagine it's not for sale to everyone but the ai that is in front of you looks so low grade and so like crappy frank, yeah. frank, practically is that you can tell that that the software in this ain't smart and it ain't doing anything other than probably just one single action um the entire time and is uh it's it's i mean you're not dealing with a po here Right. All right. right. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with like a max headroom. Got it. Coke. Get it if you can. Ken. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Great. How big did he grow into? Is it like a full he, human size? He grew into a full human Growed. size. Right. Basically like a low polygon. So you can't punt him. Got it. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's, it's a low polygon Dr. Manhattan that you're basically uh, looking at with this, with this kind of like stoic <laughs> face, no eyes, and just a mouth that just kind of opened into a static mm. flap. So we got a weird ninja. But, and but a what would happen if you punted the base? Isn't that its transmitter? I mean, I will, I will let... Catherine decide Got it. how they Fair. want to deal with Fair. that. Oh, do I get an action now, or was that that was my that whole was thing? it? That yeah, was the whole great, thing. You basically good. ran up and saw and saw. Oh shit! It's a nano swarm transmitter. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do another bit. Does anyone have some more speed dice? I do. Okay. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Three, two, three. one. Oh, it's two. One, two, three, five. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, I'm the, this this nano swarm transmitter. We're not into that. He kind of watches this ninja who's kind of flipped up, took a solid hit into there. Is just basically going to brawl and kind of like give you a give you a cross right into your ribs. Okay. Kind of see if it comes down. So let's see. That's not as good. So <laughs> strength. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm rolling a lot of ones. <laughs> Yikes, spikes. Yeah. So, um, but. Your armor. This is another bludgeoning hit. So armor, flak jacket. Yep. That would take my target number of five, and it would. Um, and I rolled a one, so technically do four degrees of, uh, of success for me. We're gonna we get we get push that back to a three. So now it's only two degrees of success for me because your flak jacket and your armor. Got it. You know what I mean. So so actually, how difficulty works, just to go into it, because your armor is basically difficulty. It technically yeah. just takes my number and bumps it up. But whether yeah. you move the goal post or you move the die roll, they're kind same of there. Same, same thing, thing, right. So yeah, so rather than getting four degrees of success, we can just get two degrees of success. Yay! All right? Less damage, I like that. Mm. Yeah, less damage. Oh, I lost the dice. Block okay. it right here. Um, we're looking <laughs> at um, another 10 damage. Oof. Another you. ten. Yeah. So your rib cage explodes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not yet. Wow. <laughs> but you do feel the strong connection. It's like something yeah. that is as hard as your power knuckles, kind of like craps into your rib, and you do kind of feel the <laughs> as it goes through your flak jacket, and you and you and you take the punch. But it's like getting hit by a by a, a mid a mid level or a low a low quality synth uh, cage fighter at this stage. Yeah, so. Yes. Um, all right, and then we resolve yours. You're the, you're the next one. Yeah, I'll throw a punch right back all right. to his head. Exchange and blows. Yeah. Um, go against it. So melee. So melee combat, that's DA. Right. And you get to advantage type of thing. Yeah. Right. I've got the bonus die. So that's six and a four. Four. Yep. And all it's right. against my own, right? Against your own strength. Okay, so it's perfect. Okay. Four, but it's just one degree of uh, success. And which is another <coughs> six damage. I believe so. Yeah, another I, six. I think so. Great. So we are at okay. So you this kind of strong. You're just exchanging blows, basically. Like yeah. he takes a hit, but you throw a right cross with your power knuckles into it, and you kind of again watch as it just it doesn't do one of these. It actually just like kind of like takes it down, and you watch as you kind of strip some of its low grade um, synthetic uh, flesh a little bit, and you kind of tore into it with your knuckles, and you kind of watch as some of its bad skin is kind of peeled off. 
and you can clearly see no teeth, nothing. It just has a jaw with a small kind of like low grade, um, low grade uh, uh, flesh ish tongue underneath it. So, um, so gross. Gro go ahead. Um, okay, well, uh, I, I'm feeling like I'm pretty much screwed. So I am going to try uh, maybe. I've seen this in a movie before. Yeah. I'm going to try uh, kicking the base of this thing as I drop to the ground. So oh, I'm going to try to like slide, slide, slide. kick it okay. so that if it happens to shoot a shotgun in my face, maybe I can get under it. Hey. Right. So really quick, did it work in the movie? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, it was a client I represented was in this film. It was not very Oh, I thought good. you meant you. The, you <laughs> no. saw it in a movie. No. And you were like, I don't no. know. I was like, you stopped watching right then? <laughs> sounds, okay. sounds, sounds like an athletic check to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, it's not trivial and ain't hard, though, either. So I'm going to call it a six. Oh, great. Any luck? This is like <laughs> risky. This is super <laughs> risky. Let's do a D4, but this is dumb luck, so it's gonna add Ten. to the dice. But oh, there's a so chance you could good. crit. Yeah, you could crit. You could get two ones. Always can get two ones. What is know? the target again? It was five. It's, it's a six. It's a six. It's a six. You sure it wasn't? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, no, that's a no all the way around. No all the way around. Yeah. Is it a catastrophe? No. It, it is not a catastrophe. No. But it is away from it. All it right. is definitely not a success. So I think in this circumstance, we're going to at least generate five <laughs> degrees of failure. Woof. Which, um, um, yeah, I so um, I rolled an eight, and then my luck dice was a three. So it's an eleven. It's at least five degrees of failure. Yeah. So I can, you can resolve those, <laughs> or I, I mean, technically, uh, this character hasn't gone yet. Um, they will in the next round. So yeah. we need to either you even need to decide how you want to deal with these failures either now or I can use them against you later. I would like to resolve them now before the shotgun <laughs> is fired. <laughs> how would you like to resolve these failures? Um <laughs> All right. So let's say the roof was loose and you fall through. <laughs> out of <laughs> oh, yes. oh, out darn. Of that would be amazing. <laughs> On that top be of amazing. plush pearl to safety. <laughs> Pearl's <laughs> Pearl's corpse just yeah. cushions my fall. Um no, I'm going to so I'm going to try to drop down and kick it and when I kick the base, it doesn't move at all. It doesn't move it's at all. It's just stuck. It doesn't move at all. So yeah. that uh, hinders my any forward momentum so that just I had like, at that point. So <laughs> I kind of just fall back and like skin the crap out of my elbow. Oh, yeah. And just it, it's it's painful and it's awkward and it's uncomfortable and embarrassing. Okay. Um, and, and I 100% see this. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think for five, we all saw it. this. And now I'm just kind of on one elbow. <laughs> On Just my back at it. in front of this AI <laughs> that's gonna shoot a shotgun in my face. Yeah, all right. It's well, real bad. It's gonna and it's probably gonna get some degrees of failure to roll against oh, you and with it as well too. But let's let's see uh, how it continues. <laughs> I have one more speed dice. Okay, so. I do too. Okay, oh, yeah. let's go. All go right, guys, go. Um, ready. One. Um, oh yeah, do we say our actions before? We're technically, weekend? we've declared our intent at the beginning of this. but Unless you're doing something different. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Unless you're okay. doing something different, but since we're still exchanging blows, this is just more opportunities Let to exchange, exchange blows. exchange some blows. Okay, ready? Yes. And three. It's a two. Two. So then you I get go to go first. first. Yeah. Right. Great. Um, I would like to... May I suggest hitting harder? <laughs> I actually would like to read like <laughs> to see what move he's going to do and use that move to redirect him into Aikido. a judo throw. Oh, yeah, okay. Into the into the, into the AI the guy. swarm. Yep. Okay. Oh hell yeah. So that's that's fun. In, in a the mechanical way to kind of represent this is is that you basically want to turn your my action into an opposed action when I go against you. Yeah. And we'll just roll an opposed check and if you win, we'll judo throw it. Got it. Does that make sense? That does make so sense. So you're spending your speed dice to make my attack an opposed check. Yes. All right. I'll do that. So let's do that. <coughs> um great. So I'm gonna roll against my strength and you're mm -hmm. gonna roll against your strength mm -hmm. and we're gonna compare <laughs> our degrees of success. Okay. So as you're kind of like watching as this thing hits you and you just did an uppercut, you kind of are watching to see which arm it's gonna throw with 
at Next first wave. to kind of see if you can move that momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all right. And you're not flush with neurochem or anything, so you're just nope. going straight off of muscle memory. Just muscle right. memory. All right. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Yes. I got a four. You got a four? So how many degrees of success? That's exact. Oh, exact. It's exact? It's on. Okay, I also got exact. <gasps> do we do I got another a, roll? I got, or I got what do we a do? five, so it's a push. What is a push? In this it's stage. a roll off? You know, do you want to do a roll yeah, off? Yeah, do a roll off. We can do a roll do off. Do a roll Straight off. Straight dice roll. Okay. Straight dice roll. Who and gets let's lower? Ro let's roll um, D10s just to make D10s. it more interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay? my goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're making new rules on the spot. Right now. Why not? I'm the DM. Yeah. My uh, sleeves you wrote the heart game. is beating. <laughs> yeah. Six. Four. Whoa. All right. Ah! All right. Uh, please narrate it for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mm -hmm. Since he's in front of me here, and I have a feeling the AI is on this side, yeah. I'm going to wait for his cross to throw, and then I'm going to throw him this way okay. into. Mm -hmm. You kind of watch as this cross is thrown, and you grab him, and you shove his shoulder as he flips off. He does another flip, but this one kind of a forward flip as he um, spikes off of the top of this, uh, this small outcropping that holds the stairs, and you kind of watch as he just wham, slaps his back right onto the hard ferrocrete as he just kind of goes splayed. Um, uh, facing up straight onto it and you kind of watch as the as you aimed for the nano swarm and the nano swarm like dissipates for a moment as he just lands right on top of it and you kind of watch as the as the AI kind of looks down and then takes like a side step to the right and looks down at it and goes organic damage or real death and you kind of watch as this character goes up and goes OD for the rest, RD for the girl. And he kind of like lifts himself up for another turn. So, you know. Um, <coughs> is he standing on that base now or is the base has the base moved? His his base has not moved. He basically landed straight on the on base. On the base. Yes. Great. Perfect. So, you know. Did not dissipate the nano swarms, right. but he landed on the base directly. Which is also, by the way, right where you're awesome. right I mean, I was of. gonna mention your foot's <laughs> near it, hey? Um but I'm out of speed dice. Does anyone have any more speed dice? I have dice? one more. Nice. Go for it, and you just get to go. I would like to fire. It was a five. Uh, I would like to fire at the guy and the base at the same spot. You're with fine. your railgun. Uh, I was. I was <laughs> sitting <laughs> here like I thought I was sweating before. Um, so you basically you've done this. You've done yeah. this exchange of blows. You got You did this though, right? <laughs> you still have your power knuckles on. I though, nudged right? it oh, with yeah, my yeah. foot. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess I just run and punch the guy instead. Okay. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's I do true. have to pick up my gun. Yep. I'm just going to run and punch at the guy. Just run and punch him while he's prone on the floor. Uh, is he prone on the floor or did he get up? No, he's he's still because the last action he he's did prone? was to, oh, oh, to judo oh, throw him down. Oh. And now he's lying down on the oh. floor there. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to. Interesting. Yeah. Bite his ear off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to. I'm gonna run in and try to grab Trish's character and move her back. Okay, you want to you want to take Catherine and just basically Catherine. pull her yes. away. All right, that's fine. I mean, single speed dice. You can basically, for all intents and purposes, take her, pick her up by her suit, you know, and then just kind of. Oh, okay. We can do a full on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and kind of give her a good ten foot berth, kind <laughs> of a uh, um, chuck. So, <laughs> yep. You know, I say maybe ten feet's a little Yeats. generous, yeah. but you know, at least four or five feet. Get her back on her yeah. feet, you know, yeah. kind of thing. And you're going to be right there. Yeah, I'm so. going to be right there. Okay. Well, then next round. All right. Ooh. So Let's here's the this. thing. Oh, oh. Uh, all Here of this has been sort of broadcasting to everybody. Yeah. So yeah. I've been watching oh, what's that's going right, on. Oh, man in the chair. Is so there anything going on you want to do? Yeah. Now that you've I'm seen getting like, the in AI? on this initiative Get order is in. what's happening. Okay. You see this spectacle? Oh. He's in. He's in. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so you can see him through the Oni. All this, I mean, you're watching this action scene go down, and you're like, well, this is going to be so good later. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, what is your intent for this round? I know that the uh, that this tech, this AI swarm, mm -hmm. because my field is AI. That's yeah. what I program. Yeah. And I know that takes a local area network to keep them functioning. Right. Someone yes! could disable that network okay. if you could tap into the system. That's going to be a hardcore engineering check. Listen, Do I it. could try again and again and again because I'm in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Get us spectacles. Okay, so you would, you, would, you would take your speed dice yes. and we will do that exact same thing. And this is, again, in the 
reason why the speed dice are kind of important because mm -hmm. you could have different initiatives lay out yeah. around and these things can play out. Also, I turn. love what Yoshi did. You saved one of your ones for a later round because everybody spent yeah. their lower dice first. You got to go first. That was great. Yeah. Smart. Caught yeah. that A? Yeah. That's good. So, um, all right, let's all take our speed <laughs> dice. You had hella low rolls. Oh my God. It was a two, yeah. a two, a one, and a one. Yeah, crazy. It was <laughs> one oh, okay. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, this is the, so like the, my one. Well, I wish all us? of my games were kind of like this. So. Joining us? <laughs> okay. I, Hey, hi. Can I can I come in? Yes. Too? Yeah. Yeah. Are okay. you ready? Grab your speed dice. Uh, so I missed what uh, so where exactly those okay. are so on here. So you've got three. If three. Your oh, if your if your perception okay, tens so digit is three, yeah. then you get three speed cool. dice. All right. So I'm gonna roll mine now. Uh, and your so your intent is to infiltrate the local AI. What is your intent? Oh yeah. Um, Catherine. I don't even know. Stay out of it at this point. So would I not even roll then? Well, I mean, you could use speed dice to to use those speed dice to create more distance between you and the that's thing. That's true. Okay. You know? Yeah. That's. I'm going to take cover. All right. Because we're all, because in this game, you know, technically this is a game in which zones are important. You're all in okay. one zone right okay. now, you know, so you could technically take speed dice to go get out of this zone into another zone. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, speed dice right. could be any action. Okay. Yes. It's mostly Great. just actions in combat <clears throat> is how the speed dice roll. How high up are we? We're a lot of stairs. Six up, right? flights at least. Cool. Yeah. My intent is to throw this guy off the roof and then just chuck him off. Just chuck this guy off. At okay. least we got to deal with one guy instead. All right, great. And <clears throat> then Raquel. Um, so I was fighting with that pipe before. Did I actually get it off? No, we have. We haven't even used any speed dice to see if okay. you've managed to to clean this thing off yet. Okay. Apparently, I was just petting it this entire <laughs> time. <laughs> well, it was also really quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. I want to uh, start, I, I figure that um, I have like technology within me to record stuff and I figure that that information would go onto some type of like outer cloud. So I want to start recording this and putting it and uh, transmitting it, broadcasting live? whatever I can do. Are you going live? I would like to go live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All I'm right. going to boost that signal when I get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. <laughs> Okay. All right. So here we go. You're going. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I would like to uh, start broadcasting and go live. Okay. And this isn't like your simul experiences where they have to do whole equipment for things like that. This is basically you periscoping. Th this what's is going on. I'm, this. I'm doing okay. Twitch. Yeah. Like this is live Twitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, then go for it. It's going to be part of your speed dice. Again, every action takes speed dice. So. But all of everything you've described is ostensibly, I wouldn't say any of those require more than one speed dice in order to bid. You know what I mean? I mean, this is like built into me. This is, yeah. yes. In fact, it's kind of a kind of a it's a very cheap action. So, uh, <laughs> out of he said it's like, a cheap all right, action. fine, yeah. all right. <laughs> Sorry, cheap in the sense that it does not cost you speed. Dice. Oh, okay, I was gonna yes. say like, excuse you. No, no my apologies. <laughs> I was so, excited. Uh, get excited because everyone else is gonna get excited. You're going live, so. Um, oh God! All right. I totally well, want to do an intro. Let's uh, let's do our bids, or let's let's grab our bid and decide what we want to go. Ready? Uh, three, two, one. Four. All right. So two, two, uh, two. So, two. so we're gonna go simultaneously. All right. Um, so you want to infiltrate the local <laughs> AI? Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I needed to technically roll. I'm gonna keep keep this, but I need to roll for my AI as mm. well, too. So No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to do he stuff. This I'm going to get out my stealth dice. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. The camera will not be able to see these, <laughs> but they're blacklight activated. Whoa. What? So you can uh, you can actually see each Where can results. we get something like that? You can get them on the Kickstarter right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> is is the Kickstarter amazing? live? <laughs> it is currently live, and I believe, well, I don't know when, when our last number is, but uh, we've only been up three days and at 145 grand. Out so of 20 grand, just to be 20 clear. Grand, <laughs> yes. 20 grand was what we needed to do in order to make the thing. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, I'm awesome. I'm feeling good. Is everyone having fun? Yeah. yeah. Is okay, it a cool. certain backer level that you get those dice? Yeah, this one. Oh, thank you for asking, Trish. Um, <laughs> I mean, I legit just want this, the dice. Yeah, yeah. This interest. <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry. You can add those as an add-on. Uh, thank they you. They are yes. an add-on. But more importantly, um, 
have you uh, at the 150 level, which is the synthetic level, you get the tube of the D6s for mm -hmm. the speed rounds mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. um, this is at the 250 level, but it also comes with the Hello Kitty backpack. Or oh, the, right. The Hello, Hello Unicorn backpack. Right. Oh, I was like, yeah. distinctly yeah. different. Yeah, I read, distinctly that, different. I read that that backpack has LEDs. It has LEDs inside. Stop and it's a, it. Oh, are you ready? It's a hard shell backpack. It's so oh. extra. What? Yeah, it's not a soft backpack. It's a hard shell backpack. I need it just... That, I need to roll composure. Funny. Very hardcore. <laughs> but, but no, legit, the 250 has like most of all of the stuff inside of it that has all, because this is this is a $50 add-on because it comes with the jewelry case, the pen, mm. and yeah. the full set of dice. Amazing. Beautiful. Um, but the, uh, it also has the deluxe edition, which is MSRP $100 because it has its own sleeve, like its own slip case, mm -hmm. which is a sleeve. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's, I understood that reference. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know, and it has the the cortical stack coin, cool. very cool as well too. So yep. the 250 has a bunch of stuff in it. But if you're just like, yo, 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 I'm, you know, I'm good with the book, and I want this, then you can do it as an add-on as well too. Cool. You just add it to your pledge. Cool. So, you know. Love it. Okay, so we're all bidding, but I have to do my AI. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Oh, I was hoping that he would have forgotten. Forgot I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we distracted him. Like keep talking more and more. <laughs> Tell me. us more about the Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's fair. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that, and then let's go. Ready? Mm -hmm. So uh, I have a two, and then I have a three. Okay. Uh, so um, you're gonna have to trust me unless you want me to hand it around and do the dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but we are gonna go simultaneously like we discussed. So uh, let's. Uh, you know, just for purposes, I want to see how this infiltration Let's rumbles. Me too. Do it, do it, do it. Okay. Okay. okay, so I'm using. Okay, what is the what is the difficulty of something <laughs> like this? the difficulty on something like this to infiltrate a local area network through somebody else's oni that's going there? This is a two, Haas. Okay. This is Come near on. impossible. You okay. Can do it. So, uh, one, I would like to use the data engineering skill, okay. which right. I think applies mm -hmm. and then I've you, I'm using my technology right uh, so I have a plus three so that bumps it up to a five That's your training value so that takes it up to a five right yeah so your dex training value because it's this is top of the line gear yeah all right that takes it up to a five right and right. then uh, yeah I'll do that for now okay so so you're looking at a five on instead of a, instead of a two right That's on your dope. yeah a one! Oh, oh, what, oh, dude? Oh, yes. Oh. So I have four degrees of success. Oh, Make the you. thing sing and dance. Make it sing it's and dance. Now. Make it sing oh. and dance. Okay. So I think it's just like. I want to hear. I just just <laughs> tell me what happens. Oh, yeah. I just okay. Hear it with four degrees of success. I want to hear how you break this down. Okay. So, so I've been. Uh, I have multicam sort of open in my my display mm -hmm. where I've got four or three other streams happening where I'm looking through everybody's and eyes. And now a live stream. And now a live stream. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, first of all, I catch that that's happening. Yeah. And I start to in, like amplify that broadcast. Okay. And I'm using the confusion that that's causing with the police mm -hmm. to sort of get in and find their like top level like security clearances. Okay. So we're seeing this live happening uh, and there's complete chaos. So you're basically sending this to BCPD is what you're doing? I'm tapping into the BCPD security system. That's different than right, right, right. the local area neck that you were talking about Got it. With, with this, though. Okay. So that sounds like a different thing. Gotcha. I'll so to say. instead, yeah. I, I glean the information that I would need to access like one local area network. So I'm just, right. that's how I pieced it together. I see. It's I extra see. information. Yeah, but I can I can say, and this is what I'm gathering, is is that for one success, you're gaining access to that near that nanotransmitters yes. local area network. Right. Now, what do you want to do with it? Okay. So, first of all, um, how much control do I have of it, or is it more of a deactivation? How many degrees of success do you want to blow on said activation? Three right. to control <laughs> it. To control it. Oh. Oh, say, so you want to take full control of it for three. I'll go into my Oni. I am going to make a roll. And since you're blowing three degrees of success, I'm going to make it so that I have to get a three or lower Great. in order to make this happen. Because I would love to inhabit that body. So, <laughs> um, Hex. yeah, Hex. and we're going to just call it on a D6 at the moment. Let's see. Let's see if I can resist your intrusion, so to speak. Jack it in. 
so what I feel like this is, because mm -hmm. you did spend a whole bunch of success on it to make it happen, mm. I feel like you have zeroed in for this round. Okay. You know? So if you want to do to spend those to basically, for all intents and purposes, do a stun action against it, yeah. so it cannot act for this round, and I'm just taking that speed dice and throwing it away. Got it. Um, then so what you see is that the AI sort of like lifts up that shotgun to take another shot and then just freezes. <laughs> I would even go so far as to say that the nano swarm dissipates for a second. Like it almost goes like static. Yeah. yeah. Like just, just It just it kind of goes yeah. into it and stops. Okay. So. Can I add one thing? <laughs> it winks. <laughs> does it does it have eyes? Oh, I don't, it does. Wasn't it like pupilless? A, yeah. Oh, okay. Pupilless and just a static mouth. But yes. Mm. Then a, a grin. <laughs> okay. So it grins grin. and then it just goes and then it just kind of flutters for Cheshire a second. Cheshire cat. So, yeah. Okay. Um, great. <laughs> then it says one thing. That's, Detective. That's done. So <laughs> now, but now my nano swarm is gonna act, or not my nano swarm. My my character is gonna act the same Your time ninja. you are. Mm -hmm. My ninja. So let's do it. Actually, yeah. you go before me. That's right. You go um, okay. And we still have to resolve. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Raquel is Raquel. also a two. Raquel is the one going Oh, then let's do, let's, let's do Raquel before I act. So Okay, so um, uh, so my pupils kind of like uh, shudder a yeah. little. Like there's like a little glitching like within them as I start rolling up and uh, doing all of the, the software and everything to start recording and transmitting live. And I'm like... Hey everyone, it's your girl Raquel. How you doing? I am here in Licktown getting framed for murder. That's right, but this actually isn't an episode. This is real. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> so right now I have these mofos. They are attacking me. Uh, I have been shot. Or wait, no, I wasn't shot. I fell down some stairs, but that's a different episode. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about, throwback. Anyway, um, I don't know who these people are. You may have seen on that news feed framed for quadruple murders that's right and guess what that's bull you know your girl didn't do it you know it so uh let's watch the action play out and don't forget uh i didn't do it <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Mid -punch so, what? <laughs> so you're at, you're out and and the whole world is watching or maybe i don't that. <laughs> yeah no just kidding um, <laughs> Great. Then uh, I'm going to uh, see if we can hop in here and see if I can get something out before you get me. So let's see. I'm going to take this one. I'm going against the five. Ooh, okay. So um, you actually have three degrees of failure uh, on this on this prone individual oh, who's coming up that you could theoretically use on, on your turn if you want. So Okay. Yeah. Three degrees of failure for me right. could mean three degrees of success for you. And that's how I prefer to do it on the NPC side. So, gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. Roll, roll, roll your... your are you, I think in this stage, if it, you're just looking to chuck them... Yeah. You wanna, mm. Get it, get it. But do you have... Because the AI was three, and that's stunned. Th yeah, and then stunned. you so. would be next... Yeah, I mean yeah. the okay. three would have technically gone alongside, oh, but I since see. you since since they stunned him. Yes. All right, then um, that's not going off. Otherwise, okay. it was going to be a shotgun blast in the face. So. I'm in the sure face. It was. I would have used my flag jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so I'd like to pick him up and just chuck him over the edge. Do you want to just make <laughs> this in athletics? Uh, yeah. Okay, that works for me. Go for it. Uh, and against my own strength, against right? Your own strength, please. All right. Why don't I keep? This and uh, nope, no. It's a six and a seven. I have four. So you grab, grab him, and you kind of try to lift up. And I mean, this is this is an exoskeleton made of steel, you know. So that moment where you would have even even like a, a big body, like you kind of lift it, but it more just like <gasps> so basically I just stand him up. Great, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gave him a little a little lift up. So is what it was. You're so, welcome. But oh, but here I, actually, so I'm real quick though. So how many degrees of failure did you did you resolve? Oh yeah, because uh, you've got three. successes. Three. Yeah. So oh no, sorry, two. So it would have actually been one degree of success if you wanted to, um, because if you wanted to basically burn all of my failures to. Oh, I see. To use it. Yeah. yeah. To use it again. Yeah, yeah, right. and that would be allowing me to toss this sucker. to to at least toss him. It's not going to do any damage, and I am going to use one of my speed dice. Um, to see if I can instead just do a reactionary, like not fall off. Got it. Um, yes. Kind of a situation. Strong reaction. Breaking so, backflip onto the mean? edge. Got it. Yes. So, oh my gosh. 
Um, if you don't mind me saying real quick, uh -huh. do it. we did breach $150,000 on the Kickstarter. Yay! Um, which means that a new stretch goal has been unlocked. Ooh, oh, which yeah. one? It's the Is it a live play of Raquel? Hey, I know it. <laughs> burn, burn. Uh, no, we have, we, have <laughs> Ricky, a, Ricky. we have a regional source books that we've been right. unlocking. So <gasps> awesome. as you know, Aki Benson was catered to pr provide the Osaka mm. oh, yeah. um, source book. This one's Birmingham. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. So we're doing the UK um, written by none other than um, Kat Evans, who is a local um, in that area. And they are uh, they're they're basically taking on because I wanted to bring people on board who knew the area because right. the last thing I wanted to do was get someone in the US to try to write about how Birmingham exists right. in the right. 2300s. Yeah. You know? right. Unless yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're, so they're going to kill it. Um, and I'm really excited about Yay. that. That's Yay. awesome. Woo! Congratulations. Yay. Your contract is now legit, Kat. <laughs> <Yes>. Get writing. <laughs> <laughs> that means there's a deadline. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? You're now responsible to deliver it. <laughs> Yay, we're going to help you, though. It's okay. In You're not celebration, alone. <laughs> degrees awesome. of success all around? No. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. I did, I did yeah. the best Good I tried. Yeah. Yeah. Where the next stretch goal after that is going to be the... Um, the, the Praetorians. So we have a oh, Praetorian mini. Cool. So the former Praetorians, but these are the ones in the full oh, right. armor. Ooh, right. Yeah. Like the ones you cool. saw in the first yeah, yeah. series that are in the yeah. full like armor that just oh, break God. down Kovacs. That's a good that's a good uh, uh, question actually. Does this does this guy look like one of those? No, right. No. Okay, I mean cool. the Praetorian the Praetorian armor is like legit high end gear. Yeah, this yeah. is like the Praetorians are kind of like the Navy SEALs of the UN. Right. Like, right. They're the ones that go in and can just wreck shit. Um, but you're former, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, um, so that one's up. So the minis are going to be great. They're all done by War Cradle, and Yay. they're Yay. super high res, fine, fine resin, mm -hmm. fine cast resin, and uh, they come in a pack of four. So, and even though like minis aren't a huge part of the game, just being able to like to paint them it, and yeah. put into mm -hmm. it, and you can do. And I've seen <laughs> um, people who've done maps, combat maps before, and have done zone combat, mm. just to kind of showcase. It's not grid combat the way you would expect in other ones. It's just like, you are here, I am here. Mm. And it's actually really good for, um, like, map grids to kind of get into it. So, anyway, another another, another thing on the table. <laughs> Swing. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. we have things to do. Yes, so we yes. do. Um, I'm getting rid of a speed dice so that I can try to not fall off of the the uh, the bases at the moment. So let's see how that goes for me. Cool. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> um, for you or for Let's us. do luck too. Let's do luck just to see if this is a catastrophe or not. No, it's not a catastrophe. But so you kind of pick them and you throw as you kind of like you kind of had that jump start. But then since they were on the ground, you kind of did one of those heave. Ho! Ho! And <laughs> as it kind of comes up and you kind of watch as the body kind of clips the edge of the building and you kind of watch as their hand kind of grabs along the side of the building edge, but just you just kind of watch as the loose brick just kind of <laughs> just slips right off as this chunk of brick comes down and you watch the hand just disappear off the side of the building. So <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so what that looks like on the live stream that is that when me. you <laughs> threw it, uh, it zooms in on your face. Everything goes red and it goes, shoot ya. <laughs> and, then, and then it goes, <laughs> and it swoons over to like the hand gripping and everything goes blue and an arrow is pointing down that goes, dick bass. <laughs> and then breaks and it goes, wah, wah, wah. Wow. Editing Yo, in real time. Editing okay. software <laughs> in hey, the head. This is what I got. Yeah. yeah. Yo. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. an upgrade I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, then I'm I'm out of speed dice for this round because my, my character's out at hey. this stage. I still so, have one. You still, but you still get I a chance plenty. to go. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. all right. Um, but you haven't resolved your first speed dice. No. So go ahead, Kat. Yeah, I haven't resolved my first one. Um, so I would like to kind of like duck or like so I'm thrown ten feet back. Right. Thank you. Cool. Uh, I would like to like sort duck of. around behind anything that's maybe standing up on the top of this roof, mm -hmm. like any any structure. Duck around behind, sit down, and I'm not sure if this is redundant, but what I would like to do is tap into TCA's PR department mm. and make sure that everyone is sharing this broadcast and sending it to every media outlet okay. that's available. So you basically opened up and you said, this is going down. <laughs> right now and you've 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 made that request which is a free request mm -hmm. as you kind of go out and it's i mean the, the morning's just starting <coughs> at this point right. so you know you're 
you're basically saying, hey, share this thing out. All right, cool. Great. Immediately. This is the hottest PR we can get right now. Share it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Done and done. So okay. um, you send that out and you and you do basically get a, um, you get a response because it's your email and you put it on high alert and you start to see okay. that numbers are going what up. What day of the week is it? What day of the week is it? Let's say it is Wednesday. Eh, okay, that's okay for social media. <laughs> <laughs> At like six in yeah. the morning on a Wednesday. Six in the morning yeah. on a Wednesday. All right. But also, if all of the news outlets have been saying, hey, this chick's wanted for quadruple real death murder, right. and then they're like, wait a second, she's broadcasting live. Yeah, like, that's something you tune into. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's a but thing. also, she only tuned into where I threw a guy off. <laughs> Hey, let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> I can't worry about it now. <laughs> yeah. um, but both of you technically still have speed dice to resolve. Right. So in fact, many of you do. So, and right. there's a... Mm -hmm. Yes. The, so the, the base is still right in front of me, right? The base is still there. And yeah, and, and like I said, you this, you basically mm -hmm. removed all of their speed dice for this round. So... so you can make another bid? Um, you can make another bid, but you're not bidding against anyone. So Except for each other. Except for each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So, well, we could just talk about mm -hmm. what we I, want to do in turn. Yeah. Night. I feel so, like I want to break this thing. Okay, so I'm unless you want to try gonna, to no, uh, I'm going to spend my energy to decrypt what I got uh, because mm, nice. because this broadcast is going up. We're going to need to prove uh, that she's innocent. So I want to decrypt this thing, okay. find the log yep. of shots fired, Great. compare it to the time stamp on the um, that we saw her in in the security footage. Okay, and see if that light lines up lines or if up. there's an alibi there. Great. Awesome. So you're Those, starting to decrypt. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. which would basically be a data analysis. Right. Is what it would be. So, but does I mean, this thing look like I could just kick it, stomp it, and break it, or is it maybe. something I'd have to shoot? Uh, I'll leave that call. You know to what? You. I am gonna try to stomp it. Okay. <laughs> See what happens. All right. You're gonna stomp it. <laughs> yeah. So that's fine. And then, um, Cat and Raquel. Do you Excuse do you me. have a gun still? It's I just do have put my away. real gun. I've just put it away because not enough ammo. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to sit tight. I'm going to hold my action and okay. sit tight. Cool. Um, I'm going to uh, continue recording, but I figure I'm like actively live editing in my head and like showing <laughs> like the um, the police footage that they've been blasting. Oh, so you're just you're just doing a whole expose right now. Oh, yeah. That's what you're doing. Because okay. I, mm -hmm. I'm talking. I'm like, like it shows like the police footage with like the bodies, but I'm going to censor that because so well, there, there was no some... bodies in the footage. It oh, was okay. just that one screen cap. Oh, of oh you yeah. In but the we alleyway. do have. Because I have the footage that I well, we don't need over. to show no. that. Um, okay, so I show that um, with the me walking in and the me walking out, and the shot like J -j 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 -j, like zooms in on it. I'm like, yo, so you know your girl, you can spot a fake. That is not a fake. Oh. Or, that is a fake. Wait, oh gosh, no, that <laughs> is totally a fake. So um, you know your girl, you know that I'm like legit, and you know guns aren't till next season because we've been talking about that. There's no way that I could have been. I so want a diplomacy check for <laughs> all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it so bad. Okay. And <laughs> okay. Okay. With the power of the internet, I'm gonna call this a five. Okay. Um, what is diplomacy? Okay, I believe in your influence, Raquel. <laughs> this could also be expression if you wanted to. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yes. I do want that. Yes. Oh, it's a D6. That yes. is a big difference. Yes, yes it is. Huge difference. <gasps> okay. Come on. Come on. I'm so scared. You got this. Three. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're on your A game. Right, mm -hmm. you are, you are, you are. Uh, mm. This is your, this is your hardcore confessional. Yeah. That's so there. I am, I'm all, like, I'm flashing some shots of where I, where I was, but I'm being very careful to cut out any audio that I would have, not showing me like actually crying or anything, just being in a rose-colored place well, and everything. There's no footage in there though. That's the my memory. Oh, got it. that's right. Yeah, okay. I was there. Yeah. So okay. I'm showing my eyes of that I was at these places and actually showing that okay. yeah. so you're doing it you're doing a documentary oh, yeah, live I'm, right now I'm doing like this. live yeah. like imploring to my fans because you know my Raquel team I know that you're always there for me I know you always got my back every time right. I break my back literally figuratively for it is you. for you <laughs> yes. good it. girl I love it. <laughs> <laughs> look at this agent smile yeah. <laughs> and think about this how how many uh -huh. episodes can I do from jail? Like two max. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, then then <laughs> we want to do this. You want to do this 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 stompy action. Stomp, stomp. So let's get into it. It's a it's a melee. melee? That's, as, that's as far as I. 
can uh, interpret it. So, cool. Oh yeah, I hit a four. Hit a four against yep. your five. Against my own four. You're yeah. against your own four. Okay, so you you take your foot down and you stomp on it, and you feel something on there start to hit, start to crack, and um, in there, but you don't see it actually break. Like the nano swarms are still just doing their static thing. Yep. For the moment, but you can't tell if it actually completely fell apart or not. You I mean you felt something? Yeah. You know, but it's uh, it's still it's still intact. Got so. it. Any more speed dice to resolve? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. My encryption. Or uh, decryption. Encryption. Yes, please. Let's do a decryption. So I'm going to do either data analysis or data engineering. Great. Uh, what is the difficulty for it? For this, it's a data analysis looking at the log, but it's I'm saying that it was heavily encrypted right. because it was uh, a military spec weapon. Three. A three. Yeah. So I'm using the same technology. Adds three and to the it. deck. Yeah. So uh, you're basically a six. A six. <laughs> yeah. Let's do... Uh, yeah. A three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So three degrees of success. This is this is your space. Yes. You go and crank through it. I so need to find the logs. I do want... I'm sorry. I will... No, you're fine. We already rolled it. So you go through it. You basically start laying out the log, and you get the entire user base, mm -hmm. and you see it goes back like 150 years on this thing. Well-used like gun. A well-used gun. All well, the here's down. the thing. That's public now. Because you're... Pointing it over. Oh! <laughs> as long as I didn't see her, their, her name on it, right? Oh my God! Oh, that's this is the like, question. why are you waiting? This is the part we've been waiting for. At the very last log, oh. Raquel's DHF. Then I can't. No, <laughs> it wasn't. I'm a good person. It's the DHF. It's not the sleeve. No, it's the sleeve. Oh, it's the sleeve. It's the sleeve. It's registered to the DHF. It's registered to Raquel. So is it registered to Raquel, or is it registered to the agency? Agency. Okay. <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 okay. basically mm -hmm. um it's it's because all of Raquel's sleeves are owned. Right. So yes. on the mortgage of this sleeve, yeah, and the sleeve that this one pops up into, yeah. Both of the owners are the Cerberus Agency. You've okay. already ported this over to all of us? Well, for for right now, I've decrypted, and I've spent one uh, degree of success to get in, and two to find the name. Yeah. Uh, and then for three, for now, I want to delete the name well, from the record. Let me. Can I spend my die first? Mm. I haven't spent all of my any of my die yet. No, you haven't. We're just trying to decide the degrees of success. Why don't you hold? I don't think that would count towards it because no. it's just hacking into. That's a it. whole nother thing. Yeah. That's true. Is rewriting it. Got it. You can do it. Okay. So then, yeah, I will forward the information to all of us. Okay. Oh. But okay. not the live version. Of not the live <laughs> version. It's the it's to us. Gotcha, Here's gotcha. the breakdown. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be my last degree. Go ahead. All right. I'm gonna spend my die to. Uh, can I talk while I'm stomping on this thing? Yeah. yeah all right. Cool. I'm gonna yeah. stomp and yeah. also have a line with just you and me mm -hmm. like yo spectacles uh <laughs> what is this this is this is showing that they are the ones who did it i know and somebody in their team i know but it's just the agency did you, you know, send it to them i did uh i'm sending all the information that that i get because i'm still trusting her i can look at the timestamps. when was this weapon fired it was fired at the time it adds up it adds up mm -hmm. then if it's not I don't, I don't know how much you trust these two but if you trust these two then it's definitely somebody at that agency yeah stomp stomp okay so make the roll oh yeah stomping yeah. roll stomping roll oh boy uh that's a two and a one we Sweet. are so negotiating our contract that's a uh three degrees of separate of uh, success separation. okay so you stomp it down and you kind of hear as this thing begins to crack and dissipate as you kind of yeah watch as this thing just breaks and you kind of feel it snap in half as you watch as the nano swarm just kind of like puff out almost like it just pixelates out and starts just kind of floating away as if these tiny particles it's just like a pixel just phasing out of existence so as we are done with combat you have managed to Ooh, that, uh, that, uh, that nano swarm was <laughs> gonna hurt. It was gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a shotgun to the face would definitely yeah. have hurt. Yeah. It's like, uh, let me in. Good job. <laughs> uh, 
that was clutch. Well, a clutch, dude. That one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and it, my it, boy. These, the, not a boy. This, not a boy. The, these, my day. Uh, this is this is a, this is why speed dice is interesting. Because yeah, yeah. It's so important, like how things yeah. resolve. Because all it took was me rolling just a two. Right, right, right. Instead right. of a three, and it could have been a thing. Right. So, yeah. You know. Anyway, and having a lot of speed dice are. A lot, of, a lot yeah. of speed dice is great because it's Yo. just showing that you're that you're all doing stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another cool. thing to so think now. about because we technically had um, stats a little lower because you know we didn't want to have people have like eight speed dice. And right. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you know, um, but I'll have to think about that for the future. Just how many speed dice are on average allocated and how that affects combat. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Noted. I still had like I still had two or three more. I know, and I should have probably had more for the AI as well too. Yeah. But it was the first round of booting it up, right? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't I wasn't in a position where I wanted to roll a bunch of AI because the AI yeah. had had a had a high perception as well too. <sighs> so you know it could have it could have done some serious stuff in the following round. Mm -hmm. You know, anyway. and yet two stumps did it. Yeah, <laughs> one yeah. stump this time. <laughs> <laughs> two stumps, two stumps, two stumps. So and you I'm kind of watch this here thing. Panic streaming. Yeah. <laughs> so this thing kind of cracks as you kind of watch as the whole thing just d d d dissipates. And Raquel, you're still streaming. Oh, yeah. you stop <laughs> streaming now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're off. Are you no, still we live? Off. No, we're not. That's right. We're still <laughs> live. And I just want to <laughs> remind you that a sleeve is just a sleeve. But your girl got real heart. And you know that I am 100% here for you, not a killer, only person that kills myself. That's right, for you, because love you so much. All right, so I'm gonna go and try to not get like permed here. But you know, if you see me, don't say hi, but like retweet, share, and I'll see you, uh, sticker. <laughs> I'll see you later, Thursday, next episode. But Thursday, next episode. All right, I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye. And, off. Uh, yeah. and while she's doing that, I want to talk what? through my Oni to Sid <laughs> and say, were you able to get a source on those AI? Uh, I didn't even look. I was a little preoccupied by this list. You know this looks bad, right? Oh, I'm hearing that. Yeah. Is there anything within the company that could have been framing? So, How so many of me do you have on ice? None that I know of. That's not true. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say. That's not true. Oh, you, we've built some for the extra seasons. You you know that this is, um, <coughs> that, you know, just based on contracts, you, yeah. have, you have backups. And um, that is Kay. that is something that you probably would would know. But, would be aware. But might Didn't be aware, know. but because it's your client. Yeah. But you probably wouldn't know necessarily how Okay. So I'm trying to decide how much of that you would know at met your mid level edge. <laughs> you're not a meth, remember, you're still right. you're still just, you know, working for the meths. Right. In this stage. Yeah, so. I mean I'm I'm sure there's backups, like just in case something were to happen to you of in course. mid season or something. So I'm sure that there are extras, but God, no one should have access to them. Except uh, for my thought my thought right now, uh, Sid, is yeah. That if we can find out who sent this AI, we might be able to get to whoever is actually behind this while at the same time gathering every alibi and Samantha and uh, that piece of cardboard and the fact that you don't know how to shoot military style weapons. Trying I to mean, not put only together as much as we can. Well, here's yeah, a Not suggestion. only am I being framed for murder, like they're trying to kill me before I'm framed for murder. Right. Okay, here's an idea. I will connect to the network for the agency. I will put both of us in there in simul space. We will use your uh, passwords to get as far as we can, and I will upgrade your level. That way we'll be able to break in and find as much as we can. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So th does your boss not have access to these bodies, these clones? Oh, my boss definitely does, but he wouldn't even be concerned with this. This is like so low level beneath him. It's when you take one person out of the equation, when they could easily do something like this. He's a meth. Why would he even care? This is his we don't, company, though. We like, need if, IDs if you on wanna... those people. Those it's... those bodies, we need IDs. Yes, we need IDs on the AI. I'm with you. Okay. What if? Wait, wait. What if nobody died? What if there were just sleeves? We didn't find any DHFs. That's true. What if it was set up, like fully set up, and nobody's dead? Is she making com money for the company? A lot of money for the company. Then... Yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> 
I can literally hear you. You're right next to me. I mean, if I can get statistics on this latest stream, I'm pretty sure you were the top stream of all time. Gotcha, baby. It's or maybe that's pretty good. It's like, as you're pulling up good. the numbers right now, this <clears> is like, now that it's done, it's just getting shared. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And like, traditional media outlets yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah all across the board i mean i can everywhere. sell ads on the replays of this like oh, crazy yeah. listen catherine focus i think we can do this but <laughs> we can take advantage of the craziness that's happening right now the chaos at the agency they're not going to be looking at their security systems i don't know i want to find out who's behind this ai we we need to go in there and see the, if the clones are still there it's, and who last logged into it it would take that i figured that you would have told me everything that you found out at mm -hmm. the crime i've been scene. forwarding yeah. things they said that uh, it would take like an hour to get the uh, the IDs of the people. Like, can't you like log into somewhere and like figure that out? Yeah, I figured it out. And the oh. last person that fired the gun was no. you. No, 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 dead no, bodies. no, 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 The dead bodies. What about them? Who are they? Who are they? <laughs> you can find out if they're the just like time, sleeves the or you, anything like. The last time you checked in just to give you the information that you probably would remember, Suya, yep. is, is that last time you came in when you were talking to the, the detective is that they were going to do a DNA analysis. And they right. Yeah. Yeah. And they hadn't so come back yet. I see. So we're, I was going to try to find out the DNA analysis, the results of So is that, that something you just want to intrude into the BCPD uh, intranet and try ah, to go history. into history. Do I have any contacts at? Or access. You have influence. I have influence yeah, you at the always, BCPD. You is there someone that I could just call right now and... If you burn an influence, uh, and if you decided that that's like there's someone you just want to call done. up right now. Let's to do get it. Let's it. burn that influence. That's okay. bye bye final influence. All right. So you're you're burning all your influence on this client. Right. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Pay is gonna be worth it. Yes, it is. We uh, haven't even talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, I just trusted you on that. Ooh, <laughs> bad move on your part. <laughs> Papa working, needs a new air bike. <laughs> working on working or a on first spec. air bike. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yes, possibly. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, so you know someone who is is similar to Sharp over here, um, who is who is someone who just works in the back and does data analysis, and probably would have access to that. And you could you could probably try to swing something. So you know, right. you call up on it. Um, Give him a call. Yeah. So you uh, and I obviously know the name of this person. Yeah. So um, <laughs> let's call it. Uh, um, Marquia. Huh? Marquia. Uh huh. All right. Marquia? Marquia, Marquia not yeah. McCarty, but yeah. <laughs> not the same no. guy. Not that was the detective. Ivan. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. But a Probably similar a sounding she. name. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> uh, right. That's why I bought the sleeve. For, the <laughs> for that influence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The answer is yes. So do you just want to give me that and I'll just... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's going to eat it. I am. I, and I'll just eat this paper. <laughs> and, uh, I did that. And gain its I did, power. I did that um, or actually asked someone to do that as part of one of their things when we did Paranoia mm. all those years oh. ago. <laughs> mm. um, I made it so that uh, that if his character, his, his clone, had to snatch a private message that was being exchanged back and forth, had to snatch it and then eat it. it. <laughs> 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 of course he did. It was best. Um, yes. The answer to that is yes. Great. Perfect. So, thank you. Um, the, but in this circumstance, you're just going to call up to Marquis and goes, Suya, hi, long time. Yeah, it has been a while. How are you? Uh, fine. It's Good. just, you know, morning coffee. Yeah. So where, are they, where are you at now? Uh, I'm actually on a job right now. Um, uh, oh, not you're, you're back in Bay yeah. City? Well, uh, in the area, yeah. Okay. Close right. enough. Well, what's up? Um. Listen, you, did you hear about that uh, four, the quadruple real death? Oh, That's shit. Crazy, yeah, no, right? I'm, I'm watching fucking Raquel's thing right now. It's nuts. Yeah, um, you are? I have no idea how they got. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, it's. I have no idea how, like, one, she got up there to the top, and two, that, like, come on, it's clearly faked, you know? Yeah, So I obviously. Mean, she obviously. clearly fucking did it, <laughs> and she's just doing publicity on this right now. I, so. I fully believe the same thing. Yeah. Uh, do you know who she killed by any chance? Uh, um, 
You know, I heard they put the DNA trace on that, but yeah, yeah I, I haven't pulled up the records yet. So, are you working that case? No, no, I'm just, I'm interested. I'm kind of a fan of Man, this girl. You know, you know, I can't like just like start dumping stuff oh. on you. You know, I'm gonna get in so much trouble if I start just like letting out information about. I mean, it's no big deal. It's not like I'm gonna go to the news about it. You know me. I'm just, you know, curious. All right. Well. Okay, as long as you don't tell anyone, no. especially not saying I got it from me, right? No, of course okay. not. Never. All right, so it looks like the sleeves that were dumped into there are government throwaways. Government throwaways? Yeah. Just yeah. random sleeves. No, no nothing in there. So what they are is they're, they're, old, they're old rental sleeves that are from people who have committed... Uh, so what you what you call throwaway sleeves is you know that this is basically sleeves that the government has confiscated because these person committed heinous crimes mm -hmm. and they put their DHF on ice and these sleeves exist for like if someone if collateral damage like if someone is killed you and just put them in there and just needs to be shoved in it's like in the series right. the first scene that's right yeah. he's a throwaway yeah so he that this woman is just a a sleeve that just gets embodied so they are they're they're government sleeves. Interesting. So, it's not really. Well, yeah. I mean, because for all we know, it's like the the. I mean, it's a good chance that DHF was maybe in there. Like that's just how it is, right? You got to mm. sleeve. You got to put something in the sleeve, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so, right. So they're they're basically. I mean, people who would go into these throwaway sleeves, just for my knowledge, uh, throwaway sleeves would be DHFs that are like people who. Uh, maybe died of natural uh, of like uh, an accident stuff like that or no oh, yeah I mean who, who knows what was in there right the yeah, problem yeah, we yeah. will never know because the stacks were select right right you know all I know is is that these are government sleeves yeah. that technically were purchased as a buyout <laughs> and then they were given to these uh, to well I guess that's a good point we actually don't yeah. know what's reg what's registered onto it we just that's all that's all it says here it just says really government. just it, government. Yeah, it says they were purchased. Purchased. It doesn't say yeah, who. Yeah, and, and you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I have. <laughs> should stop. I should totally stop. This is fucked up, and I shouldn't <laughs> be telling you this shit. But hey, you know what? Just stop by sometime, man. It's been, it's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I, I owe you that coffee. Yeah. No, come on out. We'll definitely right? do that. All right. All you, right. You uh, six? Am I what? Six. Six. Coffee. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah after come, after my uh my shift today. Come by. Come by the. Come by the the, the district. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. <laughs> well, I got a that coffee guy's date today, but so wow. disappointed. <sighs> all right, uh, back of the calls. Did you hear all of that? Yes. Yeah. Did you tell him? Because you're on the call. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Speaker he and I have, him, but I, no, I don't have right. you not these two, just the two of us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You hear all that? Yes. Yes. Uh, and that gives me an idea because we saw them programming the the nano. Uh, Organisms, nano swarms. nano swarms with AI programs that was able to be automated. What if they just transfer that to the DHF, like a blank DHF, yeah. put it into a sleeve? You have an AI that you can essentially control, including anybody that might look like somebody else. True. Or what if that Raquel was AI completely? Yeah, that's what just I'm saying. Oh, not into the sleeve. Yeah, and and we just need to find out who bought these throwaway so sleeves. If we can just cross-reference. Like the 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 database of the um, government sleeves, right. which ones were taken out? That's not a small task, unfortunately. You okay. have to go and actually find the records of who was sleeved into what, and that's confidential information. Got it. You know, sleeve mortgages are a little more public information. Sure. Like who's in what? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Just which ones were missing from? Like there has to be an inventory. Yeah, there's yeah. absolutely an inventory. There's a government inventory, but again, all of those records are kept in like a secure, closed intranet. Sure. That's in like the resleeving stations, the government resleeving stations. Yeah. That are that are you know part of every major city's infrastructure. Got it. Okay. So. Can you work that angle while we go to your uh, to your agency and find out if well, the phones are? There might be something about that. <coughs> What's so I, I made a roll uh, while this was happening because I got a private transmission. Oh, okay. And so I would like to know what the target number for that would be, and I can tell you what I rolled. <laughs> the target number to receive the transmission? No, 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 for doing mm -hmm. the thing in the note. Doing oh, the, 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 the th in this note. Oh. Yeah. Or no. Yes, yeah, that will be that. Yeah, okay. To do that, <laughs> I mean, hmm. yeah, three. 
Great, because I'm using my equipment. Bumps it up to a six. Roll to five. One degree of success. Okay. You did it. I won't say you did it clean. <laughs> okay. Um, but you did it. Right. And yeah. then I'm publishing the list. Okay. So publishing the list and um, putting it out. And uh, What did you just do? Oh, God, what did you just do? Um, can we... Uh, I guess we wouldn't get no 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 notification at this point that it's published yet because it would take a while for it to catch on. Or are you telling us that you're publishing it? Well, uh, well I'll publish it for <laughs> us too. Like What's we all the see platform? The Where is it going out on? Uh, it I'm doing? tagging on to all of this attention and yeah. finding any sort of keywords that I can latch on to sort yeah, of attach this to the story. It as yourself? Uh, no, <laughs> I've got a couple of burner accounts. Okay, so you're for this e- exact. Accounts. Yeah, okay. it's like a leak, uh, information leak type of thing. Okay. So you're putting it's on it out on a couple of a couple of burner accounts, mm. and you're just uploading it, tagging it, and attaching it to the stream, right? On there as well too, mm. and uh, that is that is out. Oh my world. God! This is fantastic! This is fantastic news! What? 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 This what? is this is the imprint of everyone who used this gun, and now there's nothing tying it to you on there, and it's out there for the public to see. It's been totally leaked. But wait, this is the hardest evidence that acquits you of this out of anything we've seen tonight. Or this morning, or God, whatever even time of day it is. This yeah, is fantastic it's, news. It's like 10 a.m., but yeah. <laughs> didn't didn't I know the list beforehand? So uh, at this point, did I? You, I mean, we are the yeah, only he sent, four that did. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, but so, uh, but I knew. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at uh, um at some point, you uh you basically um you know you get an alert. You get a, you get a. Kathy, Catherine, excuse me, Miss Baker, you get a, uh, you basically get an email from an email. God, what am I? Like the 2000s or something? You get a uh, MySpace message. You, <laughs> you, it you, comes back. You basically do get not a not a video call, not a call, mm. but you get an urgent request uh-huh. to see Tiberius. Got it. So I'm just gonna uh, send a, a text-only message back and say handled. Okay, so. Um, handled right and then the the secretary of tiberius comes back and says he, he still wants to see you got it so we'll be there when i can great all right so um what do you want to want to do wait what how did you i erased the last name bless your heart how I mean, we've been looking for hard evidence to acquit you this entire time, and we have found nothing but maybe the softest evidence ever. This will buy us some time this, at least. This yeah, is hard but evidence I, I still for think sure. It's fabricated hard evidence, and you yeah. know, I still think that we should look for they can um, find that trail. actual hard evidence. I'm all for that, but if you have yeah. a better idea... Well, we need to go to your agency and, and see who logged into to the clones. At this point, what else do you think we would need from a legal standpoint to acquit Raquel? I think we should quit while we're ahead. I think what we need is to find out who, what, where, and when my other bodies are. Sure, and we will totally get to that after we make sure the cops are not for your head. That's my main concern as your agent, is to make sure no one's arresting you right now. Well, in this two minute span, no one is here arresting me, so why don't we go take care of those like bodies and check that out before they do come because they're still going to want me for questioning. They're going to come right to the agency, aren't they? They've already come there with a warrant before. So they they've already checked. to go there. So they've already checked. I don't know about that logic. Well, you, at this point, <laughs> you're um, you're all kind of sitting at this rooftop and the sun has started to crest over it and now it's this beautiful kind of mid-morning glare in the Bay City kind of skyline. Okay. So lovely. As you're sitting and um, arguing, for the moment about like what you want to do whether it's this is this is fabricated and the problem is solved and at this stage there is there's clearly a divide on what the appropriate course of action is at this moment um so i'm trying to find out what what is vital to this yeah this is what's going on i do want to hear what you want to say what is it okay so how about this you're afraid that if we go to the agency they're going to be there I have old footage of me zigging and zagging with that ramen. <laughs> That's a callback. Uh, how about I just replay that really quick, jump it on a live stream so that's where they think that I'm at. And before they're able to actually hack in and like, you know, check that, we're going to be at the agency. I'll say I'm in one place, live stream it, but it's not live. That could be a good diversion. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I just, I don't know that the agency is the best place to go right now. Tiberius is calling. <sighs> Again. 
Tibbs. Why the agency is not the best place to go right now. Mr. Tibbs. Um, can I take a call privately so that no one else can hear it? Yeah. I mean, you can <laughs> step away wherever you want. If you want to go back downstairs or if you just want to tell them all to go downstairs. Or in or your own Yeah. Room. I'm sorry. Shit. Guys, I got to take this. Okay. So you step off. You <laughs> close your connection yeah. with yep. all of them. You pick it up and you hear Tiberius over the line goes, when I say that I want to see you, I don't mean later. I mean right now. Gotcha. And I am here right now. And did you check out the numbers on that stream? It's pretty phenomenal. It's pretty phenomenal. Are you alone? I am. All right. First, I want to say, good job. Thank you. Good job, Catherine. Well done. Two, it sounds like, and from what I remember talking to you last time, you had a little bit of help putting this all together, right? I did. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. I want you to take care of them. I will. Okay, good. And uh, again, great job. You got it. All right, so Tiberius hangs up. What do you want to do? Um, at this point, I am going to go back upstairs. Guys, just got a call from the agency. They are so happy with the numbers from the stream that they're going to take care of everything. Their legal is going to go to bat for you. You're not going to have to worry about it. Yeah? So yep, it worked. The forgery worked? It's all taken care of. Yeah, it worked. Well done. Cool. Uh, it's done when the credits are in my account. All right. Well, let's talk payment then. So I mean, I still just would like to, you know, know what happened. Just seeing as how it's like I'm the one that's still kind of being, you know, Listen, Raquel. Framed. I'll do everything in my power to help you figure this out, but right now we gotta lay low and take a little bit of a break, okay? You're clear, and we can take this time to form a plan of action and figure it out. I will help you. I hand her a business uh, card. There you go. Call me when cool. you need it. Yeah. Um, P.S. I want one of those business cards too. Here, you did mine. a fantastic job, honey. So I'm gonna, business card. I'm gonna pick <laughs> it up from here at this stage because our story has kind of come to a close. So at this stage, um, you know, everyone is kind of getting picked up and is being taken out over towards the agency. I just unplug and pass out like, in the <laughs> cubicle of the, oh God. Of the internet oh, cafe. Gross. Remember where I'm you stuck are. to oh, the gross. floor. But, uh, um, a couple of days, uh, we'll pick up our, our epilogue a little bit. A couple of days later, when um, a couple of other interesting but not as noteworthy kind of actions pick up in which a couple of organic damage cases were occurred between three individuals um, out into the world and were re-sleeved um, using a prior backup that was done through insurance policies taken out through the Cerebrus agency at the moment. And uh, both of you, all three of you, including you, Raquel, you wake up a week before this incident occurred into a prior backup sleeve with no prior knowledge of any of these events ever happening. In fact, most of the time that you. you would have been around <laughs> had to come into it. And for all you know, you were all in a uh, horrible accident in which your stacks were re-sleeved into new bodies that are not what you own right now. Raquel, your clones are fine. And um, this murder, this quadruple real death, like it. Well, it happened. It definitely happened. I There's was going to say, I have. That happened. It definitely, I kind of. Yeah, happened. but as far as. Uh, I showed a lot of people. As far as, uh, as far as you know, Raquel, um, you <laughs> know, this was, uh, this was another glorious episode in the constant stream of entertainment that you provide on a daily basis to the people of Bay City. <laughs> May I give a quick outro to that episode? <laughs> Please do. Oh my God, right? How was that? We tapped into a noir murder mystery. That's right, that was a throwback to the new uh, new graphic author novel that my boy over here, Detective Sharp, is doing. You may have known him from The Missing Poet. That's right, he's got past work and we brought him on and we showed- They, they, they. Oh, I'm sorry. We brought them on and we totally showed all this A plus content that they are gonna put in their new in their new book. It's gonna be amazing. Don't forget that you can rewatch that episode as many times as you want because you know that I love it. Tune in next week for our history channel where I'm gonna get guillotine. That's right, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Thank you all so much for playing. 
Thank you all. Incredibly. For, uh, yeah. This, Fuck this. you. <laughs> I, I so knew it. I was like, never trust an agent. Never trust an agent. Never trust, never trust an agent. Never trust Look, come an agent. on. You all ended up so well out of it. You got paid. You're now repped by TCA. Oh, and again. that's like a best-selling book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, except for now with lots of money behind There them. it is. Yeah, really I'm good. still unclear on what I got, but... You got the highest view stream still on of all time. <laughs> yeah. We all got what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're a superstar. <laughs> yeah. It, all right. It, okay. It, it didn't matter that probably four uh, stacks were slagged for the whole thing, but yeah. you know what? that's just that's just all part of living in the world of altered carbon. So <laughs> you know, um, I actually almost took one of my actions to just shoot you. <laughs> I mean, that, but I was like, that could have been eh. a way that this went yeah, down. Yeah, could have been. I but, saved you. Yeah. 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 Uh, but again, um, so this is this is just a small little tidbit of just some of the adventures that you can partake and embark upon in this yeah, neo-noir transhuman cyberpunk world of altered carbon. Um, I'm doing your job right now <laughs> in, in the same boat. But I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, this was fun. This was super Yay, fun. So much fun. This, was, this yeah. was totally different and new. And I'm going to take a few minutes to kind of talk about some of the great things. You got an opportunity to kind of see the um, stealth dice that are uh, absolute Ooh, part so of the campaign. Cool. Yeah. And uh, they are blacklight activated again. Camera's not going to grab it, but you can only see them if you put it. So when we saw when we were doing some combat, you can you blind bid some of these dice to kind of get into it. Uh, we also had at a very high level the uh, the Methuselah bundle. Um, we do have this amazing um, custom GM screen. These are all handmade wow. by, by Dogmite. Dogmite's incredible. So it's their custom Valhalla screens. Beautiful. And so this is one they made specifically for the campaign. And I'm going to take this moment to show you that they're magnetized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you can take it. it. And it has a bunch of like accessories. What? It has accessories on the back, including oh, like, oh, it's magnetic too. you know, a little pieces. So, cool. so all of this oh, kind of um, is a part Whoa. of it. With And I didn't use these, but these are initiative, initiative. trackers mm -hmm. that you can write onto it and put in. And the dice tower has a kind of a fun <gasps> oh, circuit board design. Circuitry yeah. design oh. inside of it. So, I mean, we went out, they went all out on yeah, this yeah. kind of thing. So and cool. It's, it's really special and unique and we're only making it for the campaign. Yeah. Right, I right. can say it. Like, and this is not something that you're just going to find in retail because why? <laughs> it's so specific. Because yeah. why? You know? Show the stack. Show, Show the, the stack. stack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then this is cool. It's my favorite. Yeah. Um, so uh, cool. A company put this together. This is this is a, a cortical stack um, and I've been using them and thinking about it, giving them and again, it's something to keep in mind is that whoever is doing their active speed dice at the moment That's a cool mm. idea. can yeah. hold the cortical stack. Cool to hold. It's yeah. cool to hold, and it's enamel, so it's injected, so you can put a light behind it, and it'll have a little bit of a shine. It's like yeah. nice and weighty. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. 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 It's, I mean, it's it a feels like a person. Yeah. It's a metal. <laughs> it's a metal DHF that you it's can heavy, use. It's heavy, like to a personality. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole human. Like the weight of my soul. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, and it's uh, that this is a large part. We do have a traditional GM screen. If this is like, no, oh, it's awesome, but too big of a bite. Um, we just unlocked a stretch goal that put the standard GM screen into the $150 level as well. Ooh. The custom, uh, the limited print book is going to have its own sleeve, um, which is just basically like a book sleeve that has die cut the cortical stack kind of netting here. Mm -hmm. And you get to see Erica's oh. face right behind it. Oh, <laughs> it's like a Necronomicon, nice. but it is. <laughs> yeah. So it's just got this kind of cool netting so that's a die cut. You can look into it. It's all on the Kickstarter. Go check it out. Um, we hit uh, a stretch goal while we were here, and it was awesome. Um, Birmingham has been locked in. You're going to have Praetorian minis. We do have a set, two sets of, one set of minis. Two sets of minis out right now? I'm looking. Two. We have two. We have two sets of minis out with all the archetypes that we talked about. Like, awesome. um, uh, you know, Yoshi, you played a soldier. Vivka, you played a socialite. Um, you played an official. Socialite mogul. Socialite mogul. That's right. Both of you were socialites. Socialite, socialite entertainer. Celebrity. Celebrity. Socialite mm -hmm. mogul. Mm -hmm. And then you had a technician. Technician. Dipper, right? Yeah, dipper specialty. Yeah, dipper specialty. So <laughs> that's the thing. Each archetype has their own kind of starting package, which gives you gears and special abilities that you lay out. There's eight archetypes in the book. So it's it's different. It's it's We've been telling people it's a little bit of a reverse Savage Worlds, but it also has unique character creation options to really mm -hmm. specialize. And while everyone's... Um, uh, sleeves and stacks kind of start at the beginning. You start to specialize once you start using your stack points to, you know, mm -hmm. make your skills unique. And then you take your tiers of specialties, and that's when you can start being anything from, 
you know, a uh, person in the chair. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. All the way to, you know, a mid-level agent. Mm. And we do Traitor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you all came out on top from that deal. Yep. We all have a... Um, there is... There is a... There is rules for things like playing an AI, like Poe, mm -hmm. in the series if you want. Or you even. pointed at me because that was the thing I pitched uh, when you announced this yes, game. I was yes. like, I want to play an AI. Yeah, <laughs> right. And they're all they're all they're all outlier characters, but we are planning on like diving into those as well. Mm -hmm. too. Cool. So anyway, you're all awesome. You're yeah, awesome. Thank you AI for then. playing. Yay. Yeah, and um, we'll, uh, we'll well, I guess we'll see you in the next sleeve. Ooh. So. It's going to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of them. And thank you, Zach, you Lucas, <laughs> the entire Yay. Hyper RPG <laughs> crew. You've been nothing but um, warm and welcoming. The helping music us was come incredible. In here. Oh, this my was oh, my gosh. I love this. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, and we've, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm just very and grateful that you had yeah. the opportunity to come and give us a nice space in which to punch you in the face <laughs> with this Altered Carbon RPG. So, yeah. All right. Get punched in the face while listening to music that really slaps. <laughs> <laughs> See you all later, everybody. So.